What is up, people? Let's see. God dang it. I was Mr. Mr. Gardner today, man. <laughs> man, I was a G. I was bzz, bzz. Man, I took all them damn weeds out. You're like, oh my God, it's a black man. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my own yard now, man. I have to put some good karma in my, my um, outside space just as much as my inside space. Hope everybody's doing well today. Sorry for the delay, delay. Did give you all advance notice that it's going to be a late one. Let me see. Turn this up here. What's that? How are we looking here? Hope everybody's doing well again. Hope you guys enjoyed the treat from, was it yesterday? Had to get home chick out of the way because I had a feeling that, you know, it'd probably be like extended here if I didn't say anything yesterday or had anybody speak up on it. So, and they're still talking about it. <laughs> and there's no such thing as bad publicity, right? And shout out to Jim Kelly, one of our greats right there. Could have used somebody else, but man, I got so many, so many to go, but just let everybody know. I guess I don't have that much time on this uh, YouTube stuff. I thought I'd be done, but my, the clock is ticking because I'm pretty much doing or following the steps that I keep trying to tell you guys. So eventually it's going to materialize and poof, you know, so we have to see. But uh, oh yeah, I saw that Pharaoh. I was I, I was sneaking, I was sneaking watching it while I was in my meeting. So, by the way, there's a lot of Nigerian Trump supporters. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Tell us how you really. There was a lot of them I saw uh, not too long ago. I didn't even say nothing. I was like, wow. I guess we got to get in where you fit in. All right. Yeah, so let me uh move on here. We got D Scott here. Let me see. We'll we'll get to you, fam. But we got 20. 
but only like one, about five people. Oh, so we got the Ghost Watchers here. Yeah, the ones that are watching but don't want to say nothing because they're so hot about something I said earlier on some of these earlier panels. Welcome to. Appreciate you. But let's move on, you guys. You bam, you guys. I don't want to wait too long because it's like a late one here. So we got uh, AL in the building. Bam. We got Lewis Conyer in the building. Bam. You've been making your rounds, huh? We got I'm Listening here. Bam. We got AB Media here. Bam. We got Feral World Class Hustler Edmondson. Bam. We got Kareem Austin in the building. Bam. We got Q497 in the building. Bam. I'm, I'm guessing that you were four. Were you a tail? Anyhow, bam to you. Uh, then we got D. Scott in the building. This is one of our you know who members. <laughs> I wonder if that's a real man because he be moving. <laughs> I'm like, woo. 109 or what did they say he was? And moving like that? Nah, I think he fake. We got Judge in the building. I haven't seen you in a minute. Let me see what he said. No, I'm here because you speak your mind and you always gain points in your, my book for that. I don't care what you say. <laughs> I appreciate you, fam. You know, oh, this is your home, man. This is, you know, just let you, you know what to do. Always let me know. Wish you had an email. Let me know. Oh, man. Let me see. Make sure my phone. My phone is my backup, you know, because internet be on some. Shoot, man. Where I put it? It's right here. There it is. There it is. What do you got here? Okay. Yeah, the Lakers beat that ass out there, Milwaukee boy. I thought they were gonna lose. They're behind by what 19 points? They're getting their ass whooped earlier. All of a sudden, and no LeBron either. But the score, you know, like every time the score changes, I got this app that kind of buzzed me every time a score change. And like, this is not like okay, what the hell's going on? It's like they were like getting closer and closer in the second half. Like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I had to sneak and put the phone like like real low below the table and just watch it, man. It was, it was a double overtime. I'm like, damn. And shout out to those Clippers, the little brother of the L.A. I guess they're going to implode again at, at the fifth seed. <laughs> I like at the fifth seed. I think it's fifth seed, I think. Yeah, so most likely they could probably go down. The, I would say the highest, they probably wind up with a six, and then the lowest would probably be eight. So they're not doing too well. I couldn't believe, what's that dude's name? Um, the coach. You know, he used to be a Laker, by the way. The coach said, uh, well, I, I just have a problem with my team being soft. I'm like, why would you call your players soft and they're the fourth or fifth seed? Even though they're not doing too well right now, you don't call them soft. I'm just wondering if they're going to retaliate. Like, oh, soft? Let me miss this one, too. Yeah, Tyron, Tyron Lou, that's the, the coach. I'm like, God damn. You're supposed to be encouraging these dudes. I can see if they're like ninth seed, <clears throat> like my team, you know. But them dudes like fourth, fifth seed. So I don't know. But hopefully they they will trade places with the with the Lake Show. <laughs> yes, I have hella because I have 17 reasons why I am a Laker fan. At least I saw what? 10 in my lifetime, I think. Was it 10? I think 10. Did we win anything in the 70s? I think it was, what, 72? When Will Chamberlain was there? I think it was 72. Yeah, I don't know. 
I just know as soon as Magic got there, and then Kobe and Shaq, and then Kobe again, that's 10 altogether. So count them. Count them. Said the Mavs spanking the Kings. That means the Kings are going down. That means they're going to be one game under the, over the Lakers. Okay. Either way, one of those teams are going to be one game over the Lakers. So Lakers just got to get that seventh or sixth seed or whatever. Because yeah, everything is close. Let me stop because everybody's like, man, why are you talking about sports? Let me move on. That bam up everybody. Okay. I'm listening. Bam. Right. So. Let's get in with the festivities here. Okay. So, Fanny Willis. Good old Fanny. My Fanny. My Fanny. My Fanny. Fanny, Fanny, Fanny. All right. So, let me find her. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe, you guys. It's a late edition, so I'm probably gonna take a hit because it's time but let's let's see what we got here so according to this article it says here and shout out to mike v he was sending me his information too so we we're gonna see so fulton county da fanny willis says despite efforts to slow down trump case the train is coming okay so Atlanta, right there, says Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis said Saturday that the election interference uh, prosecution against Donald Trump hasn't been delayed by proceedings over her romantic relationship with a special prosecutor she hired for the case. Here's a quote. I don't feel like we have been slowed down at all. Willis told CNN in an interview, I think there are efforts to slow down the train, but the train is coming. I can hear like Aretha Franklin music in the background. What you want? <laughs> this is uh, her la- her latest comments come as defense attorney attorneys coming to press claim claims about her handling of a sprawling persecution against the former president and current GOP presumptive nominee, Trump faces four felony indictments, including separate federal and state cases for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election that he lost to President Joe Biden, but has fought to delay and dismiss the case, arguing the political opponents are wrongly targeting him. Willis spoke days after a Georgia judge allowed attorneys for Trump's confidence, co co defendants, I said confidence, damn it, co defendants to appeal his ruling that she could stay on the case after the withdrawal of the the special prosecutor, Nathan Wade. Let me blow this up. That's what I keep forgetting. That may allow defense attorneys to amplify allegations of impropriety between Wade and Willis. Hey, Wade and Willis. Isn't that, couldn't that be like a law firm? Just thinking. Defense attorneys have alleged Willis hired Wade to profit for, from the Trump's persecution, prosecution, through their romantic relationship, Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee said that there wasn't sufficient evidence to prove those claims, but rebuked Willis for what he called a tremendous lapse of in judgment. It's a little slap on the hand, right? You bad girl. Willis told CNN that she didn't think her reputation needed to be reclaimed and that she had hadn't done anything embarrassing i'm not embarrassed by anything i've done willis said i guess my greatest greatest crime is that i had an original relationship with a man but that's not something i find embarrassing in any way anthony michael chris a georgia state university law professor who's been following the case criticized her comments in the post on x it says if Fanny, were, if Fanny, if I were Fanny Willis, I would simply not talk to the media at all at this point, just out of an abundance of caution, Chris, Chris said. The end. What you guys think? What you guys think? <laughs> Shout out to McDrama Bear. 
appreciate you. Let's see. Um, let's see what uh, George Dre said. Not good. I'm listening. I have been the month from hell on the verge of lows losing an account because of a scammer. Then I went to the hospital for rupturing my screw. Oh, not the man juice. Um, right before I put it. Okay, let me see. So you need, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. What does he need? You can't drink. You got to drink. What is it? 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 Because you got you to gotta shrink the inflammation. I want to say dandelion tea. It might be dandelion tea. Look that up if you can. Dandelion tea for that. At least I can take away from, you know, some of that inflammation. Uh, we got McDrama Bear. Okay. And Dre says, to increase business to my construction company call coming in and i wanted it to okay so you're giving us some more stuff here we, we'll, we'll deal with that okay let's go to what he's, what he's talking about here so it says did she ever look good if anybody <laughs> had any pictures of her when she was young <laughs> i know people probably like they, they're probably saying lots of, uh, I mean, I believe she was an AKA, so I think she had a little something, something, you know, in the face. I don't know about the body, but I think she probably had a little something in the face, okay, for their reputation. You know, they, 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 they that, that's a nice little factory, you know, in the looks department. So I don't know. But anyhow, let's move on, you guys. I mean, let me try to get through all some of this stuff here before I let the hounds out in here. It says religious leader. Let me go to the article here. This is in Boston. This is in Mike 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 V's neck of the woods. It says religious leaders in Boston demand white churches give millions in reparations to black residents for owning owning slaves and want to pay want to I mean that want the city to pay fifteen billion. So it says religious leaders in Boston have demanded white churches give millions of dollars in reparations to cities black community the activist clergy also called on them to back a, a push for the city of boston to pay 15 million in reparation for its historical role in the slave trade the event at resurrection lutheran church was organized by the boston's people reparations commission which made the 15 billion demand one of the speakers was reverend kevin peterson who wants to rename fanuel hall marketplace due to the peter fanuel the wealthy merchant who built it being a prominent slave trafficker in the 1700s that's right they go deep they go way back the colonies over there was it 13 colonies we call sincerely a and with a heart felt with the faith and and Christian love for our white churches to join us and not be silent around this issue of racism and slavery and commit to reparations, he said. We point to them in Christian love to pub publish, publish, was it, publicity, atone for the sins of, of slavery, and we ask them to publicly commit to a process of reparations where they will extend their great wealth tens of millions of dollars among some of those churches into the black community. Peterson said a letter, he looks young, god damn. Peterson said a letter signed by 16 clergymen, both black and white, was sent to churches. The group wanted to participate in giving reparations. The letter detail was the reparations could be paid, including the in cash or by creating affordable housing or financial and economic institutions in black boston the churches named in the latter were king's chapel arlington street church trinity church and old south church the churches were built in the 1600s and 1700s and, and hundreds of slaves were owned by clergy and parishioners reverend john gibbons from arlington street church also spoke at the event saying churches were researching the history and discussing reparations but that wasn't enough however we need to move with some urgency towards action and so part of what we're doing is to be excuse me is to prod and encourage white churches to be go beyond what they have done thus far he said 
And it says here, let me see how much got in. So let me go here. It said Peterson also singled out the Catholic Church despite him being banned in Massachusetts until the state constitution was passed in 1780. They unfortunately assisted in sustaining institutional racism across the city, he said. Oh, he going in. Not only are we looking at the period of slavery, we're looking at three centuries of institutional and anti-black racism and Catholic church is exclusive of the churches we want to en engage. The Archdiocese of Boston said the suffering of black community is constantly with us in, in the Commonwealth and national, national, and it would certainly review that, I mean, what have postponed in the days ahead. Archbishop of Boston, Cardinal Sean O'Malley, wrote in a blog in 2020 that the U.S. government didn't do enough to support Black people after the Civil War. Any American who is asked if they are opposed to slavery would uh, strenuously affirm their absolute opposition to their, this terrible institution, he wrote. Today, however, we must unite in our opposition to the consequences that this immoral practice has visited on our na in our on our nation. The end. So, huh, damn. Tell us how you really feel. That this is the church. Okay, this is the church. So, um, when you start, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how the how Boston is, but. I think if it's if you have like a numerous amount of churches on the, on stomping like that, and then it gets to a snowball effect, you may get I, I don't know you may get some out of it because they do they they do have a slave history. California don't really California has a turning their back on slave uh, activity type stuff, but Boston has a slave history. Right, they have a slave history, but I think Mike said something to the fact that, that there was there were history of people getting some kind of uh, you know, pay what do you call it, repayments or something. So if he comes up, he'll be able to clear that up because I don't know much about Boston and and the churches over there. But let's see what you guys are saying. And the Detroit 313 in the building. We got Andre in the building. This is another one of our members. So you know what the members still get. Uh, we got Rogue. It's the snooze kicker. And I said that while I was yawning. But anyhow, you dig. <laughs> It's a, it's better when you hear him talking and I play the play the uh you know the gif of like okay when he talks it's like hey man da, 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 da. he says still drinking three liters of not good you're talking about the, the alcohol alcohol yeah I'm looking for pictures of Fanny when she was younger have no time to look for the dandelion stuff but <laughs> in my condition but I need to increase blood flow that yeah you need a dandelion dude let me see increased blood flow as well if you can i think it's called god what is that called it's not kava kava it's something else god damn it damn it it's the one that takes all that unnecessary stuff out to, and make room for your blood damn it i forgot what it was called anyhow uh, Uva Ursi, that's what's called Uva Ursi, but you got to be careful. You can probably only do it for like three days, three days at a time, but it, that shit works. Uh, said that just prove how stupid men we men are sometimes. Yeah, we got LaShawn in the building, our poet. So every human being is opposed to, oh, well, to being a slave, yeah, but slavery, I don't know. So California's confused. I'm listening to this damn Dre. And then we got Toya the Tudor in the building. What is going on, my Leo sister? It's almost like the bros. Arr, arr, arr. Right? Shout out to the bros out there, the ones that are here. 
Let's move on, you guys. Let's see. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. James Carver will be looking weird as hell. And the way he speaks, too. <laughs> he, be, he, he be going in when he talk. I'm like, whoa. But this is what he said. James Carville says Democrats are losing support among men due to preachy females who drives the party culture. The message is too feminine. Damn. Whose side are you on, James Carville? So here are your bullet points. James Carville told, okay, told the Times that preachy females have chose chased some men from the Democratic Party. Hmm. Some people have been saying it around here, but hey, you know, it's misinformation, you know. It said the meeting is too feminine. He told Times uh, columnist Maureen Dowd. Dowd. Carver was particularly worried about voting trends among black men who could decide the election. Whew. There's a lot of meat in this, man. But let's see what he's saying here. In a free, willing conversation with New York Times columnist uh, Maureen Dowd, longtime Democratic strategist James Carver suggests that the parties struggle with male voters are driven by preachy females who aren't speaking to their concerns. Carvel, the Louisiana and one-time strategist for Bill Clinton, 1992 member, guess who gave the, the barbecue uh, advice? But let's go on. Presidential campaign rarely, if ever, bites his tongue when it, when it comes to politics. And as he spoke to Daoud in uh, New Orleans, he remarked on what he said was a party that was alienating a key block of the electorate ahead of a tough election for the incumbent president Joe President Joe Biden. A suspicious, excuse me, a suspicion. Yeah, a suspicion of mine is that there are too many preachy females influencing the party's direction. Uh, Carver told Daoud. Don't drink beer. Don't watch football. Don't eat hamburgers. This is not good for you, he said, describing a sort of condescending or conde condescension he believes has turned away some male voters from the Democratic Party. The message is too feminine. Everything you you've you are doing is destroying the planet. You've got to eat your peas. <laughs> what a country boy. Shout out to Louisiana. Woo. Is he Cajun? I think he's Cajun. Anyhow, Carvel, uh, who reside in a state where roughly a third of the population is black. He also for, focused on the party's performance with black men who have become an electoral electoral target for President Donald Trump in the fall. Is it, Are we? Okay. Recent polls have shown the Republican making gains with black voters which could swing the election. During his talk with Daoub, um, Carville argued that party leadership was elevating the influence of women within the party at the expense of male voters. If you listen to Democratic elites, NPR is not is my go to place for that. The whole talk is about how women and women of color are going to decide this election, he said. I'm like, well, 40% of the people that vote are males. Do you mind if they have something, some consideration? Carvel is recent in recent months have thrown up flares for his party, pointing to voters concerns about Biden's age and the low approval rating that continue to imperil the president's reelection bid. When I looked at this, these polling numbers, it's like walking in on your grandma's naked. <laughs> this dude, he said, you can't get the um, image out of your mind. In the latest Gallup poll presidential survey released last week, Biden posted a 40% job approval rating. But despite Carvel's concern about Biden's campaign, he had nothing but praise for the president, president's character. I actually like Biden. His he's a tenacious guy that's had a real life. He continued. He's a state. He's a state school guy. Um, he doesn't have an iota of elitism. Okay, James Carvel, tell us how you really feel, James. What we gonna do, James? 
<laughs> Anyhow, tell you know, let me know what you guys think on that. Uh oh. Oh, this that be you guys be anyhow. Let me see what y'all say. All right, let's see. Know what the that's few white men that I actually watched his interview. He's interesting between him and Pat Buchanan. I don't know, is Pat Buchanan still around? Because he was old when I was watching. So he probably like in a wheelchair right now. But between them two, because they probably, I mean, they probably both clansmen to be honest, but they you know, you can listen. I can listen to I can listen to these people. Just not, you know, put it this way. Do you have to like a person to listen to them? I'm just saying you got to probably do a little stuff. I used to listen to Rush Limbaugh when I was in college because it was him and Wally George. It was Super Dave, Wally George and Rush Limbaugh. They used to show them back to back out here. There was nothing else on TV. And then Rush Limbaugh started turning up more, start getting way, way more racist. We were like, God damn. He called Louis Farrakhan uh, Calypso Louie, and he was going in. I was like, okay. Anyhow, uh, Dre, Judge Dre said, Democrats are full of it. I will never vote Democrat again in my life. I don't give a damn if they promise us our children <laughs> because I know they will play us for it play us just like they did those black women unfortunately judge nobody's going to try to, to talk you back into voting democrat you're just going to be you know belittled unfortunately and let's see yeah. said well and LaShawn says well Biden, don't come off like he's leader so he okay Judge says, for real, he must not remember Biden's old tapes. He did say that white people were elite. Oh, okay. And LaShawn says, Pat might have uh, passed away. Passed away. Oh, man, might have passed away. I don't know. They would have announced that. He's still alive. They would have announced that he's dead. Because you can't, you can't forget Pat Buchanan. Come on now. Um, and then Rogan says, Super Dave Osborne. Yeah, that was, man, I used to watch that every night. It was with Wally George, Super Dave, Super Dave, but I think Rush was first. And I don't know how I came across those. It was late at night. And then as we grew and things got, you know, people started disappearing and people started changing and transforming to different types of things. Let's move on here. So we went into this whole Candace Owens thing. And so, hey, this is an article. It says, if Candace Owens attempting a black media rebrand after parting ways with the conservative Daily Wire. Hmm. I mean, BGS said it first. I'm going to give him this, uh, the credit. He said it first. You know, I kind of chimed in because I thought it was the other way around. I thought that they're going to replace Candace with Pearl. You know, that's what I thought. But I guess Pearl couldn't do the job. So <laughs> they had to do the other way around. So it looks like, you know, they're putting together some kind of combination to rebrand her in, in somewhat of a way. And I guess if y'all want to know a lot of stuff that people were thinking, check out my live stream from yesterday. I think I tried to cover as much as possible. We couldn't please everybody. You know, we're going to get into that, man. You know, people... No matter what you say, if it's in her favor, I hate you. If it's not in her favor, I hate you. If you're in the middle, I hate you. It's like, won't you hate somewhere else? You know, because it's just a channel. We're going to get into that. This is just a damn channel. I don't even know these people in person. It's just a channel. Go see a, a psychiatrist or something. But anyhow, um, people still talking about it. We probably get into it a little bit if we have enough people coming up. I'm not sure if people that many people come up here late like this because it's pretty late, man, for you guys, especially in the East Coast. You know, right now it's like 922 over here. But hell, shout out, shout out to Great Black Sharp. He went in. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah, because she on. I mean, she's technically on record, like everything that 
that's out there that kind of show that you need, you know, we needed some kind of justice. She was against it, like on every damn near on everything. Now all of a sudden it's hey, you know, hey big head. I mean, I'd rather be around Amarosa than this chick. I would keep it real. At least Amarosa was with uh Michael Clark Dun Duncan before he passed. You know. But yeah, man, this is this is pretty interesting though, but I guess even the negative things that people talk about with her is still putting her name out there. She's still getting her publicity, you know, so it's still making her relevant. You know what I mean? So it is worth the conversation, to be honest. But uh, let us know what you think. I think we, we kind of exhausted uh, me personally. I think we kind of exhausted this issue a little bit. So I don't know. But let's move on here. We got Florida governor. Uh, Ryan DeSantis, DeSantis signed a bill that bans children under 14 having a social media account. Can you believe that? I mean, is that? I mean, I'm for that. I'm not like for him, but a brother could use that as far as like in class teaching. Because I, you know, I got middle school kids. And half the time, you know, when we got middle school kids, some of them, especially the girls, most of the time it's the girls. They're always in their phones. So let me, uh, matter of fact, it's a little video thing right here. We can share that. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. We have 40. I'm not, that's that's pretty good for to be uh, this, this whole late trifling time of mine. But check it out here. Let's see if it plays. Will you play? No, yes. Do I have to, uh, like, okay, you hear me clicking. So I guess I have to refresh. Refresh. Is it going to give me a commercial again? Yeah, it's going to give me a damn commercial. But at least it's only a few seconds this time. So, anyhow, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. We're going to move on to this. And action lawmakers acknowledge there are a lot more obstacles for parents these days kids used to just spend all their time outside now there's constant household arguments about digital devices and screen time and some wonder if this new law will actually make any changes a playground is a great place to see kids just be kids love ice cream you love ice cream yeah i, love ice cream. I do love ice cream Ryan Hamlin is glad three-year-old Cora's number one concern is ice cream, but knows bigger worries are on the way the older she gets, like social media. I think it's gotten kind of out of control, to be honest. I'm, I'm on it too much, but uh, as far as like the younger generation, I just need to get outside more and... But is a new state law the right way to make a change? As far as like regulating stuff, I don't really know how I feel about that. Governor Ron DeSantis has signed House Bill 3 into law, banning children under 14 from having social media accounts on platforms considered to have addictive qualities. 14 and 15 year olds need parent consent. It's going to be hard, right? This is hard. They have made our parenting difficult by addicting our children. But exactly what platforms are included and how they verify users and obtain that parent permission is not spelled out in the law. Uh, being buried in those devices all day is not the best way to, to grow up. It's not the best way to get a good education. During the governor's bill signing, what was not mentioned, how the law would be enforced, but the social media platforms themselves would be held responsible. There's no bill powerful enough to keep these kids from social media. It's said. not possible. Parents tell us they feel the control needs to be in their hands. Too much with technology and it's hard. It's really hard. That's all they want to do. I know. And unfortunate. Yuli Cudiero brought her nine-year-old Samantha to enjoy the fresh air on her day off of school. I don't think that you should be in Facebook and tweeters and all that stuff. They're too tweeters. young for that. <laughs> and I'm trying to control, you know, with her friends, what she does, and who she's friends with, you know, it's dangerous. She doesn't mind a law to help remove her daughter's online presence. I would cancel her account. Yeah, I will. 
but she knows she knows she has to be very responsible and that's why I take her to the playground today. I said, let's just go and playground. Just go for ice creams. My day off too. Spending time together instead of in front of a screen. Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel Five. All right. So, anyhow, oh, let me find out where it is. Okay, but yeah, and I, I'll get with you in a second. I'm gonna go through a few things, brother Al. So, hold tight. But yeah, so, and you guys are saying what? Okay, da, 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 da. Just says, I understand, but I believe it does more harm than good because of, unfortunately the power that they, we have learned how to make money off of them, we need to step back a year or two to then revisit it. LaShawn says he can't legally do that. What he, he, what he going to do, cut internet off? For the whole state of florida and then roguish says the damage the damage control is out of this world with that one judge says throw some money in the pot people and LaShawn says i'm think i thinking maybe quit giving your kids smartphones and computers the phone uh got parent to parental care or parental control dummy use it dummy use it and then Toya says, no, it's Sherlock. LaShawn said, it's so hard. Don't mind a law to control your kids. Lord, Lord, mercy. And Judge says, kids are too smart. Parental control do not work. Trey says, good, good evening, Art. And shout out to Trey. So that's probably uh, just a bill. It's just, you know, it's probably like a soft version of the CRT thing where Ain't no way that he can enforce any kind of CRT that don't exist anyway. It, you know, so I think this is one of those things to where it's just supposed to make people feel good that the governor is signing something to show that the, you're getting some kind of support, which is you don't have any support to enforce the phone. So he said that he's remember they said that he's going to be putting it under the, the I mean, under the responsibility of the, the, the companies. What does that mean? Right. And uh, I don't I mean, it's still down to the parents, period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me read the caption again. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signs bill that bans children under 14 from having social media accounts. Huh? <sighs> Judge says, unfortunately, they may have to make strict penalties for children and start holding them accountable for their own actions. I hate to say that, but it might be the only way. I don't know either, but let's move on here. So here's my favorite right here. Misinformation versus opinions. So yeah, I know you're listening. So sit up and listen. Good. So I got two of them here, right? So this is like a, what is abc news sunday news or whatever so you got some very serious reporting going on right they're they're going over things that are very you know important to you know the public right and so if they have any kind of misinformation they have to retract it right they have to you know they have to make some kind of statement or whatever because they have editors and and they have the bosses and producers and all that misinformation so if they're giving opinions i mean are were these the, would, they, would be would these be the guys to give opinions on a sunday show most of the time usually they've got the stuff shirts everybody's wearing a suit right everybody's like super serious I mean, they they met with presidents, senators, Congress people, officials. They meet with all them people, right? So when you have these kind of information, these things that you want to talk about in politics or whatever, basically you got to have your shit together because you're on public TV, um, you're on the airwaves, and you're representing people. So if you say something wrong, then obviously they're gonna get you. You know. You, you got to re retract it. Let's take it to another level. 
misinformation versus fucking opinions does the same kind of rule applies in the barbershop i'm just asking for a friend so you already heard what i said with this if i said the easter bunny's tail is made out of cotton versus feathers Anybody going to try to make me retract that in the barbershop seat? I'm just asking for a friend. People, people like, I don't know. I mean, because they throwing this, this word around. Like somebody brought this word up to me yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday, for the first time that I've been talking to that person. Meaning, you know. That person was getting together with other people talking shit about me. Okay. So my thing is we've been talking for what a year or two. I don't know, but you never said misinformation until you started talking to a group of people about me. So my whole thing is this. I'm just going to spell this out because I said this before when we first were talking about my show, my panel, people that come up here. Okay. People come up here again. If they want to prove that the Santa Claus is fucking real, then let's hear it. If we want, if we want to find out that the moon as it is made of uh i don't know paper mache let's hear it i'm not going to talk about grown-ups about how they're giving me misinformation about a fucking paper mache moon i don't know where some of you guys get off with this bs when brothers come up here and then the people that that talking shit to me and talking about me I still give you utmost respect when you come in my chat, come up on my panels and call me. I still give you the utmost respect. So why do you go in the route of trying to come at me based on people you hate on these on, the, on their own panels? You think we're stupid? We think we you think we don't know, you know, how you get down? Yes, this is me talking. It's a little, it's, it's 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 frustrating. It's um what do you call it? It's uh, it's annoying. It's very annoying because you know I did a check on trying to find out anybody right wing on my panels. Ain't nobody right wing up here, right? Okay, they say some things about black women. Don't listen. Don't listen. This is that simple. And let me see. Can, by a show of hands, y'all, or whatever, or maybe if 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 art is the only, I mean, if arts, uh, what do you call it, channel, is that, is that the only channel that speaks about black women? Hit one. And if this, if if there's more channels that talk about black women, hit two. I'm just curious, because it seemed like. You know, whenever somebody just say black and then say woman in three sentences later, oh, he's talking about black women. We only got probably what? Three dudes at the most. Probably three, three or four dudes that come up here and that's probably their staple. You know, they just talk about black women for the most part. We get it. You know, it could be gas prices, but later on a black woman come up. We get it. But it ain't the end of the world. It's a fucking barbershop. So what? You know, so let me get this straight. So they supposed to be like, you know, <laughs> I'm just I'm just we're being seen like these guys. When we talk about black women or politics. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't care how many, how much your feelings hurt, but when you come at me disrespectful, I'm going to have to say something. You don't have to ambush me to speak your mind. You don't have to pretend like, oh, I'm having a good conversation all of a sudden. By the way, you know, that kind of stuff. 
I'm approachable. I'm the same as I was yesterday, but I don't need to disrespect because you don't like people that come up here on the panel. That shit is childish. It's very childish. Very, very, very childish. If you have problems with people that come up here, you need to have, you need to, in, I'm, nine times out of ten, it's going to be the people that have their own channel. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be people that have their own channel. They have, they usually put links in their chat or, you know, in their chat when they're up. How come you don't click on the link and give them a piece of your mind, but instead you fuck with me behind the scenes? What is wrong? I mean, what is wrong with people like this? Right? Like when you're a nice person, right? When you're, you know, you, you hear people out, you become a target. It's like, God damn. You know, you need to see a psychiatrist or something. I'm sorry. So please. Don't listen to this. Don't listen to the, the live. If you if you have these issues with people in this space speaking barbershop, when you're thinking they're supposed to be speaking like the Sunday news, this is the wrong place. This is the wrong place. This is not the Sunday morning news. We're, we don't have Ted Koppel coming up here. Right? We don't have those kind we don't have these people coming up here. Now it's an honor if they do come up, you know, people that know their stuff, I, man, that's an honor. But for the most part, we got the everyday people coming up here from all different walks of life. We got all kinds of different people come up here. You know, we got people that say a lot of crazy stuff. We got a lot of people that like are well reserved. We got a array of different people. Right. So I, you can clip this. You can do play by plays. What I'm saying, as long as the message get out, go to the people you have problems with, click their link and tell them the issues you have with them instead of messing with me. I try to listen. I try to hear you out. I try to, you know, be understanding. I try to be supportive. But you're not going to have me disparage another brother for another brother. We see you doing the whole cheerleading thing when another brother goes after another brother, but still gets mad at one person. You know, it's this some childish shit. This is what I would hope. I would hope that any of these people see the big picture. If you don't really jail with whoever go somewhere else but you want to be known as a person that tries to find the peaceful solution between dissenting factors and dissenting groups you don't want to be the one that's in the middle of shit and trying to egg it on because of what because of what yes because of what what is the game what is the what is the motive? You know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying a barbershop has low standards, but hell, a lot of us have real jobs, real lives, real things to go. This is where we'd be able to kick back, got these little alias names and, you know, say things to a point to where you're not being judged or what have you. And if it's something serious enough, to say, hey, that's misinformation. Somebody's going to call it out and just say, hey. And then that person has to prove prove their position. That's why I still I still stay here. That's why I'm around this, the same people that I'm around. I don't see what I mean. Is this rocket science? Even I mean, disagreements are cool. Um, looking things from different points of view are cool but the disrespect is not i tolerate it because people go through things i understand there's a lot of tension in people's lives so when you come up here boom i'm like okay well i give it five minutes whatever 
then you know when there's a quiet moment in there then i'll say okay well you know we good can we move on sometimes it works and sometimes it does it but we're human beings here these are black men that have different lives these are black men that have different lives and i would not shit on anything that they go through that's bullshit. so if they say something that hurts your feelings move away leave Okay, things ain't be things ain't gonna be too pretty, right? You like the hot dogs, but you don't like the way they're being made. And by the way, there's one one. I mean, this is kind of one of the reasons why we we when, when a woman tells when a woman brings her child to the barber shop, most of the time we say we got him. Just go get something to eat. You know, he'll be ready in twenty minutes. Because women cringe in this shit in the barbershop. Oh my God, he said that. And people, you know, brothers just don't feel like, you know, when you got a little free time, because when we go to work and different other places, we got to be more reserved. You know, we got to, how you doing? How you doing, sir? How you doing? How you doing? You know, we got to, we got to be reserved, but here we can kick our feet up and say a lot of stuff without being judged. We got people coming up here. I mean, shout out to uh, Snowman and all these people, Dead Set and AL. And I mean, how many people understand what it's like to have a kidney treatment? Uh, shout out to AB. You know, what about Sister Toya talking about her weight, her weight uh, issues that, that she had back then and how she overcame them? You know, Judge Dredd, when he just, he just laid some stuff there in the chat and then the, the things that he's going through with the baby mamas and stuff like that. That stuff is worth listening to. And while we're listening, we're still, we, some of us don't have solutions, but we at least try to think about things. Well, maybe you should try this. Here, take this number down. So if you feel a certain way just before we get to these solutions, listen, go somewhere else. Hell, we even hear the, the, the master teacher's issues with his uh, grandson going through different things and stuff like that, because that's a different chapter in his life because he's been used to, te you know, raising his children. Now he's in the chapter of raising his grandson. So we letting he's letting us know all the things that we have to look forward to. You know, we listen to this stuff. We listen to this. Black Huru, thank you for your service, man. He's he has the longest standing relationship of all, and he still give you the real. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a lot of things that we listen to, man. Roguish, I mean, all these people, the Sean um who else uh gave us some some details about things andre with his daughter and him trying to fit in conversations <laughs> we um lewis with the whole it's it's an array of different things man so holding us to a sunday morning standard stop it it gets annoying i hear i heard a few times but every time it comes up, it's like, what did you what, what am I supposed to do about that? You know what I'm saying? Now, there are some far right channels. And I named them. And they don't give a fuck about black men. Unless they kissing white ass. But I don't ever, 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 ever see you guys giving them that work. And, they, and they're in this space. They are part of the black manosphere. I'm just not going to name any names. But they always, well, not always, but they really, they they try to prove that there's no racism. They try to prove that. I mean, they they more, they stop more than Candace Owens. But you're never over there giving them that work. But, but over here, I gave a coon test, a white ringer test, and nobody... Nobody fits the bill, but there's always some issue over here. I'm like, come on, man. Something's got to stop. You know what I mean, something's got to stop. I said my, I said earlier, some of my days are a little numbered here because I, you know, eventually I got to move on, you know, got, you know, because I'm, I'm sort of walking the walk that I keep telling people what to do. Because eventually I have to cash in on my work. So I'm just leaving things behind and hopefully some people will pick up on it and then do something with it too. Okay. So 
I, I hope, I hope, I mean, good luck on what you're going to do in the future, but I don't have time for the BS. I really don't. Cause I give, I give a lot of respect, but yet the fact that I get to talk to everybody from, from the, the street dudes to the blue collar, to the white collar, to the coons, I, I talk to everybody. Those are my brothers. Those are my people. You know, I talk to them. What's wrong with talking and engaging with them? Right. So that's probably why I have no water in my sign in my uh, chart. Shout out to BGS. I have no water in my chart. It's all air and fire. I have no earth in my chart either, except for my ascendant. But other than that, let me let me read uh Sister Toya. What I mean, let me hook you up right here. <laughs> <laughs> she says leo people leo some people wake up each day with the explicit purpose of being a pissant <laughs> pissant and you just have to let them continue to be outrun by sense right okay and then we got Andre said the classic taking kindness for weakness yeah, is a little cowardice. And then we got um, my bad here. It, uh, and then LaShawn says government always say I'm not allowed into buildings when they pass off these new laws. And Judge Red says, no art. That is a standard YouTube operating procedures. When people don't like your message, they can't bring you down. They try to bring anyone um, that knows they that knows you down. And you are considered a soft target, of course. But Sean says, I thought since it wasn't uh, black folk attacking Congress, they might look at me different. Hell no. Uh, he really says, all right, this is one of your greatest monologues. You think so? And uh, DJ B side says big facts art. Uh, let's see. So let me go here, here, and hold on for one second. Let me put this thing in here for a second there. But this is, I mean, believe it or not, this is out of love, y'all. This is out of love. Hold on, here we go. Introducing. The master teacher, BGS. Nah, you're starting to sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I, I tried. Know, I know. I know. Like, and you, you, you're, more, you're one of the most uh, even killed uh, guys in the space. And if you get pissed off, you know what that means. But, you know, that's. And I was just talking about this on um, on Kev's show. You know, Kev, it doesn't make sense, man, after, you know, so many, so many years. It's like one or two is fine. But when you get to, you know, six, seven, eight years, it's the same stuff. And when do you guys get yeah. tired? Yeah, because I'm like, okay, I'm like, it's not that much disagreement where you got to disagree with every single thing a person says. Mm -hmm. That's personal. That's it always is. said. It's always per because I can see if it's like, okay, I disagree with maybe 30% or something, mm -hmm. but almost 100%. Yeah, but the thing is, if, okay, it's one thing, you know, and this is the thing I say, uh, if it's if it's the first month and you just heard it and you, and you disagree with me then you could be right i could be wrong right after right. so many years and you're always wrong what do you yeah give i mean what you're always wrong when you give it up it's one thing yeah. if it's 50 50 or 60 40 where you're right you're always wrong yeah that's good evening. Hey, good evening what's up AL? Oh, yeah Hey, Art, are you okay, buddy? I, 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 I was just been sitting back and I'm like, not my mild man, a friend, BJS. This man that blew a gasket tonight. I'm like, what I ain't heard that. Well, I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what I know what it is. Is because just like me, you know, Art does the same thing, right? You're, you know, when you go on somebody 
Essence panel. You go in there to support and lend in into the whole ecosphere and the whole manosphere. I mean, you're trying to support people, right? And yep. and like me, you know, that's how come I, you know, I had to change the way I, I do things. And art knows I changed the way I do things because before I wouldn't argue, man. I, you know, I was just I'm on somebody else's panel. I'm trying to be polite. I'm trying to be mannerable. So I'd rather get off and not argue with you rather than blow up somebody else's panel, right? They don't take the hint. They just keep coming at us. So I say, you know what? You're going to throw mud. We're we going to fight in the living room. Let me go ahead and kick off my shoes, too, and go ahead and get down and, 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 and fight. So, And I guess how come I, people wonder how come I opened up the, the Master Teacher Respond channel, right? So all that stuff can go over there. I said, if you want to find me, you want to go back and forth, you disagree with something, whatever it is, right, I'm doing it all over there, okay? And all of a sudden, you know, I used to get uh, my name in every other video, right, that they put produce, right? I don't get none now. They'll put my name in nothing. Okay. Hmm. On other words, all that disagreement, all that stuff, whatever they do, it, they do it on, they do it in, in a long stream. They might say some whatever words they, they're saying. Okay. But I never know about it. And people don't come tell me stuff either. Okay. Because trust and believe, you know, what I've learned about bullies, they don't like to get hit back. Okay. So the thing is, on my yeah. channel, when I go through your stuff, I hit back. Yeah. They don't like it very much. OK, they don't like yeah. it when I call them names. OK, they don't like it when I put ugly, uh, uh, ugly uh, thumbnails with, with their faces on and their names underneath and making jokes out of them. They don't like it very much. Guess what they started doing? That started started squashing, started come, uh, coming down. Right. But the thing is, what they tried, like I know what Art's complaining about. He's over there chilling, trying to contribute, trying to fit into the conversation. And somebody just out of the blue because they disagree with either him or something. Nine times or ten, something that I said, right? Mm -hmm. But by the way, your YouTube daddy said this and we disagree <laughs> with it. Ain't got nothing to do with him, okay? And the right. first thing Arsene said, he got, he got four, he got five channels, okay? And he runs streams. And I run AMA every week. OK, on my main channel. And sometimes if necessary, I run it on my, my response channel for for the trolls. OK, mm -hmm. go, over there, go over there and talk to him. OK, why, why, why bother me about something you disagree about somebody on my panel? They got channels. Go talk to them. It's annoying. Very it's annoying. annoying. It's annoying. See, back when I was growing up, they had a thing called the Oklahoma drill. I don't know if you boys play football, but down south we do the Oklahoma drill is where you got the, the coach he circles up all the players and he'll he'll let one guy go outside the loop and he'll go around a circle till he want to find some guy then he'll tap him on the shoulder they got to turn around and they got to hit each other oh yeah. that's fine and dandy until the coach say all right what we're finna do now is one-on-one -on, -one on your back drill you and him on your back head up and then we finna square up and hit when it's time for them to square up and hit you beach oh you find that real quick who want to hang around for that action versus the Oklahoma drill? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I understand exactly what y'all talking about. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, that's like I said. We, you know, this. You know, I think we're we're being because I, I mean that whole word misinformation keeps coming up, and I'm like that applies to this this type of group, but. How do you how do you gauge misinformation in a fucking barbershop? Okay, it's okay. You it can't really because you're not trying to spread anybody. You you're sharing your opinion. Your opinion could be right or it could be wrong because it hasn't been proven yet, right? Yeah. But, but nine times out of ten, most of the stuff that comes out of here, six months, a year, two years later, comes up in the headlines that you were right. Do they ever come back and they apologize? Say, you know what? Uh, I disagreed you about this, and guess what? It showed up. I'm gonna shake camp because you were right. Never. I think mis misinformation just something you don't like to hear. I think okay. that's what it is for the most part. It's like, okay, I don't like what I heard is misinformation. Okay, so when they're wrong, is that is that considered misinformation? <laughs> that then then yeah, they're quiet. Then I mean, you know, because because last uh, every. Uh, I think even on your panel, they they got up and they they had their say, and they they they, they threw out nine things and they zero for nine. So is so is our stuff misinformation versus theirs because everything we said turned out to be correct and theirs didn't. So which one is their misinformation? Yeah, it just 
it's just you know like i said that's that's i guess that is the the price of getting along with everyone mm-hmm. because somebody's going to still try to sway you to their side or whatever and it's like you know i even paid for that like you know the district where i used to work mm-hmm. you got you got board members that don't like each other mm-hmm. one board member saw me shaking hands with another board member and felt a certain way about me okay I'm just mm-hmm. like, how you doing? Good to see you, blah, blah, blah. And they, they're looking at me like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I'm a teacher. Mm-hmm. You know, so we. I think, I mean, do you think there's some kind of psychiatric type issues going on or some? Um, I think it's more human nature. Okay. And uh, and uh, the, thing, the thing about social media is everybody gets a voice, right? And, and then if, if you're, you're if your voice is, is competing out there with everybody else and your doesn't rise, okay, you're going to feel some kind of And you're going to, you can't blame the audience and because the audience is, is, has the vote. Either they listen to you or they don't. Okay. You can't blame them. Who do you blame? The person needs to get the vote. And the audience is a gift because they give yes. you the, they let you know, okay, your stuff is crappy or I like what you're hearing or mm-hmm. they let you know. By yeah. coming and being consistent and giving you cash apps and what's the other one? Super chats. Super chats, yeah. That's appreciation. Because you've you've added value to whatever it is in their life, okay? You've added value. Okay. And uh, this whole sphere, man, like I mean, I you know, I don't know how long you've been been here in the manuscript uh, art. You know, I don't know what year two thousand eighteen, I think. Seven okay, between you, eight, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so you got here like a couple years later, like even yeah. then, it was it was still it, it still wasn't what it is now, okay. Mm-hmm. Even then, it was just it was still growing then, and people were still questioning. We were still the stepchild of, of stepchild of YouTube, also the stepchild of the whole manager. Yep. Okay. Me and I came about the same time. We were like towards the end of 1.0 entering 2.0 with you. Well, 2.0 started with 2015, okay, because 1.0 actually got. You know they don't like to hear, but they got ran off the block. Most of them just scattered, and there was only remnants left. Okay, when 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 uh, me, Angry Man, O'Shea, and uh, Obsidian, even O'Shea was on the opposite side when he first got here, right? We kind of first formed this, okay, because we kind of coalesced around certain ideals. There wasn't nothing here, man. So the thing is, if we could do it in uh, in five to eight years, and they've had eight years, how come you can't build your own? Yeah. If you don't like what we're saying and you want to do the ABC style news, okay, how come you don't get with like minds? Yeah, because if I wanted to do something like the whole sun, I try to do that on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. I don't do something like this on my Tuesdays and Fridays. This is everybody kick back and give their own, you know, just like the Coliseum. Mm-hmm. You know, I put a little bit of, I give the Black Brain Trust uh, their prop just propers by when they put those articles in the front and the images and they read it and stuff like that i got mm-hmm. that from them but okay. the, but this whole format people come up and get, i got that from your coliseum and that was you know that that was uh that was just an accident really that's just organic people, yeah people wanted to uh wanted what they want one they want to be heard and they wanted to sit, sit around and talk about something interesting and the coliseum a lot of that stuff wasn't about women, right? It's a, a mixture. Stuff, it's a mixture of stuff. Yeah, because I'm like, okay, I mean, if people do come talk about women, shit, I mean, I I heard worse in the barbershop. Mm-hmm. I heard way worse, and we got old men in there and all kinds of people in there. Uh, break, I mean, even talking about, I mean, just some some real raunchy stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, but they act like this is the worst thing they ever hear on these uh live streams. I mean, oh. we have we we have whole sectors called reactors just mm-hmm. going off of TikTok to, to talk about nothing but you know black FF. You know, yeah, constantly. That's all they talk about. They got hundreds of thousands of subscribers. That's all they talk about. But they don't go after them. Yeah, because yeah. um, and we got a shout out to DC in the building. Haven't seen him in a minute. I guess he comes once a month. <laughs> greetings, greetings, greetings. Uh, monthly ties. The monthly ties. Huh? Tap, tap in and put in my uh 
my, uh, uh, my monthly dues. Though. So I came, I came in peace though. Let me make sure that I, that I, that I share that first and foremost before, you know, we have our discussion. You, you know check your mean? weapons at the door. Always, man. <laughs> weapons are always check. Always. Check him. Search him. I don't believe. Him. Search him. Always, always. Pat, pat, pat him down, okay? Yeah, we put out a few co forty fives before yeah, he came pat in. Pat him down. Now, don't trust him. Pat him down. <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> now, see, uh, I I wish that that the uh, the original discussion about one point oh and then two point oh can really be had without this kind of. Um, this this negative connotation about who's this and who's that or who built this and who didn't build this or the other i look at it i look at it more of a continuation and then the technology that boomed during 2.0 kind of elevated the space at the same time that angry man obsidian o'shea came along so it was a very different dynamic because most of those brothers were like conservative in their band but mm -hmm. YouTube, when it first came about, before YouTube even came about, like I said, a lot of this stuff, these same content creators that became part of 1.0 were part of Black Voices, Yahoo Messenger. You saw them in message threads. It was like guys that were generally in college around that time. So this is before cell phones even had the ability to do live streaming or anything of that nature. So the technology, number one, wasn't there to have everything shared the way it's shared now um it's weird because like i said sergeant willie pete is still around <laughs> and he's yeah. clearly he's clearly been around since 2006 2007 like mm -hmm. clearly mm -hmm. captain solo um i mean pink elephant you know june bug obama the list goes on and on and on Mm -hmm. There's a reason why 1.0 was was uh, disintegrated, and it had to do with a situation that happened. I, I want to say it was in Michigan, but I'm not going to even bring up that name. I went over it before. The I guess my main issue when I hear this is that for whatever reason, um, it gets talked about like there was nothing already here there was a whole different website that was created called generation x.net mm -hmm. a lot of the content creators when they started to get flagged on youtube like i said this is before streaming this is before people had they could do live eight hour streams and things of that nature this is before that this is when people just had 10 minutes to say what they had to say and that was it mm -hmm. A lot of the longer videos that people did, they was able to do in generation.x.net. So they could do an hour and a half stream or, or two hour streams. That's what that platform gave them the opportunity to do. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us just went over there. So a lot of the people from 1.0 left YouTube and went there. Mm -hmm. But when that particular platform crashed and just got wiped for whatever reason, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of difference, you know, um there's a lot of different reasons why that did happen i think mike has has the um the 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 information on that the reason why it was disintegrated a lot of those brothers decided not to come back to youtube okay hence the reason why there was a big gap in, in, the, in the content creators that were already here but there were still people still around and then that what i would call 1.5 the the um the, the, the hardcore titos of the world tommy sotomayor a crazy one uh you know one thousand three thousand or whatever whatever crazy brother blue collar brother from uh, philly mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. after that you had the trickles in from people from blog talk radio the obsidians of the world you um o'shea and then angry man mm -hmm. but that that was that was basically how that happened that's how that transpired if you wasn't in the space before then it's kind of you wouldn't you wouldn't know that this is what transpired you see what i'm saying so that's the reason why it doesn't it there's no break for me it's always been what it was it's just new people came in mm -hmm. they had their run and then these people came in and they took it to the next level now i i, I always admit this 2.0 took it to another level they did do that you know with the streaming the technology people coming on panels 
you was a big influence on that. I always would give you your props on that. That is a fact. I can't take that away from you. But as far as like, you know, nothing being there, that's not that's not true, BGS. Not what true. I'm saying, what I'm saying is I, I said well, all you had was remnants left from 1.0. Yeah, remnants. And I could see, I could see, I could see why you say that. But like I said, a lot of people, if they did not know who who these content creators were, they wouldn't they wouldn't gravitate to that space. You know what I'm saying? They would just start to create their own content when mm -hmm. it was kind of organically still kind of developing. Because you got to remember, mm -hmm. these guys were on a completely different side of the fence. So when Obsidian came around, he was more on that conservative kind of side, and you had conservatives still. Like the yeah. Barbarossas, they would they lean conservative still. They were yeah. still kind of like conservative brothers, you know. Like, but they yeah. but they were yeah. not. But they didn't lean. They didn't lean. Yeah, they did not lean to the point where it was politically conservative. They mm -hmm. just they were just conservative um, mm -hmm. socially, you know. Yeah, MRAs. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. M MRAs. Yeah, you had you had uh, like I said, you had those bro brothers too. But I'm talking about the ones that really were fixated into the black youtube space where the manosphere developed from organic the 1.0 space is what i'm talking because, about because because uh obsidian wrote for a voice for men and where i, I discovered obsidian was actually on a, a blog called just for men and those are mras and so and, and my, i think uh angry man wrote for him too so and the O'Shea, yeah, that, the O'Shea was, was anti uh manosphere when he first started hmm. Hmm. We got a black guru uh, in the building. And before y'all go on, let me give a shout out yeah. to Mr. And, 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 and I came over because because I was, a, you know, I came in through MGTOW and a lot of my, my lot of people that followed me and uh, a lot of my day ones followed me from my black Gnostic speaks channel, which was MGTOW. So shout but out you, to Mississippi, Mississippi Delta guy. Even, can y'all hear me? Yeah. We can hear you. Okay. Shout out to Mississippi Delta guy for the uh, super chat. And then yeah. he also says, Go ahead. Mississippi Delta guy says, my old mentor used to say, we got to keep changing and innovating um, or we will be left behind. <laughs> Let's continue. Yeah, so I knew you from the conscious community, mm -hmm. not from them or so yeah, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying yeah. because there were yeah. a split. Like I said, there are brothers that were always kind of like more fixated, especially the guys that were older than us, than my generation, me, Paradise Generation, where the older men that dealt with the 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 more um, what, what we call the baby mommy, baby baby mama situation, where the they were so fixated on dealing with. Um, uh, What's that uh child support child support payments right yeah so you had a whole community that was developed over there where the black guys would be in those white spaces mm -hmm. but i i never i never dealt i never delved into that because i didn't have those issues yeah you see what i'm saying so that wasn't my issue at the time <laughs> well i never had those issues actually i never dealt with that but i mean it's just so that was never my thing Smart <laughs> <laughs> but, but when I but when I but when I heard you, mm -hmm. that's why I was just like, oh, I know you you're from the cows. So cows people that don't know the cows, the cows, the cows that, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying yeah. from yeah. from a long time. We're talking about way back. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. So so I mean, art was there. This is what I'm saying. So if you if you recognize me, I went by a different moniker at that particular time. Me and Paradox, mm -hmm. when we used to go up and we have our discussions or you know little. What? Well, so that was your work, work us, that was your own workplace racism. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, I used to be on workplace <laughs> racism. All the time. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. All the time. I followed the cows because because I met Newly Fuller and and and, and yeah and, and what's your name back in back in the late eighties, early nineties. Okay, so I, think, hey, I met them like three. And you got yeah. and you got to remember. Me and Paradox, we used to be there on, we used to see them live. Me, Paradox, and a couple of other people that was on the cows at the particular time. 
used yeah. to go listen. We knew we knew Danny Ocean, uh, the one that does the recording for for uh, for Miss for Miss uh, Doctor Wellson. Mm -hmm. You know he you know he does all the concert community. All these he has a whole rack of her her tapes and stuff like that. Anyway, mm -hmm. but, but yeah. it's it's just it, it. So that's where I knew you from. So yeah. it was a different way of knowing who you was. Oh, so I know who this is. You know. Yeah. And then yeah. you know you became popular on on YouTube later on. But a lot of the people, like I said, I first ho heard Obsidian um, through Blog Talk Radio. Same thing with Alan Roger Curry, not YouTube. Mm -hmm. Before he came to YouTube, he was on Blog Talk Radio talking about Deborah Cooper and all that, had oh, the whole yeah. Empire Death March and all that type of stuff. We're talking yeah. about like 2013, 2014. Yeah, yeah. I'm you know, sure I thought he was entertaining that. because, you know, <laughs> he was yeah. a brother that was so yeah. Blog Talk. Yeah. It's talking crazy, you know? Heard. I first met first met Deborah Cooper back in two thousand six. Man, um, you don't talk about a fire dragon. Lord yeah, well, the thing she wasn't quite that bad before because she was talking about uh, how the church keeps black women single back then. So that was a different. She was right. a different Deborah Cooper back then. Yeah, I used to think that uh, her and um, Sister Sarah Sir 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 Lee was related for some reason. The way they talked their, their speech, yeah. especially back in those days, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah they had the same kind of speech. Yeah, we go. As far as Sarah's out, like like I said, that was, you know, because I'm older. You know, I was dealing with all that stuff back, you know, cause yeah. back in the late '80s, early '90s, and I was going to the book clubs like, like, uh, uh, like ASCAP and stuff like that. They, you know. The, I was at the meetings, of, you know, when we had to, had to go to the meetings and then go over the books and go to psychology and see all these people come through, right? That's like a me and Bay know each other, you know, not know each other, but things that we have so much in common because his father ran the right. bookstore in Atlanta where the tapes would come out of, right? And we had all our people that we know go through there, okay? So, so we know a lot of people. So a lot of people that are in the conscious community that are famous now, okay? Uh, they were just kids back then. They were just, uh, they were just getting started. Yeah. So they they were they're my age. Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Umar and all that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Dr. Dr. Umar, Dr. Umar wasn't even known back he then. He was a baby. Yeah, he was a baby. No, no, he 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 was known, but he was he was young though. No, that's was, what I'm saying. Like no, because no, me in Paradox. I was in my twenties and yeah, no, no, Umar no, no. Was, Dr. Umar was, came, was in the ten years younger than me. Yeah, he was in the two thousand. Dr. Umar came, came after like uh, really after nine eleven. Dr. Umar started uh coming up towards that. But thing is I'm talking about I'm talking about like 91, 92. Yeah, 92. Uh, if you, if you, if you, you're in DC. Yeah, that's you know? before that's before that's before that's before we even got in high school. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we we knew but we knew about we knew about Nilly Fuller. We yeah. knew about Dr. Yeah. Wellsing, but they were really friends at that particular time. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I, I, I mean, Mr. Fuller, Fuller used to be at Ebony Inn, at yeah. Ebony Inn in DC, down off of Eastern Avenue. And he used to do his lectures there all the time for free. Never got never charged anybody for anything. A little yeah. small room. Yeah, yeah, back in the day. Yeah, because I met you know because uh, uh I, I met uh Neely after well Dr. Fuller. Um he wasn't doctor then, but Neely Neely back then, man, I think it was like ninety two, ninety three, because we had he used to give sell his books at the book in at the bookstore in Los Angeles. And you know Carl Nelson, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. I know who Carl yeah. Nelson yeah, is. Oh, okay. And with, with, when he was in yeah. LA when it first absolutely. got started, right after the Martin Luther King riots, okay, when they started the front page, okay. Yeah. Who's on the who's who's on the ground floor? Okay, that's where I that's where I I started before that. But thing is, that's where we really got involved because I was also uh, KPFK was also with KPFK. Okay, um, and all the other people that associated with KPFK that kind of glommed on to Carl Nelson and you know I'm not gonna say his name because he's a good man. Still talk to him to this day, which is his, um, which is his. Uh, which is his co-host and director back then, right? His engineer. So I'm not mm -hmm. going to say his name on here, but I was saying that's how far I, my guy goes. So I was doing this stuff a long time, right? And, and, and basically, Art knows I still do it, okay? Mm -hmm. it's, I, I'm still connected with a lot, you know, a lot of people. So, you know, I'm trying to, I'm supposed to go to the uh, to the book mm -hmm. list, but I don't know if I'm going to go, though, Art. <laughs> oh, really? Do you, remember, April, right? do you remember, um, Hey, uh, do you Dr. remember Scott Scotty Reed? This time. Huh? Do you yeah, remember Scotty Reed? Dr. Yeah. Claude Anderson's going to be there. Oh, is he going to be? Oh, is Claude going to be there? Okay, is Dr. Yeah. Dr. Anderson going to be there? Yeah, I haven't the, seen him in I haven't seen him in like three or four years. When he gave his, I think his last lecture in Los Angeles. Okay, and I'm he, going. he said he said he, he said I want him to come. <laughs> okay, so yeah. okay, does, he, does he still? 
does he still go to the well i know that i don't i don't think this well then they turn didn't they didn't turn on the um the form into frederick haynes not frederick what's his no, what's his name uh no the, the form after, went back to be a form the thing is it was uh you're talking about uh you're talking about crenshaw christian which used to be uh a college yeah, yeah, but what, what was the pastor's name? What was the pastor's name? Fred Price. Because I know he used to have Claude. Yeah, Fred Price. Yeah, he used to have. Um, there's, there's, uh, there's, a, there's a reason for that. He used to have Dr. Claude there all the time. It, there's that, a reason that, uh, for that. My, mentor, my, videotape, my uh, mentor was the reason that he was there all the time. Right. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. So, so, so all, 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 all I'm saying is that there, there are ties that bind a lot of this stuff. So, yeah. Anyway. yeah. Oh yeah, that's I all. Just, it. That's all. I, I, was I just, I just, you know, I mean, trust and believe. If I wanted to pull out all my archives, going all the way back to 2002, and put them on YouTube, everybody know exactly who I was and what I've done. Blah blah. But I don't because I want a clear separation. Because if we're over here talking about, you know, the sisters and basically, you know, the, the conscious community is is a gynocracy, and and brothers will get punished if you know. And they, they have got punched, which is why I, I said, okay, <laughs> I want to say what I want to say. I got to change. I got to change my identity. And I come over here to YouTube where I can actually say stuff that I really want to say that I can't say elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that most people that, that hear your voice, they know, they know, they know who it is. They know who I am. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's, I mean, it's the same thing with me, too. So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, yeah. That, yeah. But, I mean, but, you but, know. but as far as 1.0, man it wasn't you know it really wasn't well most of the folks in two point what so-called 2.0 as we call it that really had an issue with it right it's it's folks that said okay well 1.0 was so superior and it did all this and, and Ooh, you guys, but bgs who said that though who said that oh you want to call have you that? ever heard me say that no I i'm saying have you ever heard me say it though uh soul and black has said it okay mike has said it. <sighs> Okay. Uh, uh, I never heard. I never heard Mike say that. Mike has said. Yeah, he, he has said it. He said yeah, it. a lot of people have said it. I mean, I remember I was back then, and I hate to say y'all are much better now than we were. <laughs> yeah. So they said they said it. Trust me, uh, they were better back then. I, no, I just I hate to say y'all just forgot some of the bullshit. That's the beautiful thing. And some of the, you know, the bad thing about it, something going so long. Sometimes some of the bullshit is falling off or forgotten. I mean, like a lot of people think Michael Jordan was such a good ball player and he was not evil and did all this shit. Guess you forgot about all that shit. Oh, I remember yeah. a lot of bad shit Michael Jordan did. Oh, yeah. It's got, <laughs> it, 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 but you it, forgot it, about it. SWP hated my guts when I first got here. Mm -hmm. And so did uh, so did Tito and so did a couple of yeah. other people they hated my guts when and I got here. And SWP beefed with a lot of people, man. Yeah. He's probably listening right now, but he beefed with a lot of folks, especially when it came down to ideologies yeah. clashing. That's all. He don't know more because everything I told him has come to pass. You know, Password Bros killed all that stuff, so he don't he don't beef with me no more. <laughs> all that's done. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I just think that I think the people I think the people have a different different viewpoint and they have different ideologies, man. That's all that when it comes down to clashing, mm -hmm. when they, when these when these thought patterns come you know come due. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's a it's a way of viewing things at the mm -hmm. end of the day. Well, one, one thing I can say about like how, how you talk about that BGS now you say like, yeah, man, I told you so this, that and the other back then we always thought, man, I can't wait till I told you so, you know, wait till you see, but now you sit up here, but think about it. Think, think about it. You think about it. You're like, man, I can't wait till I told you so. And you sit up here and say that, but now that you realize and you've gotten to, I've told you so a real smart man thinks about, well, God damn, what the fuck could you accomplish with all that, without all, without wasting all that energy, just on that bickering part back there. We would just got on the same page. I mean, but, 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 <laughs> but it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. The thing, the thing is, the way I was trained, you know, uh, and and the way Keith, you know, I'm not gonna say his name. We were, I was trained with with my previous engagement when I was on online with my previous group. Right, we let the headlines um, prove us right or wrong. If they, if it didn't show up in the headlines, we were wrong. Okay, ninety percent of the stuff that I've said has showed up in the headlines. Okay, and one fake show. What, what are you? What are you? What are you talking about exactly? I, I'm I'm guessing I'm missing when you say you told you so. What are you talking about? Oh, in other words, you know, those you you make you make a you make a prediction or you make give an opinion, and people hate it. Okay, right. they hate right. they, they hate it to the highest hilt, right? And then they say we're well, full of it. You don't know what you're talking about. Blah 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 blah. And it's eighteen which, months later, which prediction? Which prediction did you make that that people hated and that 
Just mean. pick one. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. So so slow down, Joe. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll pick one. I'll pick one. UBI. Oh, UBI? Yeah. Yeah, they hated that one. Okay. They hate that. Especially, especially, you, especially the so-called capital. Especially you so-called capitalist among yeah, amongst us. Yeah, they hate yeah. that. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They didn't understand what UBI was, even though you explain it to to this highest hilt. Okay. But, uh, but most most people that you talk to didn't disagree about UBI. I never, I never disagreed. I. You no, there's, about been, that. there's been a lot. There's been a lot, a lot of, of disagreement of, in the black manosphere yeah. over the UBI. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's more the conservative bend that of the of the, of the black manosphere that that, that Ooh, leans capitalist on that was. side. I wish it was. Uh, so you have who, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else <laughs> who disagreed contraire. with UBI see, see, being what, a possibility? What, what UBI what UBI basically says is that the shit is almost over. The fantasy of America right. and all this, the result of all the fiat money is yeah. just going to eventually nice. just going to be burned up as over. And now we got to create a real different society where all these fantasies about merit and productivity all goes away. And then you got to go into a new future of humanity operating amongst each other. So you can talk about Me the same paradox. things with respect. Me and that Paradox talk about that all the time. Well, you do with which, you which, know what talking which, about. Which, which also includes the Jubilee. And, yeah. and what are we going to do with the X number of quadrillions of dollars in debt throughout <laughs> once, the world? Once again, me and Paradox talk about that all the time. Exactly what you just said. Well, I, I'm not disputing what you covered, brother. What, what what you were talking about was wh what has been a source of controversy in this environment. And, and, yeah, and I, BGS, <laughs> BGS shared a lot of information about UBI and specifics about certain parts of the world where they were doing sort of trial <laughs> balloons of UBI. And there was, a, there was a lot of this rugged individualism blowback coming back to that. And But when yeah, you look uh, at the way I things are trailing... I just recently saw uh, Mark, uh, uh, what's his name, Cuban, yeah. the owner of the Dallas Mavericks. Mm -hmm. He was just saying very mm -hmm. openly and bluntly, 80% of the jobs are getting ready to go away like yeah, within but, the it, next five or 10 it, years. It, it, you know how many left, so-called liberals, leftists did not believe what I was saying about this? They didn't believe I, 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 I find it very hard to believe that, that anybody that's on the left, I do. I'm, I'm just saying, I don't know who, who are these people you're talking about, BGS. <laughs> I'm serious. I, 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 you know what? From now on, I will start writing them down. I will send you a weekly list about who. <laughs> you I, mean, I, 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 you I, I remember no knock down. Yes. I remember <laughs> knock down drag outs on your uh, Coliseum yeah, yeah. about the UBI. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I, I remember that too. Yeah, I was. I, I, was I, there I participated in those in those in those um, drag out fights. Yeah, well, absolutely. Just, that's back when BGS got doxxed and they uh, uh, put his damn um, no. address online and cut the phone line in the back. <laughs> now, come on. <laughs> Now, now think about it. You got three people on the panel that remember that. That's to be you know, enough, right there. You know, <laughs> I don't need to. Put, look, 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 we should need to. If three people come out and say, "Yeah," on the panel right now, say, "I remember that." Four people. Four <laughs> people. I mean, I remember. I remember the, the conscious community. This was way back in two thousand seven, two thousand eight, when I was talking about uh, about uh, Africa being on the roadmap, and they would they would. Uh, achieved the dominance by the 21st by the 22nd century right and uh hell you know my conscious community said well, you know white supremacy is never going to die it's going to be another thousand years before black folks have to die. yeah now that now that now that's a different that's a different argument you just you know that that's, <laughs> that's totally I'm, different no in other words what i'm saying is stuff that i have said okay now it's the you know it, it's it's the gotcha moment it's i told you so moment right because right. now everywhere Okay, everybody. If you go to an economy, you go over to Europe. You go everywhere. They're all saying the same thing. So it's just mm -hmm. blinding in fire, and we only have so many years before this stuff goes blah 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 blah. Right? They were mm -hmm. talking about on the continent now. The, the one same ones that disagreed with me on the continent said, "Well, Africa would never be this that, or third. Oh, well, in Africa is the next great place to be because this that the third. The same factors I I told them, you know, damn near twenty years ago. Okay. Yeah, that's that's same words. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying, the projections and everything, but that's that's a whole different. What's what's there's a lot of different. There's a lot of different moving parts when it comes down, especially the way what, Africa's ran. What, what's different? Well, I mean, you don't need you don't need numbers to run a country. I do agree with that, right? You don't need what? numbers. What do you mean? Population, population. You don't have to have the the same. No, you do not. No, you do not. We just so 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 what is what is South Africa then? Who is, runs South Africa? Who runs South Africa? Mm -hmm. uh, right now, it's really the Chinese. <laughs> Yeah, we 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 me and you we we have a yeah that's what I'm saying. So if we this is what you're talking about, yeah, if if, if if this is what you're talking about, where you know because you already know where I stand with that. So that's that's a whole nah, not here. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you you just basically did exactly what everybody else does. Okay. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. So fundam I'm saying fundamentally, fundamentally, that's still. That's still in flux. That's not a guarantee what you're talking about. Really? That's not a guarantee. Okay, all right. How? And you made a point that back that I was saying. How? Yeah. Where, 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 you, I mean, you can pull from, from um, you know, <laughs> the dark web and all that and all that type of stuff and get that kind of information, but that's not no guarantee, by the way. You're not going to believe me if I told you. So basically, it's really... Wow. Okay. Really? All right. I, yes, really, because I could tell you, but you're not going to believe it. Either. Okay. Basically... Uh, uh, they paid Carol Quigley to go through this stuff. Uh, uh, was it over sixty years ago? The 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 CFR and and all the folks in charge, man. That's how come they wanted to burn his book. They didn't want that shit out, right? He he told yes. them. Okay, go ahead, man. I'm, go ahead. I'm I'm just. You do know you do know that everything that Carol Quigley discussed or brought up did not come to fruition, right? So you do understand that, happen. correct? Everything's got to happen. Come on. And, and, no, and, I did not. I did not say that. I did not say that. I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm just making the point. Okay. That Carol okay. Quigley was right about some things. Mm -hmm. He hit. A, he hit the corner on some things. He talks about the circle of evolution. That. That is something that is always has been true. If you look at the. If the. Not, at the historical cycle. Yeah. If you look at the historical yeah. cycle, how somebody dominates and then how they go in and out of power. That's the true. The, the, the cycle. The cycle of civilization is what you're talking about, right? Right. Okay. Right. So, it's, so, but, 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 okay, but, but, but to what, to what you're saying, your, your synopsis and your particular <laughs> viewpoint on it is your you viewpoint. You didn't even let me get it out. Okay. But you stopped me right, right go, 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 No, no, no. Go, go ahead. Go ahead no, no, I don't even want to talk. That's why I don't want to talk about it, man. You're not going to believe it no way. So that's why I didn't want to talk about it because you asked me what. Go ahead, B. Just tell me about it right in the middle of whoop. Okay. You're not going to believe it. But but right. this this is where right this is where I was getting at with this misinformation versus opinion. Do you have to believe? Right. Do you have to believe what a person says just to hear out hear them out? I'm just no. asking for a friend. You know, I'm just no. I'm you just, do not. You do not have to believe to hear someone out. And like I said, maybe maybe it's a situation where um, the discussion can be had a little bit more fluidly, where there won't be such a back and forth. Like I said, I mean, I think BGS, BGS just knows where I stand when it comes down to his viewpoint, when it comes down to this this part of it. Did, it's a difference. Art, it's just art, a different viewpoint. That's art, all. Art, did he not ask me how? Mm -hmm. I, I told mm -hmm. him I didn't want to go through it. He said, okay, BGS, how? And I go, we'll get what, what, a minute into it, and he cut me off. Okay, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to. I'm not going to have a. You know, I'm not going to have an argument or try to make this into. You know, we're talking, bro. I'm, 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 I'm done with it. I'm not going. You know, I'm, you know, you okay. add it. You don't want to hear it. I didn't want to talk about it. No way. What I'm, What I'm saying is, is that that is some, that's still something that's that's in the crux of it could be true. It's not something that is absolutely true. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Okay. Okay, man. <laughs> And right. a shout out to Rome. I appreciate you. Um, he gives me he gives me the uh, super chat. He says BGS for rice <laughs> You and these minions, man. It's unbelievable, man. See, that, this is crazy. Uh, that's why y'all yeah, get trying to get me in trouble, man. See, see. You know, no, I'm saying, do they know that I know you? Like, this this is weird to me when they do this type of thing. Like, just because there's a disagreement doesn't mean that it's just weird, man. Just just this whole thing about how people just 
whatever BGS says is right. It's just accurate. <laughs> Correct. Well, well he's been <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you everybody is not right about everything that they say, including BGS. <laughs> You're not right, right about right. everything. He's admitted to being wrong before. I've proved him wrong a couple times. Hey, yeah. yeah, I have Thank proved him wrong you. before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have. And, I, and, I've, and I've given you kudos when you were right, too. Right. right. Thank you. I said, uh, and, and, nah, and, and, and then means we're still like, you still wrong, PC. No, I'm, no, I'm saying years later. No, it ain't you. It ain't you. I'm just it's saying. People, I understand. People, I still, did, I did people still mad at me for even challenging you. And it's not yeah. even, like I said, like this is this is not something that is, you know, not done. We, Me and BGS go back and forth about this all the time. And hopefully he doesn't take offense to it. I, I don't take offense to any of this. It's just I don't understand the whole, you know, BGS is right about everything. DC, they treat him like uh, JR from Dallas. (laughs) 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 Oh, my God, man. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout yeah. out to the Mississippi Delta guy. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> There's a BGS when it comes to you. Some brothers got daddy issues. What gives? Put a couple dollars in this pot for him. Keep talking, DC. I get more just money. Don't keep going. Just... <laughs> keep it going, man. I'll be all right. Whatever, man. Oh, this is telling me wrong, BGS. This is oh my wrong. god. Yo, you know, I, Yo. I, I, can't, I can't even do that, man. Because I said, you know what? Oh man? my god. I've done that. I said, you know what, man? Guess what, man? You're right. Well, BGS, no, man, you're right. Okay, I don't want to argue about it no more. But BGS, no, no, man, come on, man, take your win and just go. Okay, you're right. Why would you keep? Why would you keep? Why would you keep giving them giving them more meat to grab onto BGS? You keep making it worse. You gonna make it worse? Not not gonna grab onto that. Come on, man. Because because I've done that, man. People said that that you can't you can't give somebody a win. Okay, and And even when I give people a win, they still not happy. And please don't leave too soon, DC, because I gotta hear you, hear you out on Candace Owens. Please Ooh, don't. Leave. I, know, I already know where she's what she's up to, but it, that, so she she's following the exact same. You know, remember 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 Art when I told you when she first showed up the path that she was on, mm-hmm. and she's made she's made the exact same moves that I told you she would make, right? The exact mm-hmm. same moves. It's be, we know we well. I'm not gonna say it because I don't even want to get into it, but you know. But, but yeah, put it in the back chat. What you think? Because I was thinking the same thing. Make sure we're I mean, on the same page. It, I, I mean, they've all all but told you. You know, are you gonna oh, save? Yeah. Are you gonna save it all for the uh, cold breakers, um, DC? Yeah, yeah, we may, we may. <laughs> Paradox, <laughs> has a, Paradox has a very unique viewpoint with a cut down to Candace Owens. I think I, I'll leave it to him. He he loves he loves uh, Candace Owens. He, he loves to go out there real hard. Why, why does he love her? No, he don't. He no, he don't love her. I'm saying he has a very unique kind of perspective. That's that's just you know, that's that's their that's their lane, man. Like that whole thing, man. But with, with her and Tatum and. ABL and all them over there. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a special it's a special <laughs> gift gift that they have. It's a special gift. I I I'll give them. That. Uh, you know, thing, the very thing, good, the thing very I good gift. Never, the thing I can never forgive Candace Owens for doing is what she did to Gilliam in Florida. Okay, that was unnecessary, especially to somebody that's, that's true too. I you know you know uh, no matter what how you know I know how how she dresses it up. Okay, we know who you are. Okay. And that's the whole thing. And, and trying to come up to the black folks that you black folks know who the hell you are. Thank you. Yeah. But the, 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 the closest thing, people. Thing, go ahead. I was gonna say the closest people betrayed Gilliam. People don't people don't understand how close he was becoming. He was going to be the governor of yes. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah. It wouldn't be, be it wouldn't even be a DeSantis. Can you believe that? Like now it's hard to believe that DeSantis could have been could have could have not been the governor, but it was it was Raises it then it was so close and then that man the yeah. people that was like i said the people that was close to him betrayed him man. It was, yeah. that was that was a pretty bad thing that happened yeah, with, uh, yeah but most, most, out there. it's most people that are in you know you know I'm, I'm you know i don't you know i don't live in 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 the hometown but most people in that uh in, in those realms man their 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 dark side is is protected because everybody yeah. has a dark side and most people yeah absolutely 
So Absolutely. For, 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 for her to betray his dark side like that, I can understand a guy. And nobody that. says, ish, you hear me? Yeah, nobody that's says right, nobody. nothing. That's what I thought. Nobody I says thought. nothing. So somebody that's on the inside, like Candace, to do that to, I thought, I said, that's out of bounds, baby. I, you know, I'm but kidding. she got if some don't like tap dancing shoes, man. She has some skills, man, with that she, tap dancing. Uh, Okay, the thing. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you ask DC. I'm gonna let DC if, if DC wants to give his um, his thoughts on her. He can't go ahead and play that thing before he starts talking. <laughs> oh, <tap and exit. laughs> shout out to Candace. Hey, I can't five dollars just to see it again. So go ahead. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. Shout out to Candace. Go ahead, Candace. Let let it out. Let it out. Yeah. You got that talent, boy. Go ahead. Go ahead, DC. Nah, all right. Yeah, this man is. Go ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, DC. No, I think that um. Candace, Candace just forgot where the money was rolling from, man. She just, you just, you never bite the hand to feed you. You just, it's just not smart business. Even if you feel convicted by a way because you wanted to be, you want, she wanted to be consistent in the eyes of the black community and she paid for it. I don't you know. think, I don't think. When she, when she, when she made, when she made the comparison to, mm -hmm. I think she made the comparison between what happens with the black community to what's going on and, in Palestine and and uh, the Palestinian and Israel, Israeli conflict, and said that if you if you compare the two, then we can't have the same energy for this and then have the same energy for that. But that's mm -hmm. always been the case, Candace. That's the that's the point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I think they, I think I think they were going to let it. I think they were going to let it slide. I think Candace, but they couldn't let I it think slide. Candace, let, 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 let me finish. You I, finish, DC? You finish? No, go go ahead. I'm I'm, I'm done. Go ahead. I, I think Candace has some new benefactors that she think are competitive with the money change. That's true too. Yeah. I, I, I don't. I, Does she I have like a like a George Soros type guy? No, I don't. I don't. I, I think. I think this is. Uh, uh, I think this is strategic. I don't think. I don't. I think they're still together. I think. Um, you know, in, in the That's public, they might be. I think they're still together personally. Yeah, I think they're still Ooh. together. I think that. I think that this is it's so, well, so, what, so what's the motive? What's the motivation to, to have her be perceived as, as an anti oh, but, quote, but, but, anti semite? Oh, oh well, they have to have a reason why they break because there's no other reason why they would disagree, right? Because uh, for the most part, they see eye to eye on everything else. Okay, but the thing is, this is this is this is blue sky, right? I could be wrong, right? But thing is, from what the way she's moved over the past year and a half to two years, okay, they're trying to position her to where Pearl is. Okay. And, a, and well, a lot of thank uh, you. I a lot it. of right wingers, thank you. A lot of right wingers are anti are, are known as anti semite too. They're anti semites. Yeah. So I think she's not. She has to hold on to them right wingers, but I think she has to let that it, it, if, yarmulke if, go. If if she if she want, in my opinion, okay, this you know we'll see we'll see how it bears off. But so far she's been consistent. Okay, she's been almost almost nails to nails consistent. Right. If she, there's a lot of cats that don't trust her because they're part of the Shapiro group and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they, they they tried to uh, they try, try to basically publicly assassinate Pearl's image maybe about a month ago, right? Mm -hmm. Evidently that shit did not work. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you want to put Candace Owens in her place, you're gonna to have to make a different move. So, in, in other words, I don't think she can be attached to them. Okay? And, and, and okay. you know, okay, and publicly, go ahead. Yeah, and you know what? That's what I always said. I always said that no, what she's coming around is this. I think it's strategically, and she is coming around. And watch, I say within about 10 months, I say by the end of August, more black people going like more black men, not women, are gonna like uh Candace Owen. She well, is I, going to be, she is going like I said, right? she's gonna yes, more black men. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 say that. but the thing is, the thing because is she's gonna start speaking stuff, she's gonna start speaking stuff young ones. that's in all best interest. Black men are yeah, not I, our I, black I think, men are not our target. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think, I think you may be bus. misguided right there a little bit, bro. Uh, black, oh, men wow. her, black, black men are not her target, though. They're not her target, but she's going to use that as a stepping stone. A, 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 she will use it as a stepping stone. The thing is, we, we, we she has to keep black the black manager from attacking her, okay? <laughs> that's why she she's going to write. Keep her stepping stepping stone. Stone. That's why she had to kiss, you know, she had to kiss a little ass, right, to the black manager. She don't want to attack her. Her, her. her main point is to be where Pearl is because you know, mm -hmm. Pearl is not as gifted, is not as smart, is not as astute as Candace Owens is. Candace Owens is a better Pearl for the agenda that they want. They want yep. they want to take over the movement. In my in my opinion, left and right want to take over this movement. 
Okay. No. Yeah, no. I, 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 I agree with that to 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 a degree. It's, okay. You know, a little bit more nuanced when I when I think about what her what her motivations, her personal motivations are okay. outside of the group that's funding her. But but I think that she has more devious plans when it comes down to how she wants to be remembered when when this is all said and done. And I think she has more. More uh, aspirations. Look, look, look. She's, only, she's, only, she's, only 30, she's only 35. She got plenty of time to be remembered. And so, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, remark, exactly. but, but, she, but I, yeah, but the thing is, her, her assignment with, with the Shapiro group, you know, uh, what was that uh, show with the two people that supposedly couldn't stand each other? Here we go. These people? Those people. They happened to be in the same picture and they were in the same event. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Right there, mm-hmm. that, you know. That, 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 I didn't know. I didn't know that her and Pearl had beef. Her and Pearl got beef. Oh, well, they, they, they supposedly they had beef. A little slight shot. I didn't you know, know that. Six about six weeks ago they had beef. Okay. Mm-hmm. They, they they always do a, a small spat before they do that, but I always thought that I figured that I was hoping that, that this is what I'm saying. I was hoping that she would take over the thing. Only bad thing is if she takes over the crap with that, hopefully she doesn't have sinister motives. If she goes out, like say if she really fought for black people and black people like that, maybe yeah. maybe because she's having another kid, she's a little emotional. Maybe <laughs> she's gonna turn over. I'm hoping. Look, this is all. Look, look, this, look, look, look. I know it's Exhibit funny. B. Because, Listen, listen, I know it's funny. Go ahead, man. I want to hear it, man. Yeah. No, but listen, I know it's funny because well, this is the bad thing is this. This is my this is my part. Y'all going to laugh at me because I always say Kevin Samuels had hope. And this is, well, I'm Kevin, hoping, Kevin, hope. Kevin did. Kevin did. Yeah, yeah. And that was his, that was his Achilles heel. This, and this I'm going to say, <laughs> and I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that she has realized that she did a lot of damage back then. And she's trying to right some of them wrongs. But I ain't going to lie. If she flips the script. Oh my gosh, she can do more damage than anything. She can set you back a hundred years. So let me ask you this, Dre, and I asked the, I asked the panel yesterday. Mm-hmm. Do you think she's acting alone, or do you think she has handlers? Oh, she's got handlers. She, she. This is the problem. It's too much going on, and she's she has her comebacks too well to where she has a team. You can tell that already. Yeah. I mean, I mean, well, I, I mean, maybe because it's like it's a big difference when you are involved in a company and say, well, say I'm involved in a company. I'm the manager here and I can tell about all the different things going on, this, this that, and that. But when you're on the Internet and social media, considering that our stuff is morally spread out over the Internet, not always on main, mainstream media. And you're like up to date and you can fire your comebacks like that. No, you got people who are helping you. I mean, no offense. You kind of like Ziv Ramaswamy. He was just murdering people. I mean, he's a very good um, who, debater. Who, I mean, you may not like him. Who's their he, favorite? He kills. Who's their, you. who's their favorite guy? Oh, Ziv. No, no. Ramaswamy. Yes. That's oh, I told, I told everybody. I said, I told everybody, you want to get, you want to get people. I said, Trump, Ziv, all day. And I said, I told everybody yeah. when he first came out. I said, he may not get, he may not get vice president, but he will be president before he, unless he dies. That man was going to be president. Mm-hmm. And I'll say this. Indian I said, president. he's going to go in Trump's. No, but listen, I said, he's going in Trump's cabinet off rip. Watch. Okay. So he's who, going who, to. Uh, who, 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 who are you talking about? I'm Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy. Nah, he's man. Going, he's going to. 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 He's going to swear in with the yeah, American we, we, flag we, in the background of the turban <laughs> touching the Bible. That's that's what he's going to do. He, well, he may be he may be special right. counsel, but cabinet. I don't think I don't think he's going to clear that, bro. I don't think he's going to clear that 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 hurdle. I he doubt I doubt that very seriously. His sister and try to run for president. So who know? Oh, he'll be talking talking before he But she got a white zaddy. Hmm? She got a zaddy, so that that's that that gives her a, th- a notch up above him. So and the she's cheating on him eat, with another zaddy. No, so. but the young people eat Vivek up. So trust me, he likes and that this is the thing. The reason why people will give Vivek more a chance than you say, he meets them where they are. A lot of our people ain't doing that. So that's why people will give you a little bit more credit for that. And they say, Well, look, this dude will come wherever. Maybe. Where most people say, I ain't going over there to debate you. Wait, well, Vivek, Vivek slipped on a couple of landmines. Oh, he, he's, he's got a yeah, lot of Vivek, too. 
He's new. What you expect? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the internet and history does not forget. Okay. Yeah, but he's yeah, big, 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 big man. If you can grab him by the pussy and still get a president, one, one, if you can grab him by the pussy and still be president, no, with grab no, Trump, Trump, Trump is one. Trump is one of one. I want you to remember that Trump is one of one. There would never be anybody that would be able to duplicate. The things that he has done and gotten away with. It's not it's not going to happen, bro. It's not going to it's not gonna happen, bro. I'll prove it to you that it will. I'll give you your proof that it will happen again. I'm gonna let you know what you're gonna see a lot of you're gonna see a lot of that. You know why? Because because this is the thing. Our society, when we look at our age, we'd be like, oh hell no, we wouldn't get nobody no shit like that. These younger generation, they are not holding them people to account before what they did 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Remember that's, the, that's the whole look at that. No, no, that's the whole thing. It ain't moving. I I'm, I'm, I'm hope I'm still around so you can tell me I told you. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. yeah, that that would that'll be that'd be fairly that'd be fairly quick. We'll be able to see where. It, trust me, we don't have the, no accountability. The accountability, right now. Uh-huh. The, the accountability <laughs> that's going to come down after the whole thing passes with Trump. Good, good or bad, wherever you stand on that, mm. it's going, it's going to be, it's going to be different. Trust me, okay. it's going to we'll be different. See. We'll see. I can't wait. Okay. Could be. Hey, look, okay. look, 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 look. I, hey, I'm, this at is least, at least, least, at least, this is at least this, this is a demarcation right here. What's a demarcation? Right here, boom. Yeah, Judge said that, that there's going to be more of what Trump has done, and then I'm saying that. There's not going to be more of what Trump has done. It's not going to be duplicated. It's not going to be duplicated, brother. No way. DeSantis, did you see what DeSantis, you see how he flamed out? Did you see what happened with him? Yeah, that's true. But we, he tried it. It's, he it's, tried it. It's, it's, like, it's, it's not like, duplicated. Yeah, it's not, it's not possible. It takes a, 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 a Trump. Trump, Trump. Trump hit the right, right person at the right time, okay? Well, he had a black president before that. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> basically, basically, there was a refusal to. There was a lot of these what are called uh, uh, deplorables that Clinton called them. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then Clinton, Hillary had a lot of negatives. You know, you know, uh, following her, she had a lot of dogs following her, much like Trump has following him. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and so all those things piled on together. Got Trump to where he is, and plus, plus okay. he was the right. Judge, person. Let, me, let me give you the right person at the right time. Let me give you just real quick, BJ. Let me give you a quick example of how I know this is not duplicated. Okay, Trump okay. is the only one I know, a, a, a Yankee, born and raised in New York City, city mm-hmm. slicker mm-hmm. to the heart of it. Don't wear jeans and none of these functions can go to the heart of the deepest place in the South mm-hmm. and get about ten thousand of the most red. Mm-hmm. Hearted, you know, yeah. conservative, never wore a suit in their life, white people mm-hmm. to be fire breathing for this man. Yep. You mm-hmm. cannot get DeSantis to run that same kind of platform. It mm-hmm. won't work. I said as I soon said as he wa- as soon as he gets to North Carolina, <laughs> Mississippi, Tennessee, any of these places, oh, get this get this fraud off the stage. They don't even <laughs> trust him, and he's so called from the South. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work, brother. It's not the same what thing. This you, can't have, right you can't have. You can't have. You can't have. Uh, what was this vice president that one that's from Indiana? It went. It didn't work when he tried to do it to go in there Pence. with jeans on. It, yeah, Mike Pence can't even pull it off, and he's from Indiana. But, but that's Mike what I'm Pence, saying. Look, it's, Mike Pence is saying, not, Donald, Mike Pence Donald is Trump not has, the man like that. I mean, Donald, this, but that's what I'm trying okay. to tell you. Donald Trump has a unique personality trait. That is very unique, where he can speak truth to power, yeah. no matter how, no matter how crazy it sounds, yeah. and get away with it. That's why he can say things like grab somebody by the pussy and get away with it. Nobody gets away with that. Nobody. No, no, no. But he can. Listen, but he listen, can. listen, listen. I hate to say how you, we sit up here and talk all that shit, but I mean, certain people like that are just straight up assholes. I should know I'm one of them. I mean, assholes. I hate to say, some people just look at look at look at the shit that I've been through. You guys know you should. I should be one of these motherfuckers out here crying. As much right. shit as I done said, and people done come after me. And think about it, Trump and them are ten times better. There's plenty of people like us out here. Plenty of people. There, there, there. Trump will not be the last. Trust me. Y'all to think that Trump was just the first. Okay, we'll see. We'll wait. Oh, bro. <laughs> We'll you 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 miss it you missing the point. We're not talking about what he do. 
We're talking about the support that he gets. Oh, he's gonna get support. It's, you know why? Because there's nothing. It's no, okay. I'm Vivi, gonna tell you why. So, I'm Vivi, gonna tell you about. Vivi, I'm talking about. Okay, I'll give you an example. Just, let me why? just say this. Let me just say this, man, and I'll sure. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys have it. Mm-hmm. All you need to do is just look at the examples of people that have basically tried to kind of share the same kind mm-hmm. of truth. It's mm-hmm. always something that gets in the way of them being able to go mm-hmm. to the same extent that Trump has. Okay. Mm-hmm. Trump yeah, is so on. Trump is so different to the point where even he breaks all rules, even in debates. He don't pay okay. attention to what people say. He go, he runs over people. That's why he destroyed um. Um, Hillary, when they went through a debate, and she was talking about you know all these type of things. He basically told her, "I was there. I, I did the dinner with you. You a big time racist." Like he called her, he broke all the rules. Nobody okay. does that and get the support that he gets. That's what okay, I'm saying. Okay, okay. okay now, it's totally you, different. You have to you you have totally to different. observe. To you. you have to observe white people. When you observe white people interaction with Trump, they think and feel and want him to be king yeah they want him to be king it's not a you cannot it's hard to describe Mm -hmm. but when you observe when you've observed white people and you observe their interaction and and it's all a product of the making of the myth of trump the last 40 some odd years yeah going back to you know, all of the uh, Ivana and all of yep. the Trump, you know, the Trump Towers is all of the, mm-hmm. the this this culture that he's made of himself. And so they're not My voting ties. for a president. <laughs> they're voting for a king, a sovereign. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and, and of course, a king can get away with grabbing pussies. Kings well, are supposed yeah. to be able to grab pussy. Well, that comes yeah. along with being a king. <laughs> look, look, look. Uh, uh, look and also, this is the problem. I'm going to tell you why it's going to increase even more. Because, see, this is, remember, I'm a multifaceted person. I'm looking at a lot of more shit than that than everything. You've got a weaker society of individuals. People are tired of seeing all this weak, these weak ass men and all like that. More strong men are out there. And the strong men are going to come out, and then some of these weak men ain't going to have nobody to to really fight for them but a strong man. So they'll get in line with somebody who may not have all their interests, but they're fighting for some men qualities because half of these niggas are so damn weak, it ain't funny. That's the reason why you sit up here and you sit up here and talk about this, but that's the reason why this space is made. The reason why we are here right now, because we're tired of all these weak ass niggas we standing around all day at work. We, is, we are my, a minority. We are not the majority. Okay. Now, yeah, I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna let you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys have it, man. But man, brother, all right, man. Thanks for allowing me to come up. I appreciate it, man. It's it's two o'clock here. I gotta, uh, you know, get my little cold break up in the morning, man. Get to the school and then have, get on to my day. Um, BGS, your powers, your powers a weak, old man. Your powers a weak. Yeah, you know, brother. <laughs> well, that's what happens when they get old, <laughs> brother. I wanted to. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted brother to Dre, to... keep it, keep it, keep it pushing, man. With your, with your grands, your grandeur of um, delusions and. Uh... Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> but I wanted, I wanted whatever, to, motherfucker, uh, whatever. But I wanted you to uh, before you go. I wanted you to. Yeah. I mean, you you well aware of James Carvel, right? And he's a uh, pretty much I am. no punches. Absolutely. Dixie and crap, he made, yeah. He made James Carvel. <laughs> he said Dixie. He, I guess so. He, he is. Like, that's what he is. Yeah, that's what he is. Yeah. Um, no doubt. But this is what he said. He said. Uh, he said uh, Democrats are losing support among men due to preachy females who drive the party's culture. That's and message is true. Feminine. It's true. It's true. So yeah. true. Yeah, that is that is true. Yeah, there's no doubt. All day. <laughs> yeah, but it, we, yeah. but we, yeah, what is it? Stevie Wonder could see that. Well, to just give yeah, an example, yeah, you would, you. I, I appreciate that I know we're talking about that in church. He said the reason why the black men ain't in church is because y'all motherfuckers kept pushing, and I'm saying in a getaway, but he said y'all motherfuckers kept pushing a female Cousin more pastor. agenda. Easy, <laughs> easy, Jay, easy. Bro. Oh, I guess uh, well, if you democracy does I mean, not exist, I'll see right, this article in DC. If you want to do this, the godnocracy. Oh no, the godnocracy does not yeah, exist. It does not well, exist. Well, look, look, look. This is oh. the problem. This is the problem. I said the, the problem that the women don't see is this. 
The <laughs> men can go ahead and keep, just keep on going with that. With that do, stuff, do, BJ. Do, why, do, why you keep do, doing that? Do not no. attempt to adjust your dial. <laughs> why, you keep, yeah, but, why you keep? Why you keep doing yeah. that? BJ? No, yeah. but I mean, you push it. You push an agenda that's really messed up, and this is the problem. And it, this is a, it's two different types. You got to know the type of debate you're doing. Like, say we push women to never, to never. To never trust me and this, that, and the other. Okay, fine. Most of yeah, the men will be upset. They'll go out and live their life. But what did you create by doing that? You created a big percentage of people to take advantage of. And you that's the main the thing. That's that your main want. goal right there off right. But you, you do understand you choose the women that you want to be with, right? No, no, you no. You make but the choice on the women that you want to be with. Listen to what I'm trying to say. You, you create a big group of people to take advantage of. Um, like, say if I'm I want to. What did you say, BGS? What did you, you choose what what's you there? Okay. Right. No, you choose the woman that you want to be with. You, 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 yeah. you, in other words, if, if all you, you have, choose the woman that you want to be with. No, if you, all you have is all you have, man. You can only choose. And then you don't want me. You, 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 you need nothing. to expand your horizons. Man. Yeah, well, you need to do what you got to do. It's there. called passport. Passport, bro. bro. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude. You, you, oh, you guys, you guys, you guys, going to get y'all talking points in, man. All this, I'm not let you go. To be, to be continued, man. To be continued. I'm, I'm, you. I'm, 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 I'm serious, man. On, on this this, solo, this kind of stuff. This is what I'm talking about, BGS. This is what I'm talking about. Solo. Absolutely. I run solo. With Chewbacca. Chewbacca telling me to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Before before the worm engulfed me into this foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Chewbacca shaking his head right now. You choose the woman that you want to be with. You make that choice. That's on you. They're all women still. That's on you. The laws haven't changed. Well, regardless, bro. But then don't date no women then. Don't date no sisters. It's got, it, 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 it. The laws don't have to change because hey, hey, they hey, got to bring everybody back. Hey, 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 DC, hold on a second. Hold on a second. DC, what am, what am I right now? I don't have those kind of problems. DC, what am I but then right again, now? But then again, you know, what you am, niggas going to look at me and be like, hey, man, hey, whatever, hey, motherfucker. DC, DC, what am I right now? I'm called a monk. Why do you think I'm a monk? All right. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> don't date no women. That that's because you made that choice. You there's a whole there's a whole there's a whole host of reasons. You know what you like, BGS. I, I mean, we're not we're not gonna, gonna get into we're not exactly. So we're not gonna get into what 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 it comes down to what you like. That's all. In other words, in other words, what you like, what I like, doesn't exist here. Okay. Uh, right, right. I just don't get that. This, okay. this yeah, guy, I mean, look, man, it, it, it is hey, what it hey, is. Hey, my, hey, my, hey, my host, my host, you know, even though he's not going to say it, he probably would. In his heart, he agrees with me. Yeah. He's not gonna say it, but I'm not gonna put it on that. And his personal choice, and his personal choice, he would agree with you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah she's sleeping in the back right now. But, uh, but you chewed and revved right. up like you, man. All right, you no know, peace out. Really I appreciate you guys, man. Like I said, <laughs> I got, I got to You guys, you guys, man. Y'all, y'all gonna keep coming for you. Try to free you up, DC. For real, man. I'm. I'm just, I'm just gonna be, here, I'm just gonna be on, I'm gonna be on the Millennium Vulcan, dog, going through, going light speed. I, I'm, I'm solo in this mission. Dude. It is what it is. Get down, her, her BC. Get down. Man. Duck. Crazy. Job was coming for you, DC. Got time. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some more cold breakers, man. We have there, there, there are no, there are no strings on me, man. Shout out, man. Shout out to all Trump. <laughs> no ultra. No, no, no strings on me. I, I'll let you guys, man. Chewy got got the things going light speed. I'm gone. Peace, man. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! You see, <laughs> he tried. Shout out the Mississippi oh. Delta guy. Appreciate your brother. Get night. Forget it. And this. It is for you. Take that shit, nigga. Crack on that shit up, kid. Appreciate that. He <laughs> said. <laughs> He says the the the, the, B, the BGS fan club, BGS was right. BGS is right. D stop. Oh wow, they still going after DC. 
<laughs> it's hating. been it's been up there a while. It's been up there a while. But the okay. thing is, the thing is, the thing is, he disagreed, right, about what I was saying. I gave him an example, right, and he said, "We just explained it, right? Like what admitted into me, explained. Guess what he did? <laughs> but BGS. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> yeah, he, he bit the apple. <laughs> I said, I don't want to explain it, man, because get into it, because you're not gonna like it, and you're gonna, and you know, it, it's be, okay, man. We'll explain it, BGS. Admitted into it. I said, okay. Told you, you wasn't gonna like it. I fundamentally disagree with you. Yeah, but you didn't let me explain it though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I wish, I wish people, you know, and DC is not one of these guys, but I no. wish that um, people would you know just go ahead and don't mask stuff based on their personal feelings mm. you know meaning that okay because i like i said i keep throwing this this word misinformation mm-hmm. to me people will use misinformation another way of saying i i just don't like what you said yeah so it, it must be something well, I, you, oh boy i think people have bred within certain things cert, uh, their certain comfort levels mm-hmm about their lives about choices they've made about what resources they have what they think they've accomplished mm-hmm. particularly if they think they have accomplished oh, a lot. Man. and the problem is, is that as you identify how pointless or at very least how little control you, we ultimately have over the direction in which things are going to go. Yeah. You're confronted with a combination of anger and fear and confusion and doubt. And the way you mask that is to push back against what might be very sort of logical information that's being communicated to you. And that's how even the smartest people end up sounding somewhat frenetic in their responses and it's like well i don't i have a different philosophy or you know all these sort of weird in my view or insubstantial rebuttals you know if if you because what's always interesting to me is that in in defense of of bgs if i may no appreciate (laughs) what's always interesting to me is that it is seldom a presentation or the rebuttal seldom is accompanied by alternative facts and premise and logical, you know, substantiation for that. So it, it becomes this kind of, I just feel, or I just think, or I just interpret things differently, which is, I mean, it's very easy to interpret the sky to be blue or to be aqua or to be sapphire. You know, I mean, you can, do a lot of different sort of colorful interpretations of things, but it's always interesting to me that the, the rebuttal seldom, seldomly are substantial. And going back to, you were talking about the, the different phases of the black manosphere right. and the debate of, you know, how substantial or not the uh, first iteration of the black manosphere was, or as, commonly referred to as 1.0. I'm reminded of that very famous phrase in academe, uh, publish or perish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Publish or perish. A- and a huge part of the problem with 1.0 is the publishing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, again, defending BGS, I mean, bro, how, how many videos do you have in your your catalog? <laughs> Amongst your 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 <laughs> your website. Ooh. I mean, legions. Yes, at least <laughs> at least uh, what well, the, the last count was uh I got 8 or 900, well, probably about 1000 live streams. I got maybe 2000 or so uh, uh standalone videos, something like that, maybe maybe more, I don't know. Uh, here you go, BJ. And Think how about many that. of those reference and cite other published material? <laughs> oh, yeah, lots of them. And most of them. But here you go, yeah, BJ. So, so, you know, when, oh, whenever I hear this, this 1.0 versus 2.0 debate, I'm yeah. always questioning the publishing of 1.0. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, one Not the things, validity of it, but oh, the publishing. Yeah. One of the things I always thought I said, if as I say, goddamn you, know, let me jumble up my words. As you said, the difference between. Oh, see, I can't deliver it now. How I wanted to. Mm-hmm. Just, just just spit it out. Okay. No, I'm just saying this. You know, we see how many times that all of this shit happened. And well, like we see the like we see two people were there at the same thing. Like mm-hmm. you go ahead and watch something on TV. We watch it. And then you watch the news later on, and they just completely spin that way where it had no like there sometimes it's just a slight spin, and it was where now you see one hundred percent lie. And then we're back in the day, they would never say, oh, yeah, it was never where now it's actually starting to come out to where they're getting on it. Like you realize that somebody watched this and they wrote the article they wanted to watch. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. it's like you watch what happened. But uh, it's like it's like I go to the movie and I watch the movie and then I come home and I write the story about the movie I wanted to watch, not what I watch, you know? Yeah. 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 And it's right actually now. being called out now where back then it was it, it was not even a thing when people would say, Well, somebody wrote an article on it, we believe it, they would believe it almost hundred percent face value. Where now it's being you see that ninety percent of the time you can't even believe when somebody write a book report on a book. You know? because <laughs> yeah, they put they put their spin up, they put their emotions into it. But, not, they, right? but that was never that was never a problem we had 20 years ago as much as it like as much as it is now like the hatred is so real and unfortunately like i was like one of the things i always said a well-told lie beats the truth every day of the week yeah yeah because because <laughs> even when when the when the when the, when the kind of the 1.0 thing kind mm-hmm. of reaches mm-hmm. I said, okay, you know what? I'm wi- I'm willing to listen that you guys may have had superior information. Right. Please produce stuff where you had superior information. No, I don't have it. They no. Don't anything, okay. And a little bit I did get. I had to go digging for it. And guess what? Most of the stuff they said that they said they didn't say. Mm-hmm. Oh, and do you? I like li- like literally. It was just like long as one person. And then you're like, well, look, I'm going. No, no, I don't want to believe. It. I believe. It. But look, bro, I can show you. No, no, I'm not going to look at that. And I'm like, and that's that's remember, like I said, that's one of the things is we've created a group where back in the day, other people would look at the other side of the coin. These yeah. people are so blind now, they won't flip that coin over for nothing. You'd be like, look, man, it's all you gotta do is flip that coin over. I get five billion dollars, or you can stay right here homeless on the street smoking crack. Yeah, you know, I mean, you think the crackhead will want the five billion dollars because at least you can go get some more crack. The crackhead will stay broke, still won't flip that coin over. That's how bad we've gotten. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because uh, I, was, I think it was Thug Titian, right? And I think uh, uh, Keep It 100 was going through how Thug, what Thug Titian stood for, what he was trying to say, and blah, blah. So I actually did like four of his videos. I took four of his videos that I could find and actually went through them. I said, okay. I said, what do you guys say he was trying to say? He wasn't trying to say. He was he was at MRA. He, Thug Titian was just this short of being a MGTOW, okay? <laughs> he was saying the same thing that Barbarossa was saying in MGTOW, almost, almost word for word. Mm-hmm. Even even down to calling, uh, what he called it, the p- pickup artists, p- his pussy beggars. Okay, it's a very specific term. Okay, I said, what? So what is different than what the MGTOWs were saying back then? I said, none of what you guys were saying back then is what we we're saying in 2.0. At least, at least from my standpoint, because none of what I said as far as 2.0, you guys even had had a clue about. Okay, mm-hmm. I didn't have to step into it, even though it had been around. Okay. You know, pussy Scott. beggars, you want to call them, or you want to call them? You know that these are like the before uh, Derek and Ace metaphor and all them fools. What, what I'm saying is, the pickup <laughs> artists or the dating coaches and, mm-hmm. you know, you know, were, were called by the MGTOWs and certain MRIs back then before Steve, Steve Harvey and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, I remember, it's, right? It's, it's calling pussy beggars, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A very specific term because I heard that in MGTOWs all day long. Why would they call a, a, a pickup artist, okay? And a shout out to uh, Judge for the uh, the two um, cash apps. Appreciate you, brother. Forget it. That is for you. Take that shit, nigga. Crack on that shit up, kid. Appreciate that. How do you? So how I do you? I gave you one for each ball. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, okay, but basically we have defined it uh, multiple times. Okay, as far as the uh, what 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 uh, if you took a look at what um, Obsidian, 
proposed, what O'Shea proposed, and what Angry Man proposed, right? Okay. And uh, I proposed just uh, my 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 proposal was just uh, putting the facts out there, okay, and, and, and let people determine yay or nay according to what the facts were, as long as it was defined, right? But basically, Obsidian was saying that uh, his thing was uh, 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 say black men's good name and and uh, basically. Uh, force an environment where black men and women had to come back together and had to negotiate mm -hmm. with each other which is called the quote unquote table okay which which the environment has to do allowed to actually do that right mm -hmm. basically valdez was about men's rights and mm -hmm. men uh appreciating themselves and mm -hmm. men uh uh men be, being manly uh, which is called manhood right that's what he wanted right mm -hmm. okay and I can't even know you know what O'Shea was about for the most part. Okay. O O'Shea was about he was joking back then. He was joking, but basically O'Shea was O'Shea really, really wanted the same thing. It's for black men and women to get together in a room or at a table or whatever, whatever you want to call it, and negotiate and work work their differences out with, with facts and, and, and truth so that you can actually fix this so this black community to where they'll actually run again that's what those they want okay yeah he, he didn't come he didn't come through the pushing the black male thing because back then he was friends with those people and with that starting off and they'll starting to gain a little bit of movement that would have yeah. started a rift between them so sometimes you say well look i'm the funny guy just be the funny guy yeah you know and that's why he took that role but, 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 that. The, but the inherent flaw in all three of their dispositions and i think what what caused uh friction between them because they had somewhat divergent okay objectives yeah. but the fundamental flaw and this is just the benefit of hindsight and time yeah. you know this is not me saying i'm necessarily smarter than, than they were you know seven years ago for example but in hindsight the fundamental flaw in all of their perspective is the influence of the environment yeah that's true yeah and how the environment don't give a fuck about what black men and black women want to do whether they want to be married whether they want to love each other whether they want to have communities and raise children together mm -hmm. the environment which includes obviously law courts yeah. the media uh Glo broader global issues all of those things are operating totally in contravention to that to these things mm -hmm. and to a large extent a lot of us were very stubborn about appreciating or, or are stubborn about appreciating and acknowledging the power and i dare say the preeminence of the environmental factors it's always, that's why there was and has been so much friction and so much much fury at times amongst us because a lot of us just didn't want to accept that these motherfuckers don't want us to be a black community i mean you yourself bgs have said it and yeah. when you look america don't want a black community no they don't it, it would take this is the problem i said when you got a group of divided and like i said as a, as a former scam artist and, and maybe I, as i said when you have a group of divided it's easier to take advantage of them. i tell it, one person one thing i sell one people one thing and then i create an environment in which i can capitalize off both people both individually i said you don't realize like one of the things i even said y'all be surprised like you'll hear my roommate one day i put a, i got a roommate i'm about to give me one more i said why am i living in this big ass house by myself you know what I mean? Well, the, the, the thing is, the thing is, is that that's how come you know that's why I, you know I wanted to bring in. Uh, I could say anything. I could read books, say anything. Well, that's why I wanted to bring in experts. Okay, you guys have read all these books. You've taught all these classes. You guys have looked at all this stuff. You didn't know how intelligentsia actually works. Okay, but, so we went back all through this stuff, baby. The Eidos culture was artificial, was damaged from the very beginning. Okay, and and. And since emancipation, the United States has never wanted a, you know, uh, a, a, a a separate black culture. It was there but when it, when it was actually there to actually make for labor, to actually make money for them. But once it was no longer necessary as far as labor, they wanted it to actually disappear. And they still do. That's, a, that's, a, that's what you're working against. Yeah, I told people the best way, the best way, to, the best way to exterminate a group of people right there without you knowing it. I mean, 
Now, it's, it's basically what they're doing. I um, mean, <laughs> basically, you know, I mean, it's not it's not as bold and it's not as mo- but that's basically what they're doing. They they pre- preach an agenda which will lead to your demise. What, what I'm saying is, a, 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 a basically, a minority culture is very difficult to to keep contained, right? To, to keep mm-hmm. in- integral, even what we call the uh, what we call it the uh, the chosen, right? Mm-hmm. I don't care what you say about them; okay, they're integrated already. They're integrated yeah. in the broader society from 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 uh, from the top all the way, you know, from the top. Now they they, they don't have a president. The thing is, from the, the White House White House staff all the way down to the to the uh, to the to the uh, street sweepers. Okay, they're integrated into the society. So the, the, they they might say they have a, a different so-called religion, but guess what? They white. Okay, they mm-hmm. integrated into whiteness. They integrated into whiteness in Europe. Okay, they integrated into the society. Add mixture is normal. Add mixture is normal. That is a very normal human process. When two groups together, the, the dominant group always absorbs the smaller group. Okay, I, I, I was giving the example about the Native Americans, right? How come there's so few of them left? Okay, they've been absorbed. Okay, and and basically, you know, black people are on the same path. They just happen to be more. Well, others. I, I I say the mistake America made with mm-hmm. respect to to integrating mm-hmm. or absorbing black people is the country the when they won the civil war they should have completely and utterly utter utterly obliterated the south culturally they couldn't there's a reason they couldn't well maybe but i'm maybe well i'm not i'm not debating i'm not debating that that you know, I'm not making an argument against that. No, it, but what it, I'm saying is, by allowing the South to continue right. as this separate subculture, it made almost impossible, in my view, the absorption of Black people into America. Okay, okay, okay. This is the thing, and this is something that uh, I hear uh, conspiracy theorists talk about here, Southern apologists talk about, and stuff like that. I heard it about it for years until I started reading the books and looking at the details, right? Okay. Seventy-five percent of your GDP come from came from the South and slaves. Right. They couldn't do nothing. They had it. They needed them. <laughs> so, in other words, in other words, your 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 modern your modern industrial might that you that 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 that, that developed even down to the railroads, right? That, that became America a century later. Okay, would mm-hmm. not have gotten off the ground if it wasn't for the money and the materials that came out of the South through black labor. So the thing is, civil war was fought over money. Okay, it wasn't fought over freeing the slaves because, right, ten years after they freed you, they had to figure out a way to do what get you back into the same position because right. that's where the money came from. America was going to go broke. So you're ba- you're basically saying that we were basically irresolvable based on how the company, the country was formulated. That that, essentially, with, this pyramid scheme was created. Yeah. Mm-hmm. America, yeah. is, which it is, is a pyramid scheme. And the only way you have, quote, America yeah. is by maintaining some formulation of the if, pyramid if, if you don't, if you, okay. You'd have been taken over by another country because they, they had a lot more, America had a lot more enemies back then too. You know, 80, other countries rather than the power. 80 percent of the 80 percent of the raw materials that fueled the the industrial the industrial north and also industrial europe came from the south if right. you have them the, all, the whole thing we call white supremacy the whole thing of modern white industrialism falls apart no more raw materials so they had so they had to put they had to, that's why jim crow had to be invented they had to put you back where you were right not maybe not is "Quote unquote slaves, mm-hmm. slaves," but they had to put you something equivalent to it, which is Jim Crow. Jim Crow. Well, basically, basically, what white people did is this: white people knew that th- th- those people then knew that, that to cement their place in history, they needed us. So what okay. they did is, it's like this: we're gonna raise you up to an E one while we, while we, you know, whatever ten levels higher than you. I mean, why is that? Because we need the E ones. Otherwise, we got other enemies over here that's gonna take over us. The thing is, I mean, it's, it's dollars and cents, and and, and uh, I know uh, Uru, you you you, you th- this is your biz- this is your thing. You you you're a CPA, right? Okay. How do you how do you run a country when eighty percent of your, seventy five to eighty percent of GDP walks out the door? Or your mm-hmm. labor force. 
What do you do? Well, well <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I mean, certainly at certainly in the 1800s after the Civil War, uh, in particular, mm -hmm. you, you definitely had the issue of the dilemma of how you maintain the economic system. Mm -hmm. But but as the technology developed and mm -hmm. as the industrial revolution ramped up and yeah. greater utility you use of machinery mm -hmm. you know that then necessitated them immigrating other people into the country mm -hmm. to to perform work in their factories etc or whatever mm -hmm. you know you still had you, you still had substantial black populations in the country that you could have chosen you could have chosen to have elevated and or given at least some favor or equal status okay. in the participation but, but, but of you, the uh, Industrial Revolution rather than okay. immigrating a hundred million, you know, or whatever, um, you know, Europeans into the country. But your labor costs increase, period. Because when you have slaves who pretty much your cost is just feeding and housing them, it is not really any, you know, taxes or, you know, real wages. Now you basically lose all of them. You lose your labor for the most part. Mm -hmm. And then now even the people you replace them with, you actually have to pay them. So your labor cost went up. Yeah. But the most important no, what, thing to what, do I, what I'm saying is as the country progressed okay. along the industrial revolution, yeah, you could have when been. there was more automation, you could have you well, could have given black people equal or even a privileged status yeah, in, but, as but, the uh but, okay, yeah. well, but, but, but you specifically but you specifically to chose to maintain the racial caste system oh, what, that what, was what, a choice what, 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 once once it, just like any other culture right once the caste system gets put into place after a certain amount of time how hard That's is it. it to dismantle it thank you no. and uh, this it's, is the problem it's, it's, i'm asking for a friend it's called hierarchy, man. The, the, well, the, the, I, people, I mean, people, and it's, a, the, it's the, especially the people, at, the, the, the people at the top, the people in power. I mean, this is how power works. It doesn't matter where you are, anywhere in the world. Power has to be taken. They are not going to put you in position to replace them right. at the table. It's just not going to happen. Right. That's why it made sense for them to do what they did to well, Of course. Sense. I mean, unfortunately. But well, think about this. Think about it. You got to re realize, too, this is a new country then and all like that. We had other enemies. I mean, like, y'all really don't realize if they didn't get the white people, if they say they would have just eliminated all of them down in the South, and it's like, oh, well, the mechanical resolution coming didn't mean shit. You didn't have the numbers. The people over in Europe would have came over, especially back then. They'd already realized that, wait a minute, America's got some pretty good things there. They would have taken us over. Japan was taking over a lot of countries. The Japanese people were taking over a lot of countries back then. They, they didn't have the, number, the, the population. I, I'm, but, saying, but, I'm saying by allowing the South mm -hmm. to continue to prevail mm -hmm. politically, uh -huh. you made it impossible mm -hmm. to resolve the Negro issue. Uh, especially especially be, because the South maintained influence over federal government, mm -hmm. over state government, mm -hmm. by allowing the vestiges of slavery, the heirs of slave owners and slave drivers to go to become governors mm -hmm. going into at post uh, the Civil War and then into the by allowing those people to continue to breed and prevail and, and create culture and perpetuate these systems. It right. made it impossible nationally to resolve the Negro issue. So in other words, they would have yeah. went back to war if they didn't have a say so in no, the no. government. If you if you look at other civilizations, right, they had to add mix. Guess how long it takes to actually add mix? How many years? <laughs> right. It takes forty years to add. Uh, mix. Well, how long? Um, year. Well, in terms of generations, you what four or five? No, maybe no, no. No, add mix, add well, no, mix. I mean, we, 
We, well, I'm no, talking, now you're talking about you're talking about somebody going from black to white. No, 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 no I'm, I'm talking about black to whitish. I'm, I'm talking about if you look at other civilizations that are older than ours that mm -hmm. actually add mix, it took takes about 400 years. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is a, this is a relatively new society. Yeah, it's, that's so all. It's before. Hasn't been around so, so, but you're you're talking about broader culturally though. Yeah, well, that, yeah. I mean, of course, yes. It is going to take four hundred years yeah. to to blend yeah. being a German well, with being, you know, well, an Albanian, maybe. Well, not and, and, or, and, and, or and, and, worse, and, being an Indian. Yeah, that's, that's going to take longer and, and, because and, and, you're and you're not and, just blending people; and, you're blending cultures. And guess what? Oral, they're the same color. What? Yeah, but they're different cultures. And in yeah, some cases, different re religion and, and practices, and and a whole lot of city. other stuff. How, how, that, how, how do you how do you mix people? How do you mix people that look differently? Look at Brazil. I mean, right. Brazil look in the same city. Brazil is yeah. that mixing, but guess what? There's there's differences. Okay, you can't yeah. say that there's hierarchy. Can't say that there's not. They don't they don't resolve it the same way that we did. Okay, but yeah. thing is, you know. I mean, they, I mean, the whole thing about civil rights, and this is something that uh, I wish everybody read the Mohan Conference. They, Come they, they talk about this for soup to nuts, right? The whole thing about uh, about dismantling, uh, dismantling the thing we call segregation, right? Where you have races, classes, right, and then the underclass to, to mix in with the with, with the broader society, right? That just started in 1945. Okay. Yeah. It's only and been eighty years, and exploded because of uh, planes. Because <laughs> they didn't have planes prior to that. That's that's why the cultures are able to add mix faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, than, than yeah. Be, and, and, and white men are still talking about for uh, right. complaining about forced integration. They didn't want it. Right, they didn't because basically you're diluting them and making them compete harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. They didn't I mean, want. They still don't want it. It's forced. The thing right. is, what, you know, the only reason it's accelerated as fast as it is is because the United States, as a, you know, like it or not, as, as, a, as, as, a, uh, as a, as a, as a method or as, as, as a, uh, as a, well, I can't remember the, the, the term of. Uh, their, their whole policy is to force admixture within mm -hmm. the group. Okay, you know, whether it's Latin, well, Latinos a little easier, but the thing is. Whereas black, white, why do you think they promote all this stuff? Put all this stuff out front. Uh, 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 why do you think they? Why do you think they're, they're gentrifying black neighborhoods? Okay, they could let them alone and let them go ahead and do with their thing. They don't. They force white people into black neighborhoods and force the black people out into the white suburbs. This is forced mm -hmm. admixture. Mm -hmm. Chicago, you know, Chicago, Atlanta, New York, L.A., L L.A. It, it, there are no black neighborhoods in LA anymore, right? They, 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 the thing is, they, they, they call it they call it they, they call it minority neighborhoods, but they, most of that's Latino. There are no black all all the uh, neighborhoods have been admixed already. Yep. Mm -hmm. And and guess and guess where guess where the next uh, location is that they're attempting? Uh, it's just put up on it, Baltimore. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was looking at Cleveland. Cleveland's down like that now. Well, well, well Baltimore. Well, Baltimore right now, they're literally uh, giving out these homes for like a dollar. But I read what you have to do. You mm -hmm. have to you have to spend at least ninety thousand dollars to fix mm -hmm. up the property, mm -hmm. and you have to live there for for five years, as opposed mm -hmm. to the deal that they had going on in, in Detroit, where it was a hundred dollars, and pretty much you can do whatever. Mm -hmm. So, so that's what they're doing. I mean, I literally looked at the map. Uh, what was it? Because uh, Zavi sent it to me. What was it last night or or, or this morning? And wow. yeah, I mean, it's it's predominantly black folks. The poverty level is fifty freaking percent. Yes, mm -hmm. fifty one percent. This is ball. This Dang. is dead center Baltimore crime. The whole center is red. Yeah. So, so do you think they do? You th who do you think is going to? Well, one, they, I, personally, I think the city's going to have to do even more because mm -hmm. what's going to happen? They're going to get pushed out, and I mean well, pushed out far because the outskirts of Baltimore is all green yeah. and thriving. Well, they, 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 they won't. They do. They, you know, I call. It, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bomb thrower. They won't do what I say to do. But you know, because that well, get them in trouble. I said. I said. I, I would hit every time it came up about Baltimore. Guess what? We're 40 miles from the most powerful. Uh, capital. Right. That's an embarrassment. Okay. Well, yeah, well, well, you, want, you want your career to last. If you start saying that shit, your career's not gonna last very long. Well, 
Well, this is the this the, the you know like I see like I see in Cleveland here. I was looking at like wait a minute, you know like in my city where I see now like buildings popping up everywhere. Like look on the corner like on the corner of my street, they just added like. 400 500 units down here they had it five, like 300 there three, i mean i'm looking at buildings pop up everywhere i'm looking at my, my real estate value just just going up through the roof right now like you see even me i mean like and, and what are they doing and i'm looking at some of these white people like they're living in i'm like this is 105 you realize bro like especially when i go down the street like like i go down like maybe a mile two miles from my house or east cleveland one of the worst cities no in in in, in, in the united states it makes the top 10 list okay east cleveland and you go down there and you see what no what this is east, yes this is east cleveland now do and i'm have, just do they have buyers for all these right the places yeah and yeah. i mean like literally they, what they do is this this is how you already know i tell people i said if black people this is, is advantage for black people start if you are living in a place right now that slums okay. start watching your fucking city council meetings please they always let it slip you will know years before you need to be buying some of those bullshit ass empty ass lots yeah. and paying a little 20 dollars taxes you can create general generational wealth just right there get like five grand and buy like 50 empty lots pay the taxes on them for look pay the taxes what, what, on them for three the, years what, 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 I'm be asking, fine. what i'm asking in cleveland all the buildings that they're building that are mm -hmm. high rent are what, what yeah thank I, you how many people are actually buying these or actually living in these things? Well, well, I don't. Nobody's buying that. Well, just give an example. I, I'm sitting up here looking at myself. I'm like, how the fuck? Where all these people work at? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. There you that's, go. You know, in other words, that's what happened to, to, to San Francisco and Los Angeles right now. Basically, uh, with the they what, doing uh, with I, New York. Same thing. I know they. Uh, uh, well, let me finish, Judge. Okay. Okay. Unless you got something else to say, you know. I, uh, I, I wasn't done, but go ahead. Oh, 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 what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, same things happened to Los Angeles and San Francisco. Mm -hmm. You had a million people leave Los Angeles in the last two years. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the last two years because they can't afford to live there no more. Right. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. crazy. Right. New York, New York City as well. New York City, mm -hmm. uh, uh, L.A. Uh, uh, there's a couple other places in oh, Chicago yeah, you that, that pe people are migrating out of there. I mean, Thank it's you. very, it's very simple, man. It's called demographics, and guess where people yeah. go? They go where the jobs are. Guess mm -hmm. where the jobs go? Where it's business friendly and tax. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. how it works. Yeah. And I, you gonna realize I told everybody, I said you about to see it in the next two to three years, you're gonna see a real big thing because so many places are trying to save themselves. You're gonna see a real big thing where people are, uh oh the state's gonna be really trying to like if you were had money and was trying to do something, the states are really going to be trying to bribe these companies to come there because they need it. Otherwise they're gonna die. Like I like I look at Cleveland, there is no way. Like I was looking at it, he was like, "Well, what's the mortgage?" I'm like, "Twenty eight hundred dollars." I said, "Do you realize if the mortgage is twenty eight hundred dollars on a house that I Airbnb?" So you know, I know how much the house is worth. I got all it. I said, "Do you realize if I'm paying rent here, it should be like thirty seven? I said, "There is no way th these houses should be eleven, twelve. I know inflation seventeen, but thirty seven, four thousand dollars a month." Like, I ain't even going to lie. If you wanted to take advantage of some out-of-state people, right now is the best time to be, I will t t go back to scamming, bro. You can make a killing. Well, well Airbnb is getting murdered right now. They're oh, no, bass, yeah, bass no, board, so. they're, getting, they're getting murdered out there. They're not getting murdered out here. I got managed four. Don't trust yeah. me. I got, I, uh, don't no, let no, me I'm, know. So, no, I'm saying generally, <laughs> generally in the country. Now, yeah, they get, there's always going to be spots regardless yeah. of, you know, the industry yeah. is that's, that's well, still well, thriving, but... I, well, we're in a well. well, we're in a hot spot because just all you see, and I'm I'm looking up, I look up, and I'm like, well, how many of these places are rent? And then I'm like, you know, I always like to drive by at night, so I'm gonna start. Matter of fact, I'll get in the car next time because, and we'll do a drive by. <laughs> thing. We can see how many, like some of these buildings we walk in, and, and you just like, wow, this building is beautiful. And what's desirable and, about those areas about Cleveland? Because Airbnb is the, the only way those. The, don't ask the me. Way it, the only way it thrives. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, then that's a bad. Well, 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 I hate to say something, but I hate to say something. I've found out this. Like I'm, you know, I'm into. I, I'm not. I don't follow too much of that. If it's not in my niche, I don't know. But then I found out that some of my people that I follow, you know, I'm into tools and shit like that. 
they had like three or four conferences right here in Cleveland. I'm like, what the fuck? I live in Cleveland. Y'all didn't even send me no ad one. I would have been there because, you know, I'm a, I am love tools and shit like that. I'm like, it was like three or four of them. I'm watching YouTubers that I, you know, that I follow and I always comment on and joking with them. And I'm watching them come to my city. I'm like, well, God damn, I thought I know you was going to be there. And I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm just surprised. Like, but, you know, people who have lived here all their life, we looking around and saying, what the fuck is going on? You know? Why do you think why do you think I'm say, saying this? You had never heard me talk about expanding out and getting more property. Fuck it. They ain't gonna do that. Let me just go ahead and get me some one. I'm in it. I'm gonna go ahead and rent this motherfucker out about to move me to it, move to another house. You know, I'm gonna find me a little bullshit ass job to maybe come with a, a free apartment or something, move to another house. I can be renting this house here. I can get about three thirty five hundred here. And I'm just going to go on somewhere else. My house is paid for 3500 3, coming in a month. is pretty good considering that I'm a minimalist. You know what I mean? I don't, you know, I don't, I don't fancy nothing. You know, my, my friend got on me the other day. Girl, I, I said, she said, boy, when are you going to buy some new glasses? I said, I'll, I said, what? I ain't trying to make no more babies. I done made that mistake too many times. Father Abraham had me and his sons. Oh, bro. Oh, 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 bro. Oh, bro. Oh, 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 bro. Okay, listen. Remember, remember, I had, remember, I told you I got a roommate now. So you you might hear her come in one day with talking on her phone. She always say, oh, you know, I might come down. What kind of roommate is that? <laughs> oh, oh, female, of course. Oh, I got, oh, I got another lady. She probably, oh, she, oh, listen, listen. Have I, have I smashed? Now, here's a question. You put in the chat one if I've smashed, two if I'm not. You see how many people say? I say one. You smashed. How many people on the panel say I smashed? Then we'll go to the. Wait a minute. If, if, like, is, she fat or, is she fat Man. or skinny? Uh, she's skin. She, she's uh, she's like Her. y'all would consider her skinny. She, you didn't smash. Okay, you say, how many people say I smash? He smash. He smash. And she white too. And she white. And she, she smash. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely smash smashed the white girl. The white girl probably yeah. insisted on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. it to him. Uh huh. Well, I was told, well, just give an mm -hmm. example. In, in the lease agreement, she says that she's allowed to rape me. What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mix your business with pleasure. Oh, Hell. Did no. you learn from Puff Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> she had her own room. Yeah, okay. I look up there that's, 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 that's that 3500 a month for real. That's yeah, that's what it gets you. Yeah, hey man, sure. look, 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 look. You know, look, she came down sure. the other night, gave me some. No. She, you know, because you know, I I, I don't know if DB just know because he wasn't there earlier. I got a ruptured scrotum. So she said, here, let me oh, kiss man. it, make it better. Uh, she let the kids to make them better. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so let me, yeah. Before we start, let me drink some fluids. <laughs> uh, I gotta get the dandelion stuff that the brother man said. Yeah, you yeah, right need the dandelion. Right, man. Oh, you know, this this the most. Uh, no kisses. Don't kiss me. This the motherfucker. I gotta take his ass to uh to a groomer. But this the motherfucker right here is all this nigga's fault. Sitting up here running, pl playing with your ass, running around. Oh, is, is that? Mm. Is, Oh, is that her right there? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's a lot of You got me. Lord. No, Lord, have mercy. No, no, I, no I got, I've been had a dog. Y'all do that. Y'all said a dog months ago. You know, Sigmund Freud stuff, man. I, man. I had the dog since I bought the car for my girlfriend. <laughs> like we know what that is. <laughs> oh, I bought the car for my ex. I feel, okay. you know. Did I tell you about, oh, yeah, I did something stupid. I bought a car for my ex. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the new car for me. I don't see my best friend. Mm. Oh, you, don't man, that comment. you don't hear people like Judge on this on this kind of show right here. You, you got to come to the barbershop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get the real stuff over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what I said. I said, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You playing around with you. You sitting up there. <laughs> Mr. Running, Gage, around, running world. around, chasing your behind, because he like he loves. Oh, I got a Yorkie. He loves to play. Them Yorkies love to play. And you see, right now I'm on the phone. He's trying to play, and, and he likes cell phones. He Mr. loves Gage. YouTube videos. No, he likes okay. YouTube videos. Like he'll take like the phone you play YouTube video. He'll sit there next to him and look at it. I say, so, yep, that's my dog. All right. This article it says Biden steps up 
effort to reach voters of color. He better. <laughs> he trying. Last ditch effort. He <laughs> be it must be the it must that be the dark work. Latinos. No, he he's not. No, no. This is the problem with, with it's a problem with that ad. He says to reach voters of color wrong because he got 98 percent of the black female vote last time so really why don't you say uh people of color males of color because he got 98 percent of the of, uh, black female vote last time he did remember my question the last couple of lives mm -hmm. are they trying to win thank you all of a sudden look at this article right okay. <laughs> <sighs> and, so, and, 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 and look at and you notice that in that picture how many black men do you see <laughs> yeah they they out there reaching and shaking hands yeah i, I would tell them but see you better come with this here if the black man don't fail us you better ask the hard questions you looking real <laughs> desperate over there man I, but i think i, I hate mean, to say, the white shirt. I, 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 I hope i hope <laughs> That this is like this is me and my Kevin Samuels. I hope that the, the government realized that they made a lot of wrong is they can't control all these ignorant motherfuckers that we got out running the streets. So they're gonna have to rein this back in because it's becoming too um it's because it's becoming too expensive. Too many people are getting hurt. You're you know what I mean? It's just be, it's you're destroying too much real estate, you know what I mean. You're I, like, like literally. I'm not even gonna lie. I would love the worst thing. I'm sitting here thinking now. I would love to go back to a life of crime. All I see, I is would love to, bro. I, thank God, I'm a like, changed man. It would. Oh my gosh, I'd be a billionaire in six months. <laughs> all, I, all I see in this picture, especially to do with the white shirt, is you know the sisters was talking about Zaddy, and he he, he met him. Oh, yeah. the white Zaddy, white Jesus. Right there, he trying to he trying to get some. Oh, oh! So what? What did people say on the poll on how many people think I smashed? Everybody says one. They think. Yeah. Oh my fucking god! Do y'all think I'm a whore? Yes. Yeah. You, Charles Junior, motherfucker. The night of September. You said it. You said it. The night I always remember. But, I, but I'm an educated lane. That no, was the no, day. No, no, yeah. no, 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 yeah. And you? So? You just, you just uh, stump up the pool. No, no, no <laughs> white woman. He's a Ray Ray. No white woman. He is step up the Ray Ray and pool. Into, moves into a home of a black man without the intentions of fucking. That just don't happen. <laughs> oh, man. Who does? Come on. That just it's, don't happen. It's automatic. It's automatic. It's automatic. It's automatic. <laughs> No, oh, just that just does not happen. Oh yeah, man, she had a big one. Look, oh, just, just look, I can show you the picture. Look, look, I should show you the picture. But I sent a picture to my dude this morning. I said, he said, "Damn, Dre." He said, "She had your water money today." I'm like, "Mm-hmm." Oh wait, he said, "Oh hell, Dre." Yeah, yeah man, you're doing, you're doing all she is paying for rent, and she's fucking she. I, I, it sounds like you're, it sounds like you might be a hoe. I mean, yeah. Let me see. It sounds like it. Because I'm a it, hoe. It sounds like you might be a hoe. There's no evidence that she's <laughs> exactly. She's she paying cash, so there's no evidence, man. <laughs> Go to the city of Ed. He's got this lady in here squatting. Man, oh man. Hell no. Nope. Yeah. I don't touch cash, man. Oh, he's counting them. Okay, counting. Yeah, them. Well, that's just going to the mortgage, man. Or the oh, money hasn't paid off. That's that. That's <laughs> that. That's that. Uh, hey, that, Judge, that's that Fannie Willis stash. Oh, <laughs> he got that gorilla money. Oh, so he's he going to lose all that. <laughs> oh, no, 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 money. Yeah, it's a gorilla grip. Oh fuck! Why the fuck did I show that? I'm broke, y'all. Shut the hell up. Y'all about to get my child support? They were. Like, God damn it! I hope ain't no one of my baby mamas in this motherfucking chat. Always show off on, on TV. You better cut that shit out, son. I, I, I man, God damn it! I, I'm broke. I'm about to. Matter of fact, uh, do me a favor, with BGS. Tomorrow we got to run a, a, a show uh, for a fundraiser for Andre. He did. Oh, uh, <laughs> that nigga yeah, well, probably he, 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 
true, man. You know, people don't want to stay. You got to give people time to talk. They dip. But we got Big Maple up in the building, though. He, he's he's following your footsteps, Dre. What do you mean by that? Go ahead, uh, Big Maple, speak. Oh, uh, <laughs> you put Big Maple on the spot, or I sure did. <laughs> oh, no, man. I guess we gotta have like a, a nice, uh, nice conversation in here. He'll just cut in and. No, Go ahead, I, 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 I think B, BGS left to talk to that Thomas dude since he was saying a bunch of shit in the chat. But um, he, he's gone. Some, somebody, yeah, because he he dropped the link for him. But um, somebody did mention um about like this topic that you have up now saying that um they, they were saying something about like how come he wasn't talking to any black men and uh they kind of mm-hmm. yeah it, it kind of ties back into like um that whole thing with Candace thing because you know like the you know the second cooling command uh, Tatum, he actually did a video. I, I seen that. He said second cool in command. Yeah. <laughs> <That's Tatum. laughs> he, he did a video talking about Candace and he he was talking about um yeah, like it, it was cool everything that she said. And you know, like she was representing the points well, but how come they weren't talking to a black man instead? Is what he Oh, said. he was criticizing Candace? Yeah, I was surprised. Officer Tatum? Yeah, I was surprised. He said everything she said was, you know, she represented like the points well, and you know, like the, well, the title, of, I think the title was like he, she obliterated them or whatever, right? But he said, um, why weren't they talking to a black man instead? So it looks like maybe he's trying to compete for that uh, possible, you know, like uh, spot, spot yeah. yeah. Like conservative red pill spot. The reason why is because they wouldn't listen. I hate to say that. You know, we only got about a thirty second. You don't make a stance when you're a black man walking around. We got about thirty seconds. After that, they're not paying no attention to you. Women, black women, usually have about two, three minutes because you know my a lot of people. They're the prettiest women, and they, a lot of people want to fuck them. <laughs> wow. We talk about that black women again. Okay, so let's go on to the next one here. It says Biden. Pulls even with Trump. As oh, economic that? views improve. Was economic view improves slightly. How is that shit? That's got to be a lie. So that's from CNBC survey. Be a lie. They, they, C, CNBC is desperate. They just put in there something to make you look and say, "Could it be true?" We all know that isn't true. It no. isn't. Well, well, on the surface, it is true. On the surface, um, <laughs> again, I mean, you know, when you really look at, I say this all the time, man. Most people don't make money, man. It's not looking down on people; it's just statistics. The majority of individuals who work, two hundred and twenty-one, roughly twenty-one million income earners in this country, they're basically in the forty-four. I'll be nice, forty-two thousand a year. To fifty-seven, I'll be nice. Uh, to Forty-two to fifty-nine thousand dollars a year. Uh, your your split off in household income is at like uh, not including um, taxes about ninety-two, ninety-four at least as of last year. So, I mean, pretty much uh, they're really looking at people who, for the most part, make. Uh, I mean, as an individual, I mean, you start hitting your stride supposedly once you hit you know about seventy, seventy-five. So that's what they're really looking at. And then obviously a household, obviously in the hundred to two hundred thousand, because they're the, they're the, they're spending their GDP, the equivalent to their GDP for that uh, bracket is oh shit 46 percent. If I'm, I'm I'm sorry, I'm forgetting numbers all of a sudden, but it's high. So they're they're most likely using those numbers, but everybody else. No, they're not doing well. They have no room for any errors. They have no room to save. I mean, they, I mean, after spending, especially people who don't even make, you know, especially individuals who don't even make that 
six seventy thousand. I mean, pretty much. I mean, you just did the math, man. I mean, you're pretty much left with you're spending about ninety seven, ninety eight percent of your after tax dollars. So you literally have no funds at all to save. Yeah. yeah. And I can prove it. I mean, you can look at a Federal Reserve. You look at what the typical person huh? saves. It's what two percent now. Yeah, yeah. You, you well, can't you can't retire for that. You can't retire for that shit. And, and especially if you're in a single household, like I tell them people all the time. Like, why do you yeah. think I never thought you never thought me would get a roommate? And I told you, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look for one more. Dang. I said, why is that? Because I don't want to. I don't want to cut into. You're gonna have to cut your. This is the bad thing. I'm a minimalist as it is. And when I say it's getting expensive, and you see it's not, I don't want well, material things. It's bad. Well, it's, well, again, it's 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 the value of the currency. That's 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 the main the thing. Minutes, so, yeah. So that's the main thing. Okay. Yeah. So so then yes, then prices went up. So generally speaking, and I always say this all the time: the typical person in this country, anyone who's outside of the top twenty percent, for the most mm -hmm. part, they have yeah. not seen real wage increases since nineteen eighty. The average mm -hmm. college grad, the average incomes have been on decline since 1969. Mm -hmm. I really ever, I, I I finally heard one person say that. And this is some high level person. This past week, typically mm -hmm. most people don't even know that shit. Most yep. people don't make money. Yep. Don't make money, and now they talk about social security, and they've been. If you, I'm not even gonna get into the, the nonsense right. going on with social security. Most right. people don't make money. Most people will not have enough money to retire. You most never retire. You don't work the most, day you die. <laughs> most of the most of the people who own homes, the majority of them, they're over fifty. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of are, are over fifty, and mm -hmm. then and then especially over sixty. So mm -hmm. with the interest rates, they're high comparably to, for the last what 12, 15 years. But technically, it's about it's, it's slightly below average. The average all time was about eight percent. So. Realistically, these people are going to need to go somewhere because they're most likely going to have to downsize for whatever reason. The problem mm -hmm. being, where are they going to go? Because younger folks, especially my generation, mm -hmm. can't afford they're to get not. a house. So for the mm -hmm. most part, they're going to be stuck. And guess how many of these older folks, these boomers, actually have long term uh, enough money to actually afford to be in a uh, you know a decent retirement home or <laughs> to even have long term care? You know the percentage. It's not, no. even, it's not even 10. So good fucking luck. That's the reality of what's going on in this country right now. Oh, we, we're, we're going we're going down a toilet so bad it's not funny. Well, you, like, then you see me. Let me go ahead and diversify. Let me go ahead and do something. Because, it's. It, I mean, there's one. There ain't going to be no social security for us. We the last. Like, and, and if you're at about 40, it's over with. You're in the 40s. No, no, the the it, 50s it, might catch it. We're, we ain't catching it. No, no. The thing is, it will be there. The problem is how much money will it what would the purchasing mm -hmm. power be based on what you're getting and i've been yeah. saying this since high school if you need social security because that's supplementary mm -hmm. if you need social security that means you effectively you are poor well well i'm go looking social at social security ad mm -hmm. administration yeah. go on their yeah. website you can yeah. see everything technically you should already be registered and this mm -hmm. is why you pay your taxes. This is mm -hmm. why you, you, you know mm -hmm. you do your taxes, and all the numbers go through there. They monitor all that shit. But the issue is, if you need that money to, You're poor. Just, to survive, mm -hmm. you are fucking poor. And then, mm -hmm. and then, if you make too much money as of last year, twenty twenty two, I'm not doing taxes this year. So I don't know what uh, last year's numbers are. But if you're making over thirty six thousand, guess how much they tax you on your social security? Twenty guess, guess, guess a percentage. I uh, wouldn't even tell. It's pretty high, I'm pretty sure. Fucking 85%. Oh, my okay. fucking God. So, again, this is why I say what I say. I only look at policies and taxes. I'm going to fuck what people say. Well, I, I, yeah, you, oh, I, I noticed the difference already. I just, per, you know, because I bought a, you know, I first got, went back to buying. I bought the first vehicle like five years ago. So I bought another vehicle when I bought my girlfriend a car. When I saw, because you know, you know me, I'm a kind of stickler. So I bought the same exact car. And when you buy the same exact car for the damn near the same exact loan, and the payment is just outrageous, you know, like, what the fuck? They, they like 25, 30 extra payments. It, it, it has to be that way. It has to be that way. Why? Because of COVID. Right, right. And, I'm like, and, and because of COVID. And, and what, what are cars now? Cars aren't what they used to be. Cars are basically computers on 
wheels. Wheels, yeah. So, oh, and thank God. And if you don't know how to work on one, you fuck. This, this is why, and they basically, they basically throw away cars the way they make yeah. most of these cars yeah. now. So that's why cars are so damn expensive. And then again, people's real wages haven't kept pace with anything for the most part. So mm. what, I mean, look, you can go get a fucking... A, a fully loaded Civic is like forty forty thousand dollars. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I bought an Explorer, so, and I'm I'm sitting up here, and it's just like like people have told me it's, it, it it's it's almost like I was looking at it. I was like, well, okay, here, what do I need to walk away from the car after I, after that time? I'm like, well, that's a lot of money to do that to be paying insurance on the car, do this, and I'm sitting here like, you know what? It's almost more economical for me to just. Throw the car in the garage and just pay it off real quick. Pay it off quick. Don't have no insurance. Throw it in the garage and pay it off real quick rather than drive the car because it, it is that bad. Because and the I'm, oh, go ahead. And I'm glad. I'm glad you brought up the insurance. Insurance, yeah. insurance has gone oh, up. Sure. Uh, oh out of control. God. Insurance typically goes up because insurance typically has an inverse relationship mm -hmm. to, to, to yep. the economy. Typically, yep. but again, because of COVID and, oh, right. and all the money they dump into the system. Now it has to settle mm -hmm. somewhere, and obviously we had you know a couple of natural disasters also, excluding mm -hmm. uh, COVID. So insurance now is their time to get their money. So they mm -hmm. remember they got actuaries, man. Insurance they don't miss, man. All right, these these guys got numbers going all the way back to the seventeen hundreds, man. They, they don't fuck around. So like, what, so, what? so they gonna make their money. Like I was gonna sell it to my friend, just give it to my friend, the old lady I told you about. I'm like, here, man, you just take it at cost and like just just take over the pain. And I'm like, what what, they, what do they call to change the loan to move it to somebody else's name? By the time I said, I'm like, do you realize I done paid like almost like seven, eight grand? And I still owe? I've only had the car five months. But you know, I put a lot of money on it. And I still owe more than what the car is worth. I said, what the fuck? And I have a good loan. And like, this. I'm like, <laughs> and he's, like oh, he's like, that's how much it is now. I'm like, this same car you could get for like back in the day, this is like four hundred something dollar car payment. Some of these payments are like eight. Yeah, the um the average I haven't looked recently, but the average you um, want an SUV, you want a new at a thousand a month. Yeah, the average SUV thousand a month. Yeah. The average used car went over went over seven hundred. I mean, I haven't looked. I'm gonna assume it's probably six hundred something now. Yeah. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it went down a little bit. But but again, compared to what the average person makes, forget about average. The average yeah. household, even even yeah. the majority of household makes for a four hundred dollar payment on a vehicle, that's not including anything else, just payment. That's a large chunk because remember mm -hmm. when people are talking about making payments or even your house, if you listen to them, they're always talking about gross, but you're right. paying with your net so right. you're paying a large chunk to the house mm -hmm. and just to trend and just to the car so yeah. i mean for the most people those two alone you're literally easily easily 35 to 60 percent oh uh, take yeah. home yeah. friend of mine she so she's only making she's like making like 21 an hour right her rent is uh 1300 a month she walks to work and i remember i was telling her and she, I'm like playing the simple, like she was with a dude, you know, with my dude. And I'm like, what's so bad is y'all been friends all these years. Why don't y'all just get together? You know, tell her ass to just, you know, provide for late, you know, cause the reason why he can't go to order, she don't do enough fellatio. I'm like, man, she's stupid as all get out. You know, I mean, you went from where, where four years ago, your $1,300 rent could be a teller ride, a $60,000 car a nice apart nice house somewhere and you'd have enough money and you can step out now you have to work 60 hours a week just to break even well yeah and you yeah. don't have no but, but no but now you don't have a car yeah i mean i'm like yeah. these women are just and oh i need a man well there ain't no man out there unless he wanted the top 10 percent that can swallow, swallow that and pay all your bills now no, like no. like me, me, I make and you know, like I said, somebody like me that makes about forty bucks an hour. That's how I charge. Even when a person in and that in that bracket isn't saying, "Hey, bro, this is a lot of money to be spending for nothing," because that's what I, I call it money for nothing. When you say, "This is what I spent for the house, this is what I spent for the car insurance," it's, and you're like, "Well, shit," you know. And then by the time you go, to, like you can go to the food. Remember, you go to you go to get you a bag of chips. Now it's like seven bucks. For a bag of chips. 
Yeah. Well, I don't know how much is it there. It's seven here. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know what I don't know what it is. But um, oh, let let's check this one out here. Um, this article here says that Joe Scarborough, I mean, was it Scarborough, stunned by a report Trump canceled Arizona event because he couldn't afford it. Okay, so it says, um, let me see. Here it says, uh, Morning Joe, Morning Joe co host Joe Scarborough, Scarborough was a god, was so god smacked, gobsmacked by a Donald Trump report on Tuesday that he needed to hear it again. While Jonathan, what was it, Lemire was reporting on the financial situation or campaigns for Trump and President Joe Biden, he reported that Trump's campaign mixed in Arizona event um, recently preferring or yeah, preferring to spend the resources elsewhere amid Trump's legal woes and 175 million bonds stemming from the his New York fraud case. Y'all know that was being reduced, right? It was yeah, 175, yeah. So um, it says they had to cancel it because they didn't have the money to pay for it. And th that is a real concern for Trump's world. And the President Biden and his team have a massive, massive cash advantage. The president mm -hmm. has a major fundraising. Um, let's see. Lamaya reported before Scarborough jumped in. Mm -hmm. but he, says, he says, hold on, hold on, Jonathan. He said, yes. Jonathan did did you say you have reporting that you have reporting that Donald Trump had a, to cancel an event that the only event that he had would have had on his own in a long time he had to pull it down because he didn't have the money to run it the wow. event, run the event so what say you guys on this is this a, is this a concern I think it's bullshit no. I think it's, it's bullshit, bullshit because because you know they've they, I mean, just in the past, man, if their fundraising hasn't been successful there anyway, so so why would you even go? For the most part, why, why would you waste why would you waste funds? Because for the most part, you know, just like last time, you know, he's a lot of the stuff he sees, he's funding himself as opposed to Biden. So he's making a smart move. It took Biden over a billion dollars to get his ass in office, over a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. insane. Well, and, and Trump well, only spent uh seven it was seven hundred and some uh, I think right. seven hundred some odd million. Yeah. Well, they, they realize that too. They're gonna have to spend a lot more money than that. They don't. I, this is the problem. The media, anything is this televised and on. You got to pay attention really now. That's why one of that. What's that damn ad that's coming up there? Where it's gonna show you like. It show you who wrote the story, where which direction they lead. That's why you notice you start seeing a lot of advertising for that. Because a lot of people realize that half of the stories you see on TV, half mm -hmm. of the news you see on TV is like you could be there. You'd be like I was there, and they'd be like, you know, quarter fell out the sky and knocked out five thousand people. You're like, what are you talking about? I was there. There's only twenty people there. You know what I mean? Like, you, like literally, the lies are just so outrageous. They're not even believed anymore. And, you know, I, like I remember you sit up here and I said, I, you know, I dated a chick who used to write those fluff stories. And now with uh, AI, the fluff stories are just so in so much and so extreme. You can like as soon as you start reading the story within like the four sentences in, you realize it's a bullshit story. And this is just to cover ad space. And I didn't realize how, you know, companies did that until I, you know, dated somebody who was involved in that. And this was 15 years ago. She'd be like, oh, wait a minute. We just had 10 more ads come in. We need 10 more pages. And they would just fluff and put some of the most bullshit. I'm like, all these stories are fake. She's like, yeah, all of them. Why is that? We had 10 more ads. Somebody paid the money. We got the ad space. So we, put, I'm like, wow. But, 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 but. <laughs> But that day, I mean, I mean, Trump was in court anyway, and that's the day he was ordered to pay yeah. roughly eighty-three million dollars. So I mean, like, come on, man. They, they were, they were, tr they're trying to. This is the problem. Grant Cardone, all them other motherfuckers to kill him. They about to close that world's biggest mall, that billion-dollar mall right there in um in uh that every. This is the beautiful thing about New York is this: if motherfuckers don't have the money, or especially with businesses, there's w many ways for them to um to uh them to re nig on loans that they're supposed to pay what you gonna do 
You know, my like that lawyer I told you that, that I was building houses for. He was a real estate investment lawyer. He told me all the time, yo, he said there's so many ways to steal if you want to if you everything's in a company name and you want to pull all the money out and leave people holding the bag, it's easy. And that's all people are doing. Everybody's pulling all their fucking money out of New York and they're gonna leave them with all that and then let it go all back to the bank. And they realize that and they're just trying to save face now. That's why they lowered that my payment. Oh. Uh, I'm not surprised. What's going on? Um, I'm not surprised they lowered the payment because um, just think about the optics for a minute. You know what country we live in, right? Yeah. <laughs> you don't let a black heifer do a, do a billionaire like that. <laughs> yeah, that too. I mean, I mean, think about it. They that that scared a lot of white people. When Grant Cardone and their millionaires, I mean, it's already cities like Las Vegas and New York losing. That is that middle class people are already dog in New York. You don't need, and then a black woman coming dog one of the and most famous New Yorkers. Come on, man. Mm -mm. When you say when you think Donald Trump, you think New York. Mm. Now, Nevada, Nevada's doing good, man. It's, it's New York City, man. I mean, again, it's not a business friendly place. I mean, the only the only thing that's really got you know uh, New York really buzzing is that is the you know financial capital it still remains. Um, other than that, man, that you know they lost a lot of people over COVID. I, I don't know what I don't know how long it's going to remain as long as Letitia yeah. James is at the, is at the helm. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I mean, it, 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 it's 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 insane to um, actually be in in uh, you know in New York City. I mean, especially if you're single, for the most part, and you're not like grandfathered into some some whatever yeah. to living. Like it's it's just like you. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, hundred thousand ain't shit. I mean, kind of yeah. like where I live, hundred thousand ain't shit. Hundred a hundred thousand, you're below the poverty line in New York. You need like one one third forty, I believe. One one one. You still qualify damn near for food to, stamps to, up to like ninety in New York. To, to be yeah, to be uh, comfortable, to be comfortable, yeah, you need to be at a one. What was it? Because they actually just put our report. I mean, yeah, I, already, do, I, already, right. I already knew this. It was. I think they put one thirty some odd. If I'm not mistaken, one thirty. Personally, personally, right. personally, personally, I say it's closer to one eighty. But you know, <laughs> yeah, they, 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 right. You right. You right. It's closer to one eighty. <laughs> I mean, because basically they they want you to. This is the bad thing, and you you gonna pay the one forty to live in six hundred square feet. <laughs> So. Now check this one out. It says the United Nations chief calls for slavery reparations to overcome generations of discrimination. Now since you got the U the UN weighing in on this, Ooh, does this mean yeah. does this mean yep, anything? It does. It does. But where? It does. It, it, reparations is coming. It'll be about ten years. I'm thinking, but it's coming. But where are we talking about here in America? Good, it's just their reparations. They yeah, it said. It said. Like, let me. Let me give it you here. You, read it again. Put it up on the screen. I'm gonna ask a question after this. It's on the screen. It says the UN chiefs. Uh, excuse me. The UN chief calls for slavery reparations to overcome generations of discrimination. Mm -hmm. So it says mm -hmm. uh, the United Nations of chief. United Nations chief Antonio Guterres mm -hmm. uh, called on Monday for reparations. Over the transatlantic trafficking of enslaved people as a way to tackle its legacy in today's society, including systematic racism. Okay. Um, from the 15th to the 19th century, at least uh, 12.5 million Africans were kidnapped, forcibly uh, transported by European ships and merchants, and sold into slavery. Those who survived the brutal voyage ended up. Uh, toiling on plat plantations in the Americas, mostly in Brazil and the Caribbean, mm -hmm. while others profited profited from their labor. So we talking about the Americas. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Uh, I definitely uh, noticed that Americas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told you. I said this is the thing. I said reparations is coming. I just told you already. You know, everybody. Yeah, I would. Uh, you in under ten years. I say they're guaranteed. Well, uh, anything about the people from the UK? Sure about that. So, uh, uh, you know why? Oh, yeah. You want me to tell you why? I'll tell you why. This is how you gonna know. I said because this is the problem. Is everybody's hurting right now? Reparations. This is the thing is this is the problem with black people. We don't have enough money to dump it. We don't uh, dump our money, and we don't trust our own people. Everybody's hurting right now. 
to give the, 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 the society a boost, the first thing I would do, say, I, say I'm say i a racist white man. I can't stand the ground that niggas walk on, right? I would, I would, I would authorize respiration, and I wanted to help white people out without people, uh, black people knowing. I'd authorize respiration tomorrow. Why sure is that? So you, that? Yes, listen, I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> well, because well, y'all, well, because well, niggas, niggas will go back and dump it all in their pocket it, it, within a week. That's no, the but there's gonna be there's gonna be a large sector of black folks that's not gonna be under the white man's thumb. Ah, uh, trust me. That they're, they're the ones that let, okay, plain and simple. Yeah, you, you, you look, 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 look. See, this is the problem. You keep thinking a perfect world. Remember, you black. You still gotta remember you still in there living in the same world where you where a white woman can chase you down the street for blocks and you still go to jail. No, but you don't understand what I'm saying. We got where you live. Like, for, for example, is Huru here? Damn, he like he left. Yeah, he Nigga, a while you ago. realize? Look, but, any let me, uh, possible, go ahead. But let me break this down. So will be me too. So, so quickly. It's obviously you're going to see some people that's going to trick off the money, of you know, Jordans, champagne, whatever. Yeah. But you have a large sector of black folks like a Sauchi or anyone else mm -hmm. that's right. have businesses, mm -hmm. that have corporations and stuff like that mm -hmm. can expand. So when you mm -hmm. have that kind of a group that can expand like that, that's going to that's going to get them more freedom. So no, you gotta remember. Well, I mean. You're saying that people that have corporations that can expand, even the black colleges and things like oh, that, you telling me no. they can't expand? Oh, this what, is what's, this what, 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 ten seconds, ten seconds, and I'm done. This is what's gonna happen. Anybody who doesn't, who who they do what they want to put, get out their way, all of a sudden it's gonna be a, something from ten. They, they've already set the stage. They've already got the laws in place. It'll be something you sexually assaulted some dummy fifty five years ago, and now you're going to jail for that. Period. They're gonna they're but, gonna find a way to take all the money back. And them You're gonna have to pay though, damages to idiots. That right, uh, right. And then well, well, look, look. It will be the first thing will be after that will be the next. I don't say there's more steps to it. Will be the next cleansing. Oh, we're gonna be taking rid of all these sexual offenders and people. There's gonna be fines out the wazoo. The court system is gonna make buku money. Oh my gosh, you don't realize what's going on. I'm done. I I would say maybe. I, I'm, I'll be conservative. Maybe forty percent is gonna blow the money because they don't know sh shit about money, and you know <laughs> they're not used to having money. <laughs> but 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 guys like me, we're going for the we're going for that table. We're, yeah, we're we going for global. the seat of power. We're we're not <laughs> fucking around. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, because a lot of things we've been held back because of capital. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. once you once you get a you know, just a, a inkling of it. I mean, that's the thing, because you, you you, first you got, like, when we had this whole reparations talk, like, years ago, a lot yeah. of white folks were weighing in on it. Now, yeah, you got I Indians, you, you got a a Asians, Arabs, a lot of them weighing in on it now, because in their mind, they're afraid that one of them will switch places with us. That's right. <laughs> that's their biggest fear. They're going to be the new nigga. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that's, well, why I, that's why I say, I don't, why... Why would they give out reparations like that? Like why? Yeah. Why would you give the the people at the bottom a chance to replace you? I mean, yeah. I mean, just an inkling chance. Because there are too many, there are too many people that you can't control opening their mouth saying you should. That's well, what I'm like I, I just wanted to respond to like what Art said and also what um, Salty was saying initially. Um, like the title doesn't say where. And yeah, it's the Americas. So it's yeah, all America. Yeah, yeah. So like Latin America, I mean Central I'm America, South sure, America, and North America. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not talking about North America, specifically the US. No, transatlantic. Yeah, transatlantic exactly. slave trade. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's so everywhere about. else. Yeah, it's the the South, North, and Central. Yeah. They mentioned Brazil, they mentioned yeah. Carib Caribbean. All of it. Yeah. So this is more of a global yeah. plea for reparations. Before what's going on right now in this world, man. I, oh, Fauci, let me ask you this, brother. <laughs> yes. Do you think bricks can be involved in reparations? Nope. Oh. <laughs> is that behind the wall? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you trying to get some black bands out? <laughs> I, I, this is all I see on the brick thing right here. I say I hate to say something. That, that shit's over with. That, that just shit's over with. You don't realize something. The next big fight, you watch it. Six years, India and China. 
if they don't go with us first. But oh, India and China, oh yeah, because right because India is just playing China. Period. Off rip. You about to see? Wait till you start seeing. You about to see some shit hit the fan. In about two to three years, you're going to hear whispers about it. Then it's going to start hitting the mainstream, i say, within three years. But you already know, India have been out there eating China's lunch, and China is hating it. Period. Mm, that's interesting. Eating their lunch and doing what? Okay. <laughs> what? Like, now, this is his opinion. This is yeah, not misinformation. Because yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. people will be like, oh, he's saying information. No, he said this is his prediction, y'all. Right, look, no, no, yeah. look where they, no, no, look where they're building, where they're all the info. It look, follow the money. No, I'm just saying that because somebody goes in. Yeah. Talk about misinformation. No, yeah. this is this is his prediction. This is what he sees. Yeah, this yeah. Look, 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 follow the money. Yeah. Out there, right, like I told everybody, everybody, I had them all joking. Y'all think I'm gonna be done? We about to drop Taiwan because I have to do I the said, follow the bouncing I, ball to you know like follow the yeah, bouncing yeah. ball right right. So, but I know. told him I said we had to, I said we're gonna <laughs> drop Taiwan. I told everybody I ah, no, no, what you doing? I said I said how do you know? I said United States plan. I said first thing they're gonna do is get one of these damn silicone plants over here. About three years later, what do we got appearing right off here in Cleveland? Foxconn. Okay, for those, for, those, for those who are listening, this this leaves room for someone to challenge his theory. Yeah. But I'm saying, right. We, <laughs> we, we, saying right. This, he, no, because people are listening like, how this come is, nobody's saying nothing? No, right. this is the time where somebody can say, well, I disagree, but what do you, I mean, how do you do this? So I'm well, just letting people know. I'm doing tutorials yeah. here. Pa- well, yeah, yeah. He, he's doing it for, he's doing for I people. I disagree. Well, yeah, 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 I disagree, Dre. Well, yeah, hey, look, the beautiful thing is this. Hey, you can look it up and see. They just put in the Foxconn plant. It's already starting to. Uh, no. They've been built it. It's already they're getting the final touches on it now, right here in the Cleveland. No, no right now, outskirts of Cleveland. Art's doing a commentary for the people on the. On yeah, the I know. Small, I on know. a small bus, a small yellow bus. Yeah. <laughs> That's just, yeah. Because, uh, I mean, I told him he I didn't say that. black women either, y'all. He didn't talk about. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he just said bricks. Oh, right. <laughs> Not that brick lady over there in Texas. Just, uh, just bricks uh, over there overseas. Like yeah, oh, I mean, on. I mean, I mean, right now, I mean, yeah. If you want to, if you want to, you know, put your money somewhere, uh, it'll be Mexico and uh, uh, India. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, yep. your, your better bet would be uh, Mexico. Mexico. So Mexico would be number Mexico. one. India mm-hmm. number two, but India, India, there's still a lot of mess oh. going on, man. This is a whole like it's, it's just a lot of mess. I'm not saying it's mm-hmm. not gonna happen. It's just there's a oh. lot of crap going on over there, man. So yeah, at Mexico's that, the best best place. Period. Mexico yeah. gonna be our hub. They don't realize that the uh, United States is. That's why I would, I would be telling everybody. I said, no, you are allies overseas. You better no, no. be. You better be good to us because we're trying to get our central hub right down the, on the border. So that way, that shit don't affect us when y'all doing dumb shit over there. China is going. It's already going. It's already in Mexico. That's yeah, right. everything's so, in Mexico. Yeah, Everything. a lot, a lot, a lot of people are 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 reinvesting into uh, Mexico. Obviously, for, mm-hmm. so Mexico. I mean that, that's again that's you know that's what's going on. Uh, Let me yeah, ask that- you this. Are they investing in Venezuela since a lot of their people are over here? I'm just—is that another bricks question? I mean, a uh, behind the walls question. I would say uh, it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn, man! So I gotta wait till Sunday Be- because because now now you now you're bringing in you're bringing in oil and all other stuff, man. Yeah, that's and why. Yeah, behind the wall, bro. That's Damn behind it. the wall. Okay, I'll, I'll this, wait. This is why I can't yeah. get along. Look at see what I'm talking about. Yeah, see what you Are you talking to the dog? Okay, hold on. Let me. Let me put Cujo on the screen. Cujo! Great shit yeah. art. He's, he's, who you calling Cujo? <laughs> <laughs> no, he just scared him off. <laughs> he scared him off. He, he, Cujo! God damn it. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one here. Oh, man. Here we go. Look who's back. I wish... <laughs> okay, it says Ice Cube defends decision to do business with Elon Musk. I ain't aligned with nothing. Mark man. So I guess I guess uh let's see what they're saying in the article, shall we? What, what, uh, yeah, what's his word? Oh, so he's saying he's not partnering up with uh Elon Musk? No, they're trying to no, accuse him of being uh you know, accusing him of picking a side. 
Let you say. Wait, wait, before you read the article, and I want you to think when we we gonna pay attention when you read it. Take your time and read it slowly because I don't want you to just say it off. So they say that. See, is this seem like a real article, Reddit, or a fluff piece for advertising? So just yeah. we're gonna go ahead, go it's, for it. It's mis- it's mi- misinformation. So yeah, it, go ahead. Let's see. Go for it. it. <laughs> says Ice Cube swiftly addressed a fan's accusation of being aligned with white supremacist, notably Eon, Elon Musk. I'm just calling him Eon. What white following supremacist? A, <laughs> following a recent update about the Big Three League on Thursday, March 22nd. The iconic West Coast rapper took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to deliver highly anticipated news on the comeback of his three-on-three pro basketball league, which is set to kick off in th- its seventh season on January was it, on June fifteenth. I'm gonna watch it this time. Mm-hmm. Asked why the league isn't on the streaming platform Rumble Video, Cube replied, "Cause we're on X better." Ask somebody. Okay, the former NWA rapper answered faced criticism from fans who questioned his decision to do business with ex owner Elon Musk, with whom he previously clashed with um, casting doubts on Cube's intention. I respect your response. I don't know what SIC means, but um, just look and see who Elon connects himself to and tell me i'm wrong i still have respect for q always will however i'm not blind to his who he he aligns with he peed on you huh with and i like the the big three (laughs) both things can be right at the same time wrote one fan and it says love and respect q but his alignment with a white supremacist is all we need to know i get it money matters so do you do you my guy just keep it 100 and don't trojan horse for for them white supremacist is who you are and represent enjoy a second comment read the remark seemingly refer uh, reference uh must friendship with figures like disgraced former president uh donald trump joe rogan and others assumed to be white supremacist to which Ice Cube clap back, shut your bitch ass up. I ain't aligned with nothing, punk. I draw my own effing lines. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's 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 very simple, man. Again, people. I guess. I, yep. Uh, you know, this is a this is a Netflix um moment for a mm-hmm. lot of people. Uh, when you look at the NBA's revenue, I know, I know, I know, numbers scare people. 2022-2023 season, they did about 10.5, 10.6 billion dollars. Damn. Okay. Okay. Wow. So, what do you think Big Three's revenue is? Do you think it's anywhere near? Not even a, close. Uh, All right, probably a million. Or do you think? Uh, oh, I'll be nice. Do you think it's anywhere near 500 million? Okay. No. No, so yeah, that. Close. So yeah. So he's he, he's smart. That's who. That's what he is. That's why he's where he is. That's well, why he well, left NWA. Well, well, <laughs> he reads uh, the contracts. Yeah, like Salty. Sol- I definitely think this is smart because I actually had this conversation before. Um, I was talking about like he already did this in the past and he got shut down when he was trying to do it. Yes. So why wouldn't you want to align yourself with a billionaire that's going to stop you from getting shut down that you can also profit from? It, 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 it sounds like common sense to me. It, it, well, the man is not, he is not stupid at all. I mean, I mean, remember, he's he is a black, one, he's a black man. And then two, he's a successful black man. So no matter what he does, he's, he's the bad guy. We saw what happened when he had the platinum plan. He, mm-hmm. he, you know, he, you know, he, he it wasn't about, it, it, it what, what about black women? Uh, mm-hmm. He had to repeat himself. I, I said, oh, Keisha! Uh, I said for black people, no, mm-hmm. what about black women? And he looking at the mm-hmm. women like they're crazy. Like, I, I can you read who wrote the article? What'd you say, Chaos? I said, for Keisha. Oh, no, but who wrote the article? Uh, Art, please. Oh. It was the name of the, art, the name of the person. Female. It was hip hop DX. 
No, 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 no. Who was who was that? No, no, no. Not the yeah. not the that advertising. Who was the writer of the article? Oh, name Ruth Hawkins. Yeah, you think? That's a black. That's a black <laughs> I don't know any white Hawkins unless they're from England or something. Ru Ruth yeah. is a female name. That's a church yeah. girl. That's a church. That's Gladys. she. Might, if her name was Gladys, that would fit with Hawkins. It's probably it's, one one. I, I paid attention to the article and the wording. It seems generated. I'm thinking oh, that it, they, they they wrote an article because you can ask AI to write an article based in that way. Well, I almost burned my damn house down. Yeah, when the dog ran over there, the house was on fire. I didn't even realize that. I'm just saying he's smarter this time around because when he when he tried this in the past, it was attracting like current NBA players. And that was like part of the reason I remember why they shut it down. Well, and, well, well. In, in, the, in this article, he he was talking about that he was trying to get Shaq to sign a contract with the league, and it seems that he's interested in signing the contract and being a part of the league. Who was obviously not a current NBA player, so that's what I'm just saying. Like it's not like he's being smarter this time. Well, that's what the league is for anyway. The league is not for current players. And, and it, it, obviously watching it, I've seen some games, it is exciting. It's clear. Now, that there, there, there can be, there will be some players who can technically, who can, who are still good enough to play in the league where they may possibly be called up so they can still display that they still got it. So, I mean, that's all he's doing. But again, people got to realize we're talking about a black successful man uh, try in a sense competing with the NBA. In a sense, now he's not competing with the NBA, you know, straight, mm -hmm. straight obviously. But well, but we're talking a ten billion dollar <laughs> company. I mean, you know, that that he's competing with. Well, yeah. like he, he's not actually trying to compete with the NBA. Like that's like of course that would be unrealistic for him. But, but the NBA sees it that way. Ex exactly. Yeah, exactly, and that's yeah. the point. So, so that's why they. This is what people don't understand when it comes to business. Mm -hmm. When someone, when when you, when a competitor or even a distance competitor has so much more money than you, mm -hmm. people don't realize how much money they can throw to block you to mm -hmm. bankrupt your ass if you're not mm -hmm. smart. To yeah. block you or to, or to undercut your business. Well, exactly. all, all, basically, what they're gonna do is this: they're gonna, you know, if if his thing gains any traction, it's gonna be a hit piece out, out on him. Period. Already, it, it, but, it already has though. That's the thing. That's uh, like, I don't know. Like I don't know if you you looked into this when I, I have. Doing this. Yeah, it like it, but, well, listen, started, it was starting to compete with the NBA. Well, well this is, they shut that shit down. Well, well, NBA is a lot of people don't know, and this is a little no secret. NBA, NBA is losing viewers left and right. Oh, so yeah. they, I mean, they're That's bleeding. True. They're bleeding off anyway. I said because this is one of the things you realize they're going to capitalize off of this. Like how you say the woke culture was all that shit. You're about to see the pendulum swing back the other way, and you're going to start in the next. I say especially if if if, if Biden doesn't get in. Oh my fucking god! Within eighteen months. You're gonna be like, wow, man! I never really believed we'd be able to say this on the like, internet. Like, and then I, don't I forget, the point. Uh, don't forget, man, I won't. What, what's the point you're trying to make, uh, Andre? I'm just saying is that we going right, no, 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 we no, swinging Andre. back he's, neutral. He's the other no, Andre. Andre. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, Go ahead, Andre. Yeah, the point that I was trying to make at the time when he was doing this, like, um, it was attracting NBA players, and mm. they were looking at it as competition, even though it was like. Mm -hmm. You know, like low level shit in comparison to the NBA. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what we all saying. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Jalen no, Brown, uh, McDrama, McDrama Bear said Jalen Brown played in the game, and he's he's a top NBA player. Oh, wow. And and he got and he, and he got a scolding after that. And yeah. he, any part of the oh, uh, yeah. the they union, the players' union. Yeah. As a matter of fact, even the president or something like that. No. They're gonna, they're gonna try, they're gonna try to, uh, basically like this. If he's gonna get some backlash for doing that, but he may, well, may come in directly. Well, I mean, especially think about, especially if you're a current player, you yeah. don't have a contract. So if you get hurt, yeah. uh, depending on whatever is in his contract, I don't know what deal he got. I'm sorry, he's he, yeah, a, a three hundred million dollar deal. Oh, five years. Oh yeah. Well, hell, hell yeah. They, they, hell no. They uh. they don't want him get. They don't want him busting his knee mm -hmm. or his ankle, man. Playing outside the league, 
Yeah, but they they have to play it with kid gloves because this is the problem. NBA, they're losing too much. They've got a lot of bad press. So they've, they've they've done oh. some things. They've lately they've got a lot of bad press lately. So like, say oh. they came out and Jalen spoke up about backlash or being targeted after the fact, okay. you could kill their stock price. So Rome um, Rome R said that he's an investor. Yeah. You kill the stock price. So they, the you know, NBA is smart. They got to handle it indirectly. Look for some bullshit to come out within the next six months. So that makes sense. Why he played? Yeah. Again, yeah. I, you know. Again, I'm. You know. I mean, I, you'd have to have access. To, you know, be an insider to see exactly what's in their um, contract. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I guess he didn't get. If did he get fined for playing, or just did just said something? I don't know. No, no, they, they probably talked to him on a low, but he already signed. Okay, it. so if he didn't get fined, so it's not in his contract then. Yeah, it might be, I'm pretty sure he was smart enough to know that. But yeah. now, this, yeah. the, the players actually have a lot more power than they did, you know, ten years ago. Like literally, uh, you know, uh, you know, CP3 and all of them have been really fighting, getting them a lot more, especially after this woke thing going on. All these contracts are being really tightened up because people are getting tired of the bullshit. But isn't three on three bas? Well, his three on three uh basketball isn't that like uh like exhibition type stuff rather than uh, a league type thing? Well, it, it is it is a league because I mean it's very small because they got they got they have teams they have legit coaches and it's and it's and it is exciting they actually play defense. Well, yeah, and oh, see, shit. and NBA and the NBA can't do anything like that, that that will actually show them that they're saying, oh, you're trying to stop a lot and, you know, try to, trying to keep a monopoly and stifle out the competition. That would kill them. That would bring plenty of lawsuits. I, I haven't. I personally haven't seen an NBA game. I, I can't even tell you the last time NBA game. It's, it's been like, I don't even watch them on been, TV. Uh, it's well, been I'm a Laker yeah, fan. I, I got to oh, watch my, my Laker team. Oh, but, oh, oh okay, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not sure <laughs> if they don't have the Lakers in the playoffs, it's going to be hella boring. I'll start because LeBron basketball. is the last of his kind. Yeah, oh, he yeah. barely, he well, barely got one more year left. Are they even gonna make the playoffs? I'll start are watching. They, yeah, they, they, I mean, they're Miller. gonna make the play in if if not anything else. But right, they're in ninth place because right yeah, now the, between the, uh, so was it the fourth place I think or the fifth place and the ninth place they're like a game like two games apart. Wow, that's tight. They're real tight. So any anybody can get it between now and uh, mid April. Yeah, I'll start watching basketball at the Reggie Miller. Yeah, because all them three pointers, I think they figuring it out right now. They they need to make it more exciting again. And, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. They, well, next year they're gonna bring in the fruit, the four point um shot anyway. What? No, but the top of the key, you mean? Yeah. I mean, not the well, top no, of the key, but the out. half court. Far out, far out. Look. Half court. Yeah. I don't know if it's half court. They didn't say where, but it's like- they're bringing in a four point shot for real. Wait, yeah. the NBA? That's, that's yeah, me that's see. I'm looking work. that up. That yeah, can't be true. Say, I, was, I was about to say, yeah, it's going to make it work. I'm looking it up. And, and then why they're going to increase the amount of, of points in the game. No, nah, it's going to make that's it worse. It's going to make it worse. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, because, because, the, because the three-pointer the the three pointer helps with the all wins. This stuff, and, it's not really interesting right now, man. I'm, I'm saying that the three-pointers help with the win, but it's not fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, they're, they're pretty much already shooting from that. Well, not all of them. There's, oh, there's, yeah. there's, there's five That's guys. Why they that that there's, there's five guys that can consistently shoot no. from there. So, so all they're doing is just adding in an extra point per shot. Okay. Yeah, that ain't doing nothing. But it's not really changing the game itself. Yeah, it's not gonna change the game. It's not gonna change the game. Yeah, because well, the like, new four like point the, line can loop ruin the NBA. Eight months. What? Oh my yeah, god! It might um, be true. Because when yeah, LeBron you- plays, they people are rooting for him, and a lot of people want to see him lose. So that's why I'm saying, if you don't have that kind of player that's in the playoffs, you might as well forget it. Yeah, I mean, the best you're going to get is I don't know, Embiid maybe, or we don't have any. I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to be optimistic because uh, I think John Morant might be the next one oh, to no, be somebody no. to watch. Uh, he he can't seem to stay out of trouble. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has to go to church, cut that shit off his hair, you know, get him a Becky or something, you know. Yeah, I got Becky. You know, like like probably like you know, quote Bible scriptures during his interviews. Yeah, they provide good fellatio too. Yeah, he probably had to go that route to redeem himself. Mm. You know, 
because uh but yeah he could be the the you know that that high fly because you know how basketball is people like the high flyer dunking type people well what's his name man i think i think he is well obviously they're doing with that, that young kid um with, with, with Spurs. Miata? With Miata? The, the, oh, the yeah. Kid, the young kid yeah. with the Spurs. The big but, man. He, might, he might bring the big man back. Go ahead. Yeah, but he's the, but, the big man. But not but, just the big man. The ones that could handle the ball and shoot. Officially now. So now you're going to guard seven footers that's dribbling off the, the three-point line but, and shooting threes. But, but, the, but the guy who I think is is really like overall, the it's he's him or, or he's going to be him is Anthony Edwards. Oh. Just... Just the way how he plays, he 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 looking a little Jordan ish, little bit. Really, a little. You, you okay. gotta see his highlights, man. I mean, he's mm-hmm. he's solid, man. Like I said, I haven't seen a full game, but just just watching mm-hmm. the highlights and even before this, you know, the big oh, he, he kind of looks like Jordan. Deal was coming. I was like, yo, this dude, like the way he plays, the way he moves. If the, he, if they bring the big man back, I think that's going to save the NBA. Uh, they gotta bring, more, they gotta bring more big men. Yeah, yeah. They, well, they're gonna have to find. Uh, yeah, like well, they won't be Americans though. They gotta yeah. stop them picky tack fouls too. They won't be Americans. They gotta yeah. get back. Yeah. That's the problem too. They gotta stop them ticky tack fouls and get back to a real uh, scrum. Like when you can body up in the paint and really like go. Yeah, that'll bring people it's, back. It, the other thing so, that drives it, the, the the number one thing that really drove me to stop watching the NBA. Is the fucking traveling? I can't do it, man. I just, <laughs> Them four I steps. I can't do it, man. The first time I saw it, I thought something was wrong with me because I was sitting. I'm like, is it me or no one's? It, they're not calling this shit. No, I know I'm not crazy. Yeah, no, Sochi, they're not. They're not. Calling I, thought you were, I thought you were a passport, bro. What's wrong with traveling? Man. <laughs> not doing it. They don't. They no defense. They play zone it's defense. Crazy. Once, once I heard they were playing zone defense. I said to myself, this is over. Well, I stopped watching a couple of years ago. That's why I told everybody. I said, you saw me. I said, nah, fuck it. Let me go ahead and capitalize off the NBA when they start doing doing so much bullshit. I said, since I used to love to watch the games, I said, no, nah, matter of fact, no. Nah, for now, and every time there's an NBA game, I'm going to one of those damn gig apps and work because you can make 40, 50 bucks an hour. And that's all truth I do. Be, truth be told, they need to bring back and check in. This, oh see, yeah! That for the fact that you're seeing scores go 150. Yeah, it's bring outrageous. back in. All right, well, we want a body in paint, body in the paint. But let's see, a lot of them would hate the uh, a lot of players. Oh no! Oh, you know, a lot of them uh, hate saying. Then you got all these soft kids at participation trophy age. They would never What's be. Like, it's uh, it's deep in the You man. know me. I, I prefer cage fighting art. So, they can't fight. <laughs> I'm tired of <laughs> Shout out the salty balls. What's going on? 9 11. Let, let, let's hook that brother up right here. Let, let's give him this. He like this one here. Let's have some action. Let's have some asses wiggling. I want some perfection. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Morris would be a good uh, nuke, man. I think Morris would be a good nuke. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, like I said, I think they need to bring the big man back. Uh, you know, and and don't. But the thing is, like you said, these guys are kind of soft and injury prone. Um, let's okay. Let's talk about that. Or they don't even practice management. All all this. Oh, Nate, I'm sorry, man. I, I just. I don't, all right, you I think about it. it. Nate McMillan got fired because the team vetoed going to practice and running actual sets to understand what's going on. What the fuck is this? We're talking about a amazing basketball player, shooter, great coach, and got fired. We forget when James Harden got, what's his name? Fired. My man that played with Bird. Robert, not Robert Parrish, um, you know who. (laughs) <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yeah, Kevin uh, McHale. Yeah, wow. He he got Kevin McHale fired over mm-hmm. because he didn't want to play no fucking excuse me defense. Defense, oh. yeah, it's crazy. But well, remember, this is the Adam Silver, and, and I'm I I met Adam Silver in 2008, mm-hmm. and when it was in Las Vegas, the All Star Weekend, and I always questioned. I was like, is David Stern is it, is he making the right decision bringing this dude on? Because it's clearly 
he's not saving like he's going for i get he's trying to get ratings and all but the league is it's gotten so bad that i prefer to watch your europe, europe yeah yeah the, well, yeah, the, the, the euro guys are i think yeah. all, I think the better players overall. Uh, it's sad. To I say. think he made it that way though, because basically, he, I think he tailor made the the game to to cater towards the Euro step and the and the Euro mm-hmm. play. Well, so, you know, well, that's, the, that's the thing. And it right. helped out Curry too, because yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, without getting a whistle. I mean, but that's the thing, or like to okay, it's okay. Let's put it this way: when the USA team started losing internationally, this is when I basically said it's over. Finito. Right. When you when you have a homegrown sport <laughs> and it's losing overseas, it's kind of fucked up. And you can you the USA team has pretty much you can say at least top twenty five guys that can go in the Hall of Fame. Lose <laughs> to people we ain't never heard of. <laughs> yeah, Wait, to look to like I ain't never Lithuania. heard of Lithuania. <laughs> Lithuania. <laughs> I mean, I can hear Spain, and I could do. I I get those. Guys, you know what I mean? But to Lithuania, <laughs> and, <laughs> right? And, and and that's why they needed they needed a killer like Kobe on because Kobe is a true ball player. Did true. anybody uh, see that Kobe it was, it was and LeBron combination when they're on the same team? Yeah, yeah. Damn. And Kobe straight what? foul drive Paul Gasol. He mm-hmm. told them, was, he told the entire the bench. <laughs> yep, he told the entire that. bench. That's my enemy. Yeah, right. That's, 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 right. Right. That's, his, oh, yeah. that's his daughter's godfather. <laughs> right. He didn't waste any time. Right, he got right. that file within what? Five seconds? Five right. seconds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody they knew were, that. They, but... were out, they were Kobe and, and LeBron were alley ooping each other like for a good what 15 minutes? Yeah. yeah. Now, I, I mean yeah, the best yeah. of... like a records game. <laughs> the only person, the only only person that could play bet, bet, uh, better, I mean, dec- uh, better than LeBron and Wade was Kobe and LeBron. Uh, like you, you can kill any team. Hey, Kobe and LeBron, you killing. I don't give a damn what team you put together. You killing them all. Yeah, but you got. So what think about, about Jason Tatum? Driving. I mean, does is he? Uh, is Kobe he like LeBron, the bro. He's no, a, man. He's a he's a he's a he's a Robin with with uh, special powers. <laughs> is is, is uh, Jason Tatum? Is he the heir apparent or from the from no. the Celtics? Which I don't care about the Celtics. Sorry, Mike, but I don't care about the Celtics. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Laker uh, fan to the heart. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got family wow. members. Like that. Sorry. Yeah, if you're a Laker fan, it's all. It's definitely Utah and the Celtics. You don't really care about <laughs> everybody else. They get a pass. Damn. No love. Spurs too. No yeah. love. Everybody well, Spurs, else, they, they just play around with them. Well, you don't have to worry about the Spurs for a little for for quite some time. Now. Yeah, they on the, they on <laughs> the year. bottom. I'm like, damn. Next year, you got to be concerned because when we had uh... just for potential, he said already. So I'll be very concerned next season, regardless of who they got on that roster. Uh... Well, I mean, that's the reason why Pakovich did not he decided he decided not to retire because he know they can they can build that team around him. Around him, yeah. yeah. Well, well, you know, he he said it so that way, once Wimby plays the level, they're gonna probably give the coaching position to um Tim Duncan. Hmm. You think so? Guaranteed. Give it a year. I don't know, man. Give it a year or two. I don't know because mm-hmm. Pakovich, man, that's that's. Mm-hmm. What, you hard to step away we from can that. Say he's up there with Phil Jackson as far as coaching, man. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you can't you can't go for Popovich on a if. You got to have to when you replace him. It's got to be a definite good coach. Otherwise, you will never live the end of that story. <laughs> be the right suit. You play for that team. He's watching on that. Popovich. If they don't have a good coach he's after Popovich go, they do the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're deleting it. It's over. It. It's it might be him and John Moran on the same team in a couple of years. Yeah, because you can't do you can't do nothing without pa- if when Popovich leaves, they're destroying, they're blowing up the team. They might give yep. you one year after that, they're blowing it up. Yeah, because we're gonna see a new one-two rebuilding. Punch. I don't know who it is, but yeah. you're gonna see a new one-two punch, and, yeah. and hopefully, it'll be something new. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Salty says they may have a snatch. They may have to snatch some college great. I mean, that's a yeah. 
But how they how, are they, how are they cultivating these guys? You know, I mean, are they yeah. doing the same old thing or? With, uh, basketball is over with. I hate to say that. You see already, they're trying to play too. Uh, no offense, I mean, LeBron's son is not nowhere near, but they're trying to hope that he can bring something to the league. What? That's oh, come on, man. That's not- yeah, listen, listen, they no. want, listen, listen, this is why, this is why they, they I'm just, it was a prediction, prediction. They're going to say, they're going to try to keep LeBron and on so they they can say first time um, son and dad play together. What? <laughs> But he's going. He's going to do better than than the Jordan sons. That's oh, he about will. It. But that's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. Jordan sons didn't do shit though. They weren't no. I mean, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> um, C- comparing um, comparing Jordan sons is like comparing the, them the motherfuckers. They barely bit bet us uh, Stephen A. Smith. Come on now. Uh, uh, I think. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, you look at history. You even look at. Re- happened recently man when you when especially in sports man when your dad when your father's that dude you don't touch that sport because they, not, they, they never they never amount i mean i wouldn't yeah. want to be the shadow of jordan i want to be the shadow right. of LeBron. i want right. to be the shadow right. of rice nobody oh right. damn man let me ask I, you no, guys this i'm not a clipper fan but oh. i think they're number four or five in the west okay and they mm-hmm. lost two in a row and the coach went on. Uh, it was Tyrone Tyron Lou. Oh yeah. He went out and, and said that he, he think his team is soft. Soft, oh, yeah. Sometimes that's what Would they need to hear. Would you say that when yep. your team is like four or five position in the press conference? Yep. If that's what they needed to hear. Well, I mean, I know one of them is. I know one of them is not soft, and that's their point guard. That's for sure. <laughs> Oh, Sometimes I, wow. this is the problem. This is the problem. No, no. Okay, <laughs> no, no, no. Here's the question you should be asking. See how you ask this question right now? That question would never be asked. Like you say, 15, 20 years ago. Like say we was say we was 22, 23 again, and the coach called us off. Like we would we would take conference. that. No, I don't give a damn. I to that at a press conference. The coach called us yeah. off. It wouldn't be no uproar. It would be forgotten about. It would be normal, everyday talk. Hey, man. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what these, these new dudes are on right now. Right. Oh, all I re- think oh, about it, dude. Oh, 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 all I remember is Jordan and Pippen walking in in their suits. Yep. And, and Phil Jackson walking in in the suit. And yep. everybody's ready to get busy. That's mm-hmm. what I remember. And Thank even you. before that, I remember I remember the Lakers in the late 80s, in the Celtics mm-hmm. in the late 80s. That is that's in my mind. I'm sorry. To me, that's a standard. No, yeah. yeah. That, well, I, I was a I was a Cavs fan back then. Yeah, Lakers fans. I was I was a Cavs fan back then. Uh Chicago kept knocking us out. I was a real big Cavs fan back when I was younger. And to say that those people got like they, I mean, like literally, they was putting bodies on people. Like these niggas couldn't handle. I mean, you just softened up it, it up too much. Like, these people putting bodies on you. I Brad Dory, Larry, that they putting uh, bodies. Yeah, thanks, they put. Thanks for LeBron, man. I forgot to tell you. Thanks for LeBron. What? Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh yeah, that's all. That's all. Hey, <laughs> fuck, you. fuck you. Okay, I mean, but, uh, I, mean I think I think LeBron's kind of soft myself. I'm just saying. No, no. You know what's well, the saddest part? part? I said, I said kind. Even if that's okay. true, he's this not is the soft. best you got right now. Okay, oh, I, 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 I'll prove that's, to that's you that. Uh, look, look, look. Can I prove to you that LeBron's not soft? I said he's okay, playing soft. a part. I prove. No, no. He's not kind of soft. No way at all. Okay. I can prove to to you 100. percent you want me to find videos? LeBron was a football player knocking niggas out on a field. Football, you take if this nigga can take a football hit, basketball hits ain't shit. I agree, but here's the problem though. Stop crying. Pull up LeBron. Because like, yeah, you gotta Stop play. Crying. You gotta play. If you don't no, cry, you don't get the foul. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna prove it to you. <laughs> no, no, no. no. no you talking about his physicality. What? Oh my Dre, you're about the physicality. You, yeah. No, no, no. Here you go like this. This is the problem. You have guys you don't pay. No. I do watch LeBron. Yes, I have. No, no, no. I met him in person. person. Yes, I have. This is what you do. He should not maybe, be crying. Maybe he's because fine. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you know, offense, he's, he's raised by he's he's weak minded, but not so when it comes to strength. No, he beat your fucking ass. Uh, he, he's one of them types that beat your ass and then cry about it afterwards. But uh. <laughs> But but this is what I this is what I proved to you, and this is what you got to do in this because it costs you. It costs Chicago. Ask any Chicago fan; they'll tell your ass. 
The only reason why Derrick Rose ever got hurt is because they told that nigga to stop going around people, going through them, create contact, play like it hurt. That nigga went out and did that three games, and he had a career ending injury. He had never been the same since. Because Derrick Rose was a finesse man. Well, Period. Well, 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 that is true, but here's here's another problem that that, that Derrick Rose had. He What's wasn't si- he wasn't six six or six seven or it LeBron six nine. What his athleticism at, at with that size? Oh my God! It would have destroyed it the league at that did, time. Uh, Derrick Rose was like no offense. Derrick Rose was like if Derrick Rose would have stayed yeah. Derrick Rose, y'all wouldn't be talking about Allen Iverson. You'd be talking about Derrick Rose. Let's move on to this one right here. It says LAUSD, which is Los Angeles Unified School District, launches Ed, the nation's first AI personal assistant for students. Oh, ooh, we yeah. it's starting. Then we talk. I think we talked about yeah. this what like six months ago, probably. Uh, what about the what about especially with y'all teachers? What about when they talking about now, like the teachers can. Y'all can hold secrets from the parents. Some kind of bill coming out. I'm like, what? No, you're talking about, I think it's the gender, the gender no, thing. Something or... about, it's something about, no, it's like a safe space where the kids can talk about shit and they're not supposed to tell their parents. And they ain't got nothing yeah, to do with that's gender. It. That's it. Not for the gender, but it was for yeah. other items too. Like they can get yeah, abortions. That, that's that's oh. the main thing is that, is that if somebody wants to identify as a boy or girl, you can't tell the parents. And that's yeah. stupid. It's all good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think that's, that's law. <laughs> they don't, right. Oh, yeah. I think that's the stupidest crap in the world. I said, so basically, you want basically you want to condemn a mental problem. Oh, did I say that out loud? Sorry. Yeah, because we're, it's a, we're yeah. trying to lower the population by confusing these young people say you're totally this. They say you're not producing. Some of the parents sued the state on that. So I think that's going to be a, a, a fall. Overturn. Yeah, that's crazy. And uh, yeah, I mean, but, is, uh, oh, go ahead. Can you, no, but can you imagine? If, think about think about this is the problem. If you allow them to keep that type of secrets and stuff like that from their parents, do you really, this is like, I tell people, okay, fine. When you go ahead and build something, you, like you build cars, more people die in car accidents. You go ahead and build this program here, right? You open the door up for these children to be molested on so many fucking other levels anywhere else. I mean, like, can you imagine the shit's gonna? I mean, if you don't implement this program like one hundred percent, it's like it's gonna be it's gonna do far more damage than, than just hey, man, y'all gotta call. We I'm just telling your parents, bro. Sometimes your it's like your cost benefit analysis is way off, bro. <laughs> And shout out to Salty. <laughs> Didn't know that's what happened to D Rose. Um, I thought he was ice king. He ain't shit for that. Bro. <laughs> he, 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 he ain't shit for that No, he's, man. Not, he's, he's, he's more lighter than Andre. I'm keep picking on Andre. Yeah, yeah, said, yeah. Andre sounds light skin with wavy hair <laughs> and a sleek mustache. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> Go ahead, speak, Andre. Let me let me hear. You. Let's hear you, man. Oh, you no, gonna say no, that? No, no. He said no. no, no. <laughs> he sound like he looked like Drake. <laughs> no, no, my, my oh, Drake about to get his ass beat too. Oh, was it Kendrick Lamar? Oh man, you can tell Drake. Drake talking too much shit. He been sloppy lately. That, that, oh, oh, that yeah. nigga. Somebody gonna put hands on him. Uh, yeah, within the Lamar, end of the year, he, he gonna be beat. Blood ter- he from the blood territory. Oh, now. oh dude, yeah, you better no, watch out. No, nigga, he, he gonna by the end of the year, he gonna be either his cars or something gonna be shot out, shot up or something. I, I ain't wishing no bad luck on him, but sometimes they gonna let that shit go. These young, these young d- dummies is too damn stupid. But isn't he like what? Isn't Drake like almost forty? Oh, yeah, you're right. Acting I'm a fool though. Acting yeah. like you're twenty. You can't be. I mean, no offense. I'm forty something years old. You hear me telling BBS, and I love to fight. Oh man, I ain't fighting no more. So I'm like, judge, you a bitch. Yes, I am. I like, you, want, you want you want some you want some fi- you want some fries? Right. Yeah. <laughs> because I like remember, remember that was my city. I don't know if you talked about it. 
Where them, it was like 20 motherfuckers beat the shit out of old man. They was all teenagers. Like from like 12 to like 19. It was like yep, 20 they, motherfuckers beat the shit out of old man. And what's so bad? Yeah, they do that dude, all the time in Indiana. They do that no, all the and time what, but what's so bad is my dude was behind them earlier in them stolen cars. And we, cause he was on the phone with me while we was talking. I'm like, oh, so I called the police. The police wouldn't send a car out. Oh, no, no, that, that. Y'all would have sent a car out when we called your motherfucking ass. That dude would, would still be walking around. Well, let's bring it back to this here. Yeah, go ahead. Because this in particular, man, this going to replace a lot of, well, it start, it's, this part here is going to replace a lot of TAs, a lot of teachers' assistants. Yeah. Then I think well, the next step would be the teachers themselves. Uh, what, what, which part like that, our, that that our, conversation like our, no I, this I, article I would, that i have up here oh well, that's the AI? like all right I, I would like to comment on that I, I have no problem with them replacing the teacher's assistants because i, I actually just went to my daughter's uh parent teacher interview just um just last week and yeah she, she was saying the most useless shit ever i'm just like what is the point of what is, like what is the point of your job like i don't understand <laughs> Not so you would you rather have AI to uh, assist with your daughter rather than a, a, a human being that has some kind of credibility? Well, it, like, um, let, let me say this. Um, it wasn't a black woman, but it was a woman. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm doing my woman hating shit, you know, because uh -oh. that's what I do. But, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, because I, I was just asking, I'm just like, because uh, her, her teacher. Before you go like, on. For those before you go on, people that are listening, he's talking about women. <laughs> it's not misinformation. <laughs> it's just basically his opinion about okay. women. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, oh, so wow. um, we're, we're we're having this conversation, and uh, her actual teacher was telling me about her strengths. So I asked what her weaknesses are, right? Which mm -hmm. would make sense that you would talk about both. And oh, she told me her, that, that's what I'm trying to say, brother. Oh, no, no, I, mean, I was just joking. I was just saying, I was just talking like a black woman. I ain't getting no weakness. <laughs> no, no, it, it wasn't a black woman that was speaking. It was like a white chick. But um, she told me her, this was the, the teacher's assistant. She told me that her weakness was with um, with, like social issues. And, oh, God. you know, I, I was asking about like, how is her math and science, like basically all the STEM stuff, right? And mm -hmm. I was told that she has a weakness in STEM issues. And I'm, <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm just sitting there like, what? Like, <laughs> we got well, salty balls on the on the on the panel well, here. Well, Andre, uh, well, uh, Andre, all I can say is, man, I, I think you do not want your child to be socially inept, right? Um, well, having having artificial intelligence without social interaction in a COVID. Um, and Ar could probably elaborate more. The damage that did. I was just going to say that. Yep. The damage that did to children. Our and you're generation. pushing for, you know what I'm saying? Like that set that set children so, like, I don't know mm -hmm. how many steps back, but extremely far back. They can't even see the point. We don't even know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I said they can't. I'm, I'm just going with you. I'm saying they can't even yeah. see the classroom. Yeah. We don't know what the social ramifications are going to be in the future. So anyone, in my opinion, advocates, um, again, I'm not judging. I'm just placing my personal opinion for a machine, an artificial machine to mm -hmm. dictate. And this is the sad part about it. You can't reprimand AI. <laughs> yeah, well, even if you pull the plug, that's all it is. Well, the plug. Well. <laughs> James, I, James, I think you misunderstood what I was trying to say, but I also apparently misunderstood the, the title because like when, I, when I read um, like, uh oh we hear yeah when 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 I was uh reading personal assistant out that that's the only assistant that I could think of that I've seen personally before, like the, the teaching assistant. Yeah, yeah like only like, TA. Yeah I'm not talking about like re replacing a teacher but just like that actual but, but, person there that's not adding any value. Well, that's the thing, Andre. I think Sauchi posted this in the email. Mm -hmm. The ramification of children just being in front of a laptop or mm -hmm. anything of electronics mm -hmm. is devastating for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. 
Well, like it doesn't even matter at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. the fact that children, especially as you can tell from, I mean, you're younger than us, right? The fact that when you look at neighborhoods, kids don't even go outside and socially interact, mm -hmm. not even get on a bicycle. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the problem I see with that, which is this, and I totally understand it because I was totally against it too. And so I tell you, like, like the lady I'm friends with, she's been a teacher for like 30 plus years. Now she's retired and she actually um, controls their, that, like the judges and teachers and all like that. Some school systems, with their teachers are so underperforming that this is going to pass because they got to put them there. And I mean, when I, when she says how bad some of these teachers are in some of these districts, like literally I see their reports and stuff. You'd be like, how in the world do they still have their jobs? Yeah, like they're, they're not there. there. You don't have enough. They're teachers not there. No, 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 no. Just give it. Okay. Just, okay. Here, I'll tell you, matter of fact, I'm giving up too much information, but now y'all can track down this person, know who it is. But just giving it, it's 604, 607 districts in, in Ohio, right? 607 school districts. This district is dead last, and they still can't get out of in compliance. Do you realize that's a god save to those kids right there in those districts? It's probably better than what they're getting. Unfortunately, our uh, let you I speak on this. <laughs> this is just it. It's, I'm not, not listen. Will it have other uh, amplifications? They might have to say, "Well, look, you can do the virtual teaching, but we'll have a, a basically have a virtual teacher doing that, but then have somebody in the room to help." Joe, all I'm gonna was, say, all I'm gonna say is this: when it comes to schools that are performing at the worst. Yeah. I would like to know where the parents at at, at some point. There you go. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll tell right. you exactly. Just give an example because she she runs a whole district. But this is the problem because I all, me and her get into big, you know, because I debate with her like this. And she says, yeah, I it's with, with me and you when we talk like this. Matter of fact, I told him I'll have her come to the show one day. Make sure you block her voice out in her face. But I will come to the show one day. She can give us help on helping these young children. Um, yeah. She said, the problem That's is this. Up. She said, this is a, when you have their parents that don't care and they coming from an environment like that. Well, I mean, it's like it's like saying, well, why you can't do why you can't do your ABCs and these people don't have nobody cares about them. Nobody don't it's care. A, it's a right. It's a no, they get paid. no, no. Right. Right. They, they're getting paid. And what's so bad? These some of these teachers are idiots. They're by coming to work school with Birkin bags and well, buying Tesla and a hundred thousand something thousand well, cars. But they when they come to them well, Drew, doing I get all work, that. I, I, Drew, yeah, I understand yeah, that. Yeah, you, but that's yeah. irrelevant. That that is yeah. definitely right. Because yeah. at the end of the day, if you can't even spend thirty minutes with yeah. your child on basic yeah. fundamental learning, you should be ashamed of yourself as a parent. Well, you should, but, 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 okay, wait, 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 there wait, we go like this, wait, wait, wait. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, we don't hold, look, look, who is the number one custodial parent of the child, the female, and one of the things that we do not do in the black community is hold females accountability. So okay, so before y'all go on, that, go. Was his, that was his opinion and observation, it was yeah. not misinformation. <laughs> okay, just let everybody know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Well, 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 it's really that simple. Like they, it, it's easy to throw you know, teachers under the bus. Oh, well, of, course, of, course, of, course, of, of course, there are bad teachers. But, but, there are bad everything across the board, man. But you go, you look at the parents first. It's well, the household. What's going on in the home? Then well, the school system because they set the standard. You're not working. That should be working in, in that system. That should not working in teachers. Baltimore. I mean, well, come I mean, on! I, I mean, know what, I understand Dre. that, but we're saying generally yeah. speaking across the board. Across yeah, the but board. but 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 wait, 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 wait! We sitting here talking like we in a fucking room full of men. I mean, full of uh, w w w people that make any deal. It's if we ever came to school boards and say, do me a favor. Since we having this conversation now, we are gonna go up to the school next but, time they have but, a school. Wait, 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 wait! wait. You, Ten you, seconds. Well, you, you, you can have it. Ten seconds. You, you do know Ten what seconds. Art does, right? 
Hold on, hold yes, on. I, you know art is you know a teacher. Art, thing, yes, I yeah. know art is a teacher, but oh, I'm saying is this. If we went up and men, and uh, as we said, and said that it starts at home with the parents, do you realize how much backlash that them teachers would get? Uh, it, it, it would have, but, I mean, but, teachers but, came out and said that. They, it, Dre, well, come Dre, on Dre, now. Dre, hold on, hold on, Dre, Dre. It is scientifically proven. Yes. <laughs> Oh, this, is not even a, this is not even this is not even a debate on whether you know we backlash. This is studied. Okay, yeah, clearly. Even question. B just says this. It said, you said parents, you spend thirty minutes with your child, you will mm -hmm. see how far that child will be in the public school system. Yeah, thirty minutes. The, the parents have to be involved. One, they have to be involved with the they have to be involved with their, their child, and then they have to be mm -hmm. involved with the school system. Or and Dre, teachers. That's Dre, how it's supposed to work. Jay, let's keep it hundred. Parents do not care about their children and their future, especially in our community. It's about what you can you do for me. This is why you have parents put bills in their children's name, use their credit. This is the most outland. They want these kids to be adults. With right. no life experience. Well, well, the problem is this: they, that would that would uh, this is the problem why it would never fly. That would recall that just given because they're trying to do the new bill. I ought to tell you about it. Where they're trying to pay the kids to come to school now. Like the yeah, district that I'm talking about got a 54 percent vacancy rate. That means on any given day, 54 percent of the children do not even come to school. Yes, and then also there's an eighty percent, eighty percent. How many men are in teaching in schools? Black men. No, but this the oh oh, oh, this, oh just give an example. Every black male teacher in this district has either quit or any uh, or some and like Vegas bullshit. Somebody and like has come up and they've been fired. I mean, you know, that's un we get it, but that's that's just one. That's yeah, a small yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that's bad. That's a bad. No, but that's bad when a female is sitting here telling me, "Yeah, we need more black men here." But I hate to say something else. Truth they would be I'm, stupid to come. It's right. Truth be told, we just need parents to to actually. If, let's put it this way: the sad part is most parents can't even do that. Help their children with their homework. Let's okay. let's keep it a buck. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Let's keep it a buck. Right. Before Somebody we start blaming teachers, the sad. Let's so be fair. Parents can they read above at least a tenth grade level? Mm -hmm. Some can't well, read above, above sixth grade level. Yeah, well, most, 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 most is five. Bro, five to eight, well, you even look about, at the read level. Overall, it's not really that high. Bro, it's five to think eight. about it. Talk about the, the year. And why is that? Because of their parents. Oh, they have to, just give an example. Right. If you I really want, parents, I'm, I'm not the children. Listen, I know that. Listen, I know that. If you want to save the black community, especially, what you need to do, and I know it sounds bad at first, you need to allow some of these kids to just walk away from their kids and give them straight to the system automatically. Because I hate to say the the, the percentage of people, of black children that actually have functional parents that care about their well-being is the minority. Like maybe 36% max and I'm going high. Have yeah, but Dre, most do parents you know don't even care about their own well-being. <laughs> well, well, that's what I hate to say. It. It's just it's the truth. Well, and that's, what, that's, the, that's the environment that we are in today. Why do you think they're trying so many damn things to try to pay the kids? Hey, you get money for coming to school. Dre, at the end of the day, no yeah. district. And we and Salcha, you can piggyback yeah. on this and yeah. if a school district completely shuts down, do you know how much money the actual the, the basically the town loses from federal funding? Yes, I, I but it all depends on just this district I'm referring to is already in state. So they, they are actually in the federal thing where they get one or you call, what is it called? I don't know the terminology art, but basically where you're federally funded, you get whatever you ask for because that's how bad they are. They're throwing yeah, so much the, money the, at the, the problem. federal fund comes from a, no, you know, no. the federal funds are well, designed to to help you to to, to uh, continue the, yes, the no. successes. No, no, the state yeah, funds it's, help it's, you it's, to uh, no. you, correct you, okay. things. Listen, listen. Just give an example. East Cleveland School District is so bad. <laughs> East Cleveland School District is so bad that they they're co co constantly out of compliance, which are can tell you what what compliance so, is. So Dre, oh. what our basically just told you. The feds the have taken over them for the last support. five years. It's on life support. That's why the feds are there. 
the feds have been there the last five years and they still yes, can't get it under control. It's on, it's on life support. And why I have a, is that? I, I, why is oh, that? I'll give you a perfect because, example. Oh, I'm telling you, Dre, the teachers. The teachers. Dre, I'll give you a perfect Listen, example. The teachers. Listen, I'll give you a perfect not, example. Not the, teachers. the parents don't care. I'm sorry. Not teachers. The Jay Gray, let me give you a perfect example. And Salchi may know the school. Brockton High School um, in Massachusetts mm -hmm. somehow lost $18 million. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 18 million, and we're talking about Massachusetts is allegedly ranked for public schooling at least mm -hmm. top 10 or top 5 yeah. mm -hmm. how does a school, a high school lose, lose that much? 18 oh, yeah. million dollars mm -hmm. I, I swear to you and you gonna tell me you really gonna tell me those? that's the parents if that's the eight, if, that's, if that 18 million that's is from parents. federal can y'all hear me? Yeah, 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 we yes. hear you. Okay, if that 18 is from federal, they're getting investigated. But if it's from oh, the state. Oh, they are getting investigated. They, they are. They get away with it if it's from the state. But if it's federal, that's, that's, mm -hmm. they're going to, they going to the clean house. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, plain and simple, I wouldn't be surprised if you mark my words. You'll probably see, and you'll be like, well, damn, Dre was talking about it that night. They're probably going to shut, they're gonna probably going to bring East Cleveland to all, all, um, private to where they make it is these are paid schools like you gotta you know what i mean like literally because there's just nothing they can do they're that far gone well, look at look at well, look at no ohio look it up in ohio say right uh, district in ohio there's 607 before we before we even get to that man i mean you're having schools being shut down around the country because there aren't enough there's not enough strength mm. mm -hmm. so forget about Forget about like. like let me go. Damn, you talking about they gonna pay them? They can't even keep maintaining these facilities. I can well, tell you, well, Massachusetts well, they shut down at least yesterday. Six. Yep. That's what I was telling you guys yesterday. When these uh, people that are coming in over the border, mm -hmm. that's going to be filling in some of your schools. That's going to be generating yeah, oh, more course. funds to keep these schools open. Oh, definitely. Not they're all not, of them, not. but it's definitely mm -hmm. going to. It's it's called ADA. It's that's average daily attendance. So yep. when your A and A, A ADA increases, then mm -hmm. that's when your state and federal comes in. So all that state money that's going to be going to those schools are going mm -hmm. to them learning English. Yep. So get ready for that. <laughs> it's coming. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. I it's wouldn't be surprised. Here, it's going to increase. Well, like I wouldn't be surprised if you see dump cities where you'd be like, I would never live there. And then they say we're gonna turn this into and just put all the foreigners there, and then make, and then you go back fifteen years later and you be like, well, God damn it, when niggas was here, they were doing this. Watch that, they brought. Like my people gonna be marching to Capitol Hill. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't make it wouldn't make that sense because, in my opinion, when you have mostly democratic states that are sanctuary cities that are yeah. so uh, basically underfunded, they mm -hmm. need those immigrants. Yeah. And, and and most of those um, areas are going to be in you know the, the more desirable areas anyway, so they're going to well, be well, more, more more higher d density um, cities. Okay, so, okay. Here, here I got a question for you, for now, as a teacher, as a teacher, not saying you. How many teachers do you know that actually care about it as much as you? What and also what district, oh, what number last, rank are you in your state? Right, right. I said, no, like, no offense. And what uh, rank uh, is your district that you're in 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 your state? What rank? I'm pretty sure you know that. The rank, as far as what academics? No, no. They give you a, they give academics? you a state rank. You get a state ranking. Your state, so that way it can help it narrow it down. I mean, are you going like into you, like academics, like like yeah, yeah, reading they and they, uh, they math give you, levels? They, uh, they, right, right. They go into they give a state ranking on basically by the average of the whatever the test is. I can't I, see. I got to get the terminology right. That's how I know about the, okay. the, the how so much it's, percentage it's, of people come. It's called a proficiency rate. Proficiency rate. The there proficiency we go. Proficiency rate. I really don't know, but uh, I don't know. To be honest, no. Either, I mean that's easy to find. Yeah, 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 you can I'm look it up right real quick. Listen, I don't want to look. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to put your time. your business. Listen, I don't want to put where you go to school out there. <laughs> but you could have said, "Oh, yeah, there are X California. amount." And we're, but see, you could have said yeah, there are X amount of schools. California, and, ooh, we right. Yeah, see, look it, up California math and reading proficiency rates. That's what. That's how you find out. 
right, right. But math or reading okay, proficiency listen, rates. Listen, not in that said. I was asking, what's your school like that? Basically, what's your district? My school is pretty low. Your district. No, oh, yeah. Your district. <laughs> Uh, let me see. It, it, don't it get yourself fired now. When you, when you go with don't, district, don't. it varies. But as far as the school, mm -hmm. uh, mine is pretty low. Yeah. yeah. But as far as district, because you got, yeah. I mean, my my part of my district is they have fluent areas like uh, Palos mm -hmm. Verdes, Santa Monica. They pretty. They rate high. Yeah. Uh, Venice. But, but that's not in your district. Is That's that in my district. district. My district, my wow, district covers those. Y'all share, uh, distance. share distance with them, and you still live alone. Gosh, you think yeah, they were uh, the, the district has a diversity of economic. Uh, yeah, there you go. Economic, yeah, because of, because yep. of just the sheer size. Yeah, the size and volume. Yeah, but mm. you know, yeah, Palos yeah, Verde is not part of it. I'm sorry. Huh? No, I was. I mentioned Palos Verde, but that's another. That's you, another district. I know what you're talking about Palisades. I know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I, I put yeah, there. Pacific Palisades. There you go. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I put, okay. I put, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I know. I know what's up. I know what's yeah. up. Um. <clears throat> yeah, that okay. that district is pretty hard to you know kind of you know uh, compare. You you probably be a little more mm -hmm. likely to be a little more accurate as far as uh, a particular mm -hmm. school goes. And then. And then there's some exceptionality with that particular district and the fact that they get extra resources and federal yeah. funds because of the sheer size. Now, the issue I would I would imagine uh, lo locally and what arts case is, um, is that a lot of that stuff can be kind of obscured by by uh, some size. But when you have these kind of smaller, um, what I call exurb districts like let's say a gary indiana or east st louis or yeah. you know like a uh you know something like that you're able to kind of see those things a little more but uh a, a question i would like to put on the table is uh you get a lot of people in their sort of parental laziness uh who use these kids for extra funding by yep. getting them in uh special aid Yep. Yeah. Really yep. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Because I, I tell people, people these mm -hmm. parents also, uh, I mean, these teachers who actually see these boys who behave in such a way that you know aren't isn't necessarily quote unquote bad. They're just mm -hmm. giving you know the sort of uh, terminology mm -hmm. of bad because there's there's some mm -hmm. level of laziness mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, discounting of you mm -hmm. know anything young men's uh, futures and stuff like that. I mean, yep. a lot of this phenomenon has, has kind of more or less been gone over. If you all were to, uh, interested in finding out a little more, and Art may, may have heard of this book, it's called Bad Boys, Black Masculinity yeah. in Public School by Ann Arnett Ferguson. That's Wait, ba Bad Boys what? Bad Boys, Black Masculinity in Public Schools. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she was like a University of uh, Michigan uh, professor is it Ann Ann Arnett? Is Ann Arnett Ferguson? That's her name. Ann Arnett Ferguson yep. and Bad Boys. If you all can uh, take a yep. look at this, because a lot of this stuff isn't anything new. Yep. I mean, you have the quote unquote mm -hmm. janitors, the basketball coaches, the security yeah. guards, and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Use black men as security. We don't have any meaningful interaction with the sort of quote unquote young men. You know, when mm -hmm. it comes to teaching, they want to use this as uh, security and stuff. And it's always mm -hmm. these sort of politics and games um, and trying to get us, up, getting us out of the paint. But ultimately, it does boil down to the uh, parents. And with the school like what you're talking about in East Cleveland, I don't think privatization, they're either going to do one or two things. They're probably going to do a, either a merger with the local mm -hmm. uh Oh no! School district that that will kind of envelope them in, or mm -hmm. they're probably going to do a, a renaming. So this kind of thing happened in California, um, mm -hmm. where there was a Richmond school district. Now, anybody that knows anything about California, and I'm not talking about mm -hmm. Richmond, Virginia. Anybody seen Coach Carter? Right. That's <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, that's up north. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's like the the Compton of the Bay Area. A lot of people don't know too much about Richmond, but 
they had a school mm-hmm. district called Richmond School District, and it was rebranded <laughs> as West Contra Costa County School District because of these same sort of problems. You know, you've seen all the money in the parking lot. I land my plane there. <laughs> oh my gosh! Talking about Ebonics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my! Oh my gosh, bro, bro! Thank you. I didn't realize. No, no, you just. Oh my fucking god! He is so fucking right. I didn't realize. Um, I thought that was funny. Oh, now it all adds up now. Yeah, I, they're I know about the person, to, I know the person that introduced that. That's uh, Doctor. Uh, god, I got his name right here. Uh, Ernie something. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, what's your name, man? Is that Andre that said that? No, this is T-Balls. T-Balls. No, man, T-Balls. No, for real, dude. They're going to rename East Cleveland Dr. to that. Smith, that's the name. They re- yeah, look, they're going to rename East Cleveland, rezone it, because I was sitting up there saying the, the, the name is so bad, I never thought about that. You, oh, my fucking God, you man, hit the nail on the, the head. biggest game in town, man. School yeah. uh, scores. But, but, no, look, no. If you got yeah. if you got high test scores, that helps yeah. you with your real estate. Yes. But listen to this. Y'all know this that? Is, yeah, yes. yeah, I know that. But listen, listen, this is what I know. They putting about at least about like like they've already expanded it to where the police from neighboring cities can come further into the city and still give them jurisdiction. So that's the first thing there. Remember I told you about all the new apartments? I'm watching how they're tearing up certain areas of East Cleveland and just gutting it down. And I said, Wow. Change you know the that. name from East Cleveland to something else. Do what you said. Change the school district because they only got about max one more year. I wouldn't be surprised if it happens this year. Yeah, but here's, here's another cold game. game. Here's another cold game. And I, this is for behind. I mean, this is probably behind the wall, but I take a chance. <laughs> you know, like uh, you know how people keep talking about how Latinos put them, themselves as white. Yeah. You know, yeah. Now, you know what happens when they do that to inner city schools? You get more money. The money, you know, what they do is it's almost like a, a decoy. Because yeah. there's resources going where whoever has the highest population. Mm-hmm. So you already see that, okay, that obviously is not that many white kids at that school they're latinos even though they put white there so they take it to the more neighboring cities that have the most white people Mm -hmm. and make sure the money goes where it's the quote-unquote supposed to go go. Mm -hmm. so they're double dipping so that's how they get these resources and take it away from the quote-unquote black and brown schools schools be dilapidated uh are bad it's they more the worst teachers. They don't even give the salaries. Exposed to fraud again. <laughs> you, just, you motherfuckers just exposed. You know why? Because I was sitting up here saying East Cleveland got these streets in East Cleveland where all these nice, beautiful houses. But you go in there and guess what? Guess what type of people you are, are that these houses are full of? You just said it. Yeah, Latinos. Latinos. And I was, oh, I'm like, be real. Oh, Once my these kids start going God. to school, these people they letting over the over the border, uh, yeah. it's gonna get real. God, <laughs> damn, yeah, like art, our- art. Please cut this ten minutes out and say, watch East Cleveland be renamed, renamed. No, you should put that out. That way, you'll have it first. But <laughs> East Cleveland renamed because uh, watch. Oh my gosh, dude! You just and these parents are not, you know, these Latino parents. They're not making these kids white. They're yeah, not, because they're, they're not filling that out. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. Because to me, the name is way too bad. On top, of, like when I'm sitting here and I'm like, wow, uh, and then like hey, you know, I start it just start adding up. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I was gonna ask whether he thought that this um this AI program that they're like this AI program that like the topic, um, where do you thought it was gonna be a positive or a negative? Like <laughs> sorry, when, um, whether it was, it was gonna be a I positive think it's gonna start off cool. positive and then later on it's gonna go negative. Cause I think people are gonna start being um lazy mm-hmm. and then they're gonna try to cut cost. Yeah. That kind of stuff. And as long as a child is engaged with that device, there's gonna not gonna be any need for a human. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, 
that, that was my is, initial thought to it. But say that one more time. That was my initial thought to it, but then you mentioned um, you're talking about like um, Hispanic people like that um, putting themselves. Oh, down it's gonna get real with white. them. Mm-hmm. That's said, gonna be their. That's gonna be their English teacher right there in front of yeah. them. Well, yeah, that and um, when you were talking about like the funding and stuff, because like when I was reading the article, I, I noticed that the first thing that they mentioned about this, like this AI, is that um, they could teach them in. A hundred different languages. First thing. <laughs> don't 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 believe me. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, damn, man. I, I, man, art. Oh, I, I mean, because I think about it, where it's like everybody got a little piece, and now that we didn't all put it out on the table, now you see exactly where the fuck is going. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's. I mean, that's. With that's enough the information. Game in town. <laughs> Because you got to remember, I said this yesterday with the, this whole uh, immigration thing. And mm-hmm. I'm glad you people are listening. This is not misinformation. <laughs> I'm just following the tea leaves. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's partially opinion and things that I observe for those people who are listening out there. Okay. So you're looking at it to where possibly you got the criminal element there. Mm-hmm. You got the young kids. You got the teenagers from what fifteen to eighteen, yeah. Um, and then, uh, then you got your workers, right? Which the parents. Mm-hmm. So, if you if you bring those in the millions, that's supposed to really be able to to keep the economy going in such a way as though they're replacing us. Yes, so, and even down to the. Pr- should we do the prison talk or wait for the uh, behind the wall on that? Behind one? the wall. Oh, okay. man. So I'll leave the prison part out. Okay, but, so we're, we're just going to the, the, the schools. So you, definitely... you really you, you really trying to get hauled off. <laughs> no, no, just, 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 just like say yeah. the beginning and just don't say the end so we can put our to our mind to it. Well, yeah. we'll just say right I can just say this. A lot of politicians are bragging about how crime is getting lower and the prison population is getting smaller. I'll just say that. Well, oh, I'll, I'll okay. put it this way. I'll, I'll, I'll piggyback because I work in the in the uh, law enforcement space right now, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, and I've said within this year that there's been already uh, four prisons in the U.S. that are about to equivalent to a billion dollars. And empty, right? I've never. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> are they are they more like are, are they there there's lots of space for prisoners or are they full? No, this is brand new facilities. Yeah, oh, they, okay. they, they, yeah, yeah the there you go. Right behind it. the wall, here we come. Is, is that James? You said you worked in law enforcement. Yes. Yeah, the prison complex. Hey, uh, I need I need I need to holler at you, bro, uh, in the back. You know, when else, okay. And hey, he don't have okay. that prison oatmeal, man. So you're gonna have to. No, I'm joking. I'm just. <laughs> um, but you could you could see, and I'll just say this: if let's say um, uh, Orange Man uh, gets into the yeah. space, I could see Please. the the Thor axe or hammer come across this country. Um. To basically not only to uh, snatch up the the new incomers, but anyone that looks funny. It just reminds me of uh, Bush Senior when he came. Oh. Mm. I can see that in a, in a, in a scale of two point because it, the way I'm seeing things, I'm like, why would first of all the tax base is already struggling, mm-hmm. but then you're approving four billion dollar institutions. <laughs> Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I always thought that too. I figured that what you do is this: you could, like the Democrats have created a good way to get rid of the cities that they want to tear down and all like that by giving this. It's, this we're gonna have to swing the pendulum back the way and be firm on crime again, because I, especially after COVID, like the, the, this a series of unfortunate events is just too messed up. If we don't become strict and super hard, and I'm not going to lie, the bad thing about once it swings back way and we be firm on crime again, a lot of people are going to get caught up in the bullshit. So I remember, like you see me, I said, better stop with the fighting. I just, hey, yeah, you a bitch, right? Yeah, I am. Because it's just not worth it. They're going to be putting people in jail left and right. Yeah, they got to. See that. They got to get that. They got to get this back under control. Otherwise, America, as they got it, is over with. Uh, this coupled with the fact that people ain't reproducing and all we doing is putting people in jail and making it where people don't want to work 
Well, no, Dre, and, I disagree and with let you. It, I, 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 I disagree with you. And, 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 let, it, guys, and let it fall they're harder than people out. They're, right, they're, right. Letting, they're letting motherfuckers out. If yeah. you see some yeah. of these proposals and bills, and especially in these liberal states, it yeah. is my... The fact that California yep, says you need... Cap. You have to, you basically have to rob a store over basically over a thousand dollars, right? Yeah, and you can post bail. Jail. right? You can post bail. Come on, man! Right, right. Now, now, like, like literally, I told her, I said, you didn't even realize that, man. I because I told people, I said, even if I, I'm not even gonna lie, if I got the money and I'm buying anything that, and I live anywhere near California, I'm just gonna put put an order in online. Hey, let's go for a grand online. Somebody, I need one four hundred. Somebody oh. will bring it to you by the end of the day. And um, shout out to uh, Salty Balls and uh, uh, Nino's conversation. I just had to give out a shout out to uh, your Black Muslim Bakery, where they make the best fish sandwiches and prune cake. <laughs> <laughs> they know what I'm talking about because I saw Pen San Pablo right there. I'm like, they don't, they're not open anymore. But God no, I know damn. what happened with that, man. <laughs> We don't need to yeah, talk about that. I was pissed that. when he, he got we, closed down. I, I already we, know what we, happened to. We we'll both come up missing. Talk about I was that. pissed. You, you never I was know. like, like y'all corrupted that. like this with this good food. Nobody, nobody makes bread like them, man. I'm okay. like, come on, Yusuf Bay. Shit. Yeah, uh, uh, hey, hey, I'm about to drop off the pen. I ain't about to die, man. <laughs> Hell no, nah, man. Leave that alone. <laughs> oh my god. You remember, you remember what happened with that liquor store, right? Yeah, that's what that's what they did. Yeah, they, they had to, you know, take the dude out or whatever for I don't know why they would. I don't know why they had to do it that way, but I got a question. I got a question. I just, you know, uh, it, I'll just ask you offline. I'll just leave that leave that alone. You know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say, you know, Big Ja, Big Ja. No, I don't the, know. The, the guy, YouTuber. Yeah, the comedian. You, yeah, the YouTuber. Yeah. Big Ja, do the videos. He, he little, he always with them thick ass big women. Yeah, I never problem. heard of him. Oh, okay. They're, yeah. All right. I'll leave, I'll leave them off. But uh, any, any, anywho, man, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know them parts a lot more than, than I like to admit, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I went, I went to, I, I went to um, California College of Arts and Craft off of uh, Broadway and Clifton. Oh, okay. Okay. That was that my makes... school in '89. Okay. <laughs> I, I go back that far, man. That's, a, that's I, when the earthquake happened. Wasn't uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tony Gonzalez, a tight end. Tony at, Gonzalez at, during the time that you were there. I don't know who that is, but I remember Arthur Okamara. <laughs> I, I remember uh, what's that dude's name? Uh, we, it, wasn't, it wasn't that many black people where I, where I was in, in that okay. department. Okay, okay. That's when I first saw two men kissing when I was seventeen. That that shocked the shit out of me. <laughs> I said, "Damn!" I said, "Where am I at?" I only spent one year over there, but dude, that's yeah. I, I love visiting the Bay, man. Yeah, the Bay. Yeah, the Bay is uh, is uh, is interesting, man, to say the least. But they see me. They should shoot me a text if I'm not there. You got my number, uh, Art. Oh, okay. Yeah, shoot me a text. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm sitting up here. I'm like, this nigga just came. I, uh, I mean, you just pointed something out, and that's. Exactly. I'm sitting there like, where are they going with this? And you just <laughs> told me right there, and I never. I mean, cause, cause, you see, I had never heard of it before. You might have told my friend. I said, thank you. But um, yeah, yeah I mean, that. I'm like, for Whoa. those people that don't know, if you. I would say you would need to. De oh, Nina, want to come up? I, I, you would definitely. I think the, the Northern Cal. I know people out here in Southern Cal don't get mad at me. But I think Northern Cal got the best pizza places over there, man. I think. Who you talking about? Like Fat Slice and Cheese? Fat Slices, Blondies, Cybels. Zachary's is my favorite. Zachary's. Oh, uh, 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 or is it, what's, 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 what's some Zachary's on? Is that on Telegraph? Uh, is it? Telegraph, or is that uh, it's right? I think that was um, it, was do y'all still have Lucky's? Y'all still have Lucky's there? Um, Lucky's Pizza, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Lucky's so it's, it's right, yeah. it's right across the street from Lucky's, yeah. 
Yeah. But yeah, um, mm -hmm. I want to say Fat Slice might be closed. I think Blonde is still around, but I think they, okay, Blonde, you know, yeah. they got rid of Fat Slice. Is not done. What about, because yeah, I, I know Cy Bells is still open. I saw that. Yeah. But, yeah, man, I, I appreciated all that, man. Over here, we, we got some okay pizza place, but over there in, in, the, in the Bay, it's they got it better over there. Well, opinion. the thing about the Bay is everything is one in one, in, in, in short distance. LA, you got to, you know, you got to go different places for different things. If you want to do something on the late night after hanging out, you might want to go to Pink's or something like that, you know, right? Oh, St. La Cienega? Yeah, you know, those sorts of things, but... I mean, you gotta do a lot of driving. I mean, like not having a car in LA is almost like being a damn cowboy with no no damn. Use, <laughs> to say. Yeah, the bay you is know? art and the buses, huh? Exactly. So it's a little easier up there, but it is a lot of weirdo uh, shiznit. I will agree about the Bay Area, you know, so. brother. I'm with the bros, right? Because the bros got a frat house out there. So oh I'm yeah, you're there. talking about uh, in West Oakland? Yeah, right there, uh, right up top. So we're yeah. sitting there. I'm sitting, you know, there's a lot of weed smoking out there, right? As you know. And so it was, you know, the bros are smoking weed, or whatever. And the cop drove up. And I'm sitting there like, I'm in trouble now. I'm standing here next to my these brothers here. So here we, the cop gets out the car. And he walks up to my uh, frat brother. You probably know him, uh, Aaron. But he was, you know, he walked up to he walked up to him. And the cop just looked at him in the, you know, just looked at him and took took the weed out of his hand and put it in his mouth and said, what y'all doing tonight? I was like, oh. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I said, thank God. Oh, shit. You know, because, you know, every, I mean, from what I gather, you know, any kind of frat party, man, everybody invited. Everybody come. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't yeah. matter. Kappas, alphas, whoever. Everybody's coming. So, um, yeah, that was that was one of my experiences, man. I was like, damn, I thought I was gonna be in trouble. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but, he had the yeah. uniform on and everything, the badge. He's like, what y'all doing tonight? Weed like, has been legal in the Bay Area <laughs> even before it came on the books. <laughs> Way before, you know. As they say, I mean, they'll tell you, we not from California, we from the Bay. They believe yeah. Yeah, there's a saying up there. They I have said, their own mindset. I said a cop, you know, when the cop drove, I said a cop. He said, "Man, everything's cool in the bay." I said, "All right, man." <laughs> but shout out to the bros in the bay, man. It's you know, yeah, I know a lot of those guys up there, even with the uh, with the news. Obviously, so yeah, shout out to the Gamma Alpha news, you know. Yeah, guys, yeah. Yeah, man, that's uh oh. Sorry, we we took over the the, the panel, making it pan pan Hellenic. I'm sorry, y'all, but uh, but yeah, but that was oh. This one has that says, and this probably my ender. It says, oh, jeez, come on now. It says um, testosterone boosts dominance as individuals climbs a social ladder. So. Mm. Winning is a because we because remember you know they they still trying to push this whole feminization of men, yeah. But even when you have your testosterone, it still has it has weight. But yeah. the thing is, a lot of people eating that damn soy. <laughs> they they they're crying they crying watching shit and simping and. You know, uh, well, and I heard the pesticides too. That ain't helping. Well, it's the general environment itself, and then again, you, you know, look at the policies and the laws. I mean, just, just, I mean, just, just getting steroids is damn near criminal. Yeah, and it's been like this since the nineties. Like, it's not a conspiracy, man. I mean, now they're seeing that the shit completely fails, but. Shit is yeah. real. Yeah, because you know, I mean, it says uh climb the social ladder. So therefore, I think that's that kind of like screams leadership to me. Yes. You are literally conquering. I mean, you're yeah. leading, you're you're overcoming adversity. 
you're testing yourself consistently yeah that's man shit <laughs> i mean your body yeah. is literally uh, uh reacting to it in a positive way hmm interesting but i think people are trying to you know uh, what do you call it promote the whole softness in a, a gentle approach and i mean <laughs> hell even your stance <laughs> the way we stand we look at each other i mean the handshakes because uh somebody was giving some kind of like uh they was talking to my students about how to do a, a firm handshake or whatever mm -hmm. and my whole thing is square the shoulders right eye to eye right. hand you know keep the, the, head up. The, the, the the handshake the grip handshake um uh, uh a pressure uh per was it pressure per uh inch some crap like that uh mm -hmm. it started to change in the 80s men started to decline and women started to increase i mean this is yeah. you know i mean well, this is all facts i can't well, stand I, I, them say, oh, go ahead. All, oh, I wouldn't say all that what i've noticed is it's just that if a lot of men were concerned about other things and their attention was devoted elsewhere and women had a lot more time on their hands to devote to fight those little fights and i believe that that's what and then after a while, men just got a lot of men after, you know, they were indoctrinated into that type of action, acting. And then after a while, like you see right now, the manosphere and people coming out like that. That's why it's like, oh, as soon as somebody comes out, we got to cancel. We got to cancel. But we got to, we don't want more people then. But this is the problem. They can't cancel everybody. Yeah. And now, you know, after, that, after right? enough people standing up, enough people standing up, I hate to say, you don't realize something. You got like 51% of the people are just like, you know what? Bring on the misogyny back. At least we got damn straight up rules. We don't have to worry about this dumb shit. You're like, you, you hear some something. people saying that now. But you touched on something because isn't, isn't the Me Too thing designed to, cut, to chop this down? Uh, of course. It, it was thing. made. It was made. It was. This is the problem. The problem is that Me Too was made to, to stop the people that get at this. But you don't realize something. It didn't work as well as they thought because this is what Me Too did. Me Too made it, okay, fine. If I get any little problem with a female, I just leave it alone. Or what I do is I avoid you altogether. No, so you want to talk about, you want to be on a scale, equal to, how the fuck you going to be equal with male if they don't want to be around your fucking ass to teach you? You see, that's the problem. You don't realize it was Achilles heel. And then, like, that's why the women are sitting up there saying, you realize it's going to eventually come around because... These, these restaurants and these stores, oh, wait a minute, you don't put all these lists or all these things you guys want to do. You got too many. You got a lazy group of people who don't want to go to work. They say, oh, we get the AI to fill the job. Yeah, but they still need other jobs. Still, AI, AI can't fill them fast enough. And maybe that's one reason why they're letting all these people in the country because they know that. And what they're going to do is this. They figure they're going to find a way to put all the other people who ain't productive to the side. Oh, you're going to jail. Period. That's just what it's going to be. So you're going to be free labor. When they realize, <laughs> oh, you, uh, look, look at it. Look, I mean, you may not agree with it, but look, look where it's going. It's like, hey, the men are saying we ain't playing with it, or, or some people like that. They want to get, they got to get the base back to work. That one, you want to, you want to keep your population up. You want to get the base back to work. If people ain't going back to work, you're not productive. You do know, you, know, you do know the. The labor market is tight right now, right? Yeah, well, it's the labor that, market. It's, it's, it's not that people are lazy and don't want to go to work. Is that people are getting laid off and can't get a job? A no, I can't get a good job. There's plenty of jobs out there, not good jobs. That's the problem. So, yeah. So I, so I sent you. I sent you. The, I sent you the message, uh, Judge. So don't no, read. Don't we'll read it out loud. But this is okay. where we're going to have to get into the behind the wall stuff and possibilities yes, of that. So. But um, yeah, yeah that I think what's going on is that um, people start. I mean, China pretty much they 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 discovered this. Remember, they talked about no more. Oh, equal. I'm sorry. The uh, they remember they said uh, they trying to cut down on the sissy men. China, the country said that. You know. And also, they they're eliminating like uh, different things that make dudes kind of soft. So, I think this one here is sort of going into that direction. 
because basically whenever there's testosterone there's productivity yep and that's that's the part but at the same time the me too thing plus other stuff too is designed to cut that down to keep yeah. feminism and all kinds of different status it's, quo for women in play but it, well, the thing is it's it's men who impose on the environment it's men who build it's men who protect so if you weaken the men, what is you're going to happen to your nation? You can you allow like one, you allow it easy to be easy, easy to rob, easy to take over. On top of that, you create a you create a group of individuals who, who are no no beneficial to your country. On top of that, you create a group of individuals with no upbeat, no home training. So I hate to say something. The women don't realize something. Why do why are these no home training, these men that they raise? Gonna attack other men and steal from them. Who well, no, they're not. Who they gonna steal from? They gonna steal it's, from women. Well, it, it's, easier to it's just not the women. It's it's a small group of men who have changed, who have allowed these policies to go through decades mm -hmm. ago, and obviously throughout the decades, the last sixty years. That is what has occurred again because this is this goes back to hierarchy. This goes back to resources. This goes back to power. But unfortunately, when the pendulum has swung way too far the other way, and and you don't have the time to change things fast when the rest of the world has caught up and in some cases mm -hmm. surpassed you, now mm -hmm. you have systemic problems. This is mm -hmm. where America is right now. Oh, yeah. 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 People, are, people are loving it right now, but I, hopefully that we can get Orange in there and he's you come in and say, hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. First day in, yeah, well, even though they said they don't like you said first day in, be a, yeah, be a dictator, change all them damn laws, let's get the business, let's get productive. Because I'm tired of this shit. Okay, yeah, y'all. Yeah, so I am going to get, my brother's gonna get some sleep. All right. Because I, I did two, I did two workouts today and yesterday, so I'm, I'm gonna be snoring my ass off. So, um, any last words, y'all? Yeah, I'll go, man. P -p appreciate the uh, appreciate the, the, the space. Uh, the, I guess we're gonna start calling uh, uh, this uh, Switzerland. So <laughs> I'm trying, <laughs> but y'all gotta be careful with that misinformation, or somebody gonna smack me in my hand, oh, you yeah. know, <laughs> you know, all this barbershop jargon. <laughs> you know, how could y'all? This is blasphemous. Oh, we uh, have to. Well, we have to. We have to use more twenty dollars words. <laughs> yeah, we no. we have to do oh. that, and oh, you know, oh. and we'll, oh, we don't hurt people's feelings and stuff. We, we, we can use uh, more graduate words. It's, it's not a problem. <laughs> 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 All right, that's my last word, man. Appreciate. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> we appreciate you coming up, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody else want to want to uh, chime in on 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 the uh, last words? Um, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't get a chance to say this when I was, I mean, earlier, I know earlier, we, you know, there's some discussion of children and, uh, being worried about their well-being. Um, I think that if anybody's worried about the well-being of children and where there's going to be a pain point of a lot of problems is giving children more rights than, um, adults. <laughs> Well, hold on for a second. Sorry, sir. <clears throat> Giving children more rights than that they can fully understand uh, their ability to have. Um, it's almost like if somebody has a plan to uh, assault children, you just basically take their protective factors away and you're able to criminalize and prosecute the adults from quote unquote feeling like that. Now, those quote unquote weirdos and those people who tend who want to add an extra letter on on the sort of giblet community are lobbying for kids to have more rights are, mm -hmm. i hope you all are making put piecing together the equation yeah pie, pie. that's where you want to address it and say no these kids don't need rights you know what i mean well obviously they need their basic rights that they've already had but they're a vulnerable population who might not necessarily understand the full extent of what those sort of rights have. And I think they're doing that to kind of circumvent the parents 
so that you know they become even more vulnerable. I digress though. Hopefully, you all picked up what okay. I laid out. <coughs> yeah. yeah, you just mentioned the god of the the god of uh, uh, magic, or is it? Yeah, the god of magic, something mm -hmm. like that. The, the magic of flu. But anyhow, Mr. that's Mr. that's what that was. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, anybody I'll, I'll anybody go. else? Go ahead, brother. I'll go ahead. Listen, brother, thank you so much. Um, I always enjoy these intellectual spaces, um, especially hearing from all brothers who walks of life. Uh, because, again, um, this enlightens me in so many different ways, you know, hearing brothers from different parts of the country um, to really give me better insight. So thank you and uh, keep doing your thing, man. Well, thank you for coming up, good brother. Shout out to the thank Celtics. <laughs> 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 okay anybody uh, else yeah I, I just wanted to say uh yeah thanks for doing what you do and i hope there wasn't too many misconceptions <laughs> no it's called misinformation there you go oh i'm sorry misinformation <laughs> <laughs> sorry too much uh misinformation that happened tonight well I, i'm i'm praying <laughs> well thank you for coming up anyone else left anyone wants to nope thanks for having me <laughs> glad to be here to soak in knowledge well thank you brother thank you for being consistent anybody else going once going twice right okay so anyhow so hope you guys got some got some you know something out of this or what have you and uh, shout out to dc for coming up and um and shout out to everyone and, um, listening and, and supporting or what have you so i just hope that people that constantly put themselves in a position to listen just to be angry stay away from that if we're saying something that you don't like don't listen it's that simple don't turn it off okay because basically whatever we sing it must take it must probably taking away your peace of mind and we you know i don't think any of these brothers on these panels are trying to do that they just want to be able to kick their feet up chill and say some things without judgment and just get things off their chest that's all it is again this is not a news network or cnn and all these different things sunday morning shows you know I, 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 maybe i sound harsh when i said all those things but i don't know how else i can say it you know i think basically the whole playing it like a violin and being uh, understanding and all that to seem like it don't work so the bottom line is we're just trying to make sure i'm just trying to make sure that brothers have a platform whether you're on the right the left the middle pro-black even you know on some i keep saying coons but you know people that just like white folks and, and protect them you know they can come up too you know and, and say whatever but sometimes like shout out to bmt sometimes you got to read the room you got to find out you know what to say i mean andre is learning he's learning you know, but you got to read the room and and know where to chime in and, and make sure that whatever you said, it has some kind of meaning towards it. You know, it, it has to be some kind of like contribution. Right. And shout out to Dre. <laughs> shout out to Dre. Yeah, he hogs it a little bit, but, you know, you just got to you got to move in the right direction so, he can get, you know, he can he can play that jukebox for you. Right. And shout out to my sister, sister Asada. Salam alaikum, sister. <laughs> right. So I hope I hope Nino heard me in the very beginning with misinformation on the news stations versus misinformation in the barbershop. OK, we got to be real about this stuff, man. We got to be real about this stuff. I know you put the little Google the Google translate in there, whatever, the information there. But for the most part, from what we gathering and how we being a, a, a approached, misinformation is ba basically, I don't like what I'm hearing, so it's misinformation, right? 
So I joked about that all day because basically that is nothing to be taken serious on this panel because it's an, it's an opinion panel. It's an opinion panel. It's you're just giving, you know, you, you're, you're reading the tea leaves and put something out there and maybe somebody will hone in on it. Maybe somebody will correct it. Maybe somebody will agree, disagree, whatever it is. You know, this is not a smack in the hand panel grown men you know how could you say that how could you say that you're bad boy you you said something wrong that i didn't like it's not it's not happening here you know um disagreeing is cool but just don't be disrespectful with it that's all i'm saying just don't be don't be disrespectful with it you can always disagree you know and matter of fact Sometimes the disagreement is so good to where you brought your view out there. Now you made me change my thought. You made me change my way of looking at it because basically you share something, but at the same time, you did it in a respectful way. Like me and DC, we talk behind the scenes and I constantly keep telling, I was telling them like, look, instead of saying I disagree, you can always say, let me show you, let me tell you how I see it. Well, I see it a little different. You know, that kind of thing. We got to start learning how to talk to each other. You know, and plus, everybody's watching, right? People are listening and saying, this is how people, this is how these people are. You know, we don't want to be able to keep, keep giving people the ammunition. All right, y'all. So appreciate BGS for the share. Uh, appreciate uh, Toyota Tutor for the uh, super chat. We got Mississippi Delta guy. Appreciate you for the super chats as well. Rome R. Mississippi Delta guy for the fitty fitty. And appreciate Salty Balls for the contribution and the super chat. Appreciate Dre for the, um, I think it was a cash app. Was there anyone? I think it was just Dre. Yeah, appreciate Dre for the cash app um, or cash apps. My bad. Um, and I think that was it, y'all. So, without any further ado, y'all, I'm gonna do my concoction, give me some sleep, and try to get my two two uh <laughs> two workouts in tomorrow. And shout out to to the one of the greatest, Charlie Chaplin, the one that can hold a cane and do that walk. And I think that's about. I mean, did I did I cover everything, y'all? I think i did so anyhow got some people mad at me don't care i just want to be able to do my thing here peacefully without any other bs drama i don't need all that anyhow peace and hair grease <laughs>